PKA six eleven. Our guest Wolf is joining us roughly halfway through. Taylor, always late. Always late. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was like, as soon as I saw Wolf was the guest, we'll do the ad thing in a second. I was like, I wonder what inappropriate thing I'll say tonight. <laughs> I don't have a plan, but it's oh, coming. We'll all find out together. <laughs> so, <laughs> this episode of PKA brought to you by Better Help, Wonky Weeds, Death by Gummy Bears, and of course, Lock and Load. Lock and Load still marked down. $10 off of the original price. So check that out. Still get the 10% off with code PKA or code JIZ. So check that out. We just got some more some more stock in for your guys. I, I'll admit, I took a break from the lock and load. Maybe something to do with the broken leg. I don't know. But I have been told that uh, my lady friend, my wife, she liked to have a taste. She misses the, she misses the pre-cum. So boys... Wow. We're back on the fucking sauce. We're back on the sauce. We're, we're back on the sauce. <clears throat> Performance Woody's, load uh, enhancers. <laughs> take it from the person selling the product's wife. <laughs> she loves it. She loves it. And, and you know what? We've talked about it before. Women like feeling accomplished. You know, when yeah. you're making a girl come, do you want her to go, oh, no, oh you want to no. you want to know that you want to feel the genuineness of it. You don't want an over the top theatrical. This is fake. I want neighbors to show. Yes, I want the police there. My neighbor came <laughs> over today. Uh, did you have to do ads more? You got, you got more ads, right? You, you, no, no, I got them. Uh, all. Those are that, that's who we're sponsored. Good, good. Fucking early in the morning, uh, my neighbor knocks on the door. Uh, African American okay. fellow, real nice guy. Had a few chats with him. He smokes weed off the roof of his house sometimes, which I think is hilarious. Mm. He's like, Shh. I'm like, it's like I'm gonna tell. <laughs> <laughs> like he's keeping a secret. <laughs> so, it's work all. And that's that. That kind of leans into this. Him like getting on the roof of his house to smoke because he locked himself out of his house. Him and his wife this morning. They're locked out and they're jammies in the fucking that's yard. Embarrassing. And uh, and they're going door to door looking for a ladder so that he can climb up on the little overhang on his like front porch go mm -hmm. into the second floor window into his bedroom and get back in the house and he's begging and i have a ladder and I'm just like, but he doesn't know that he doesn't know it <laughs> he's never seen my ladder <laughs> and, at first, and at first i'll admit i was like ah oh, damn that sucks <laughs> i'll let you know if i think of anything <laughs> and I, I i went inside and i went oh, I can't leave him out there. And I went and got the fucking ladder, and I was like, "Turns out I got a big ladder here, <laughs> a brand new big ladder." So let's get you up on your in your house. So so that's what I was doing at like nine fucking a.m. in the morning. I was not up for climbing roofs at nine. I in like the morning, that nine a.m. is a <laughs> crack of dawn, unreasonable <laughs> time to exist as conscious. Well, what you got to keep in mind is I don't have shit to do at eight. Right, it's just the reference to 9 a.m. Yeah. Like, like the exasperation. Maybe it was a single it digit time. Were you Maybe guys aware the sun I'm, is up by nine? <laughs> yeah. I'm six hours out of. All right, I Not put my loop. head on the pillow, and six hours later, there's a man waking me up. That's why mm -hmm. I just. Put it Not in good. your old, put it in your whatever weird kind of way you do things. You know, like, like go, oh, I went to bed. It'd be like someone knocking on your door at three in the morning or something, wanting a ladder. That's what's happened to me. So no, we got him all straightened out. That was kind of a ladder and everything. I guess it was. I don't know. I kind of feel you bad are loading up on karma. The oh. ladder guy, the dog surgeries. The yeah. dog. I guess, the I guess that's it. He took in a special needs dog. That alone is huge karma. It I is, did. It is I did. Needs. And and I'm not even talking about the retardation. He's got physical issues. Yeah. 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 Well, the leg. <laughs> How's he dude, doing? He's having, a, he's having a great fucking time, dude. That dog. I left a blanket in front of the dryer last night. It needed mm -hmm. to be clean. So he went and took a big shit right on it. And then, uh, <laughs> and, then uh, and so now it really needs to be washed, right? I'm like, hey. A big old shit because you've been feeding him sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. oh, I, oh, I'll get to that. So like, he's a picky eater. He won't eat fucking dry dog food. I think it might hurt his teeth. I don't know. He's got good teeth. It's not like they're bad. But anyway, he took a, sh takes a shit on his big black blanket. And he like he does this thing after he does his business where he like does those rear kicks. Like, mm. yeah, I was here. Yeah. Like big <laughs> aggressive ones kicking moss and grass everywhere and uh, he had clearly done that to the blanket because it was like covered up i had to like i smelled it and i was like oh god no and i like had to like unfurl <laughs> the blanket and find the poop and there's that big old dog turd in there so so uh Ugh. that's the worst he's done though he hasn't vomited or taken like a messy poop anywhere but he, he lays these nice dry turds on places <laughs> that are easy to clean up occasionally if you don't take them out of course but, you uh, hate vomit but i forgive it i've never seen a dog like 
revenge vomit or decide to vomit. This is a dog in distress. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't want to. He doesn't want to throw up. I, nobody wants to throw up. You throw up. You throw up. Uh, I, although drunk people, I, I have a hard time. Uh, I don't want to deal with your vomit. Like you, you brought this on yourself, cocksucker. <laughs> not the same <laughs> kind of. Sentence. Yeah, it's not yeah. a stomach flu uh, vomit. It's like, come on. Nah, he, like, so last night, I uh, I went to feed him late, like 10 p.m. or something like that. He, he, I feed him twice a day, like a pound of wet food at a time. And mm -hmm. I'm out of wet food. He will not eat the dry food. And so I look in the fridge, and I've got a pound of roast beef. <laughs> so, so I made him a, I get some mayonnaise and some bread, and I made him a big fucking. You put mayo on the sandwich. Yeah, I mean, I would want mayo on. I was a dry ass roast beef sandwich. Get out of here. That's so, so courteous. I'm with Kyle on this one. Any on mustard? <laughs> no, he doesn't like mustard. He, <laughs> a little relish, but <laughs> he likes a little crunch in there. Um, no, he, I, I didn't even watch him eat it. I was like. Dinner served, and I, I I put down a sandwich that I could not have eaten. And then when I went down there this morning, there was a tiny triangle of a bread crust left there. And I I got a feeling he was leaving that for me. Aww. I think that was for me. I think he was saving that. He was like, I left you some. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not though. He's just fucking full. Do you think he's gonna have stuff. permanent residence? Like at first, you were clearly looking for where to get him next, and now he's doing better. You know, he's got the the leg thing. Good. Um, he's limping around on that. I'm not going to spend five thousand dollars on this dog's leg or anything, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm giving him pain pills every day. And as long as he doesn't like bump it on anything, like he's uh, not it's even like a he doesn't payment even plan for his leg. Yeah, <laughs> uh, aspirin's cheap, you know. Well, like, it's like, aspirin, okay. Yeah, it's dog aspirin. It tastes like liver. So uh, now nah, he's doing okay. He's downstairs <laughs> right now, fucking smiling. Um, doing. Does nothing. he take his pills well? I wrap him in cheese. I, I mean, I have a dog that. <laughs> I'm the only one in the house who can get him to eat it. Like mm. you, you, you have, it's her, with Harley, you have to tip her, her mouth up. You have to open it. You have to make sure her tongue is not forward. You, like it needs to be like in the back position. Yeah. Drop it deep in her throat, hold it closed, and then I rub her neck. And oh, even geez. then, I'm like 80% successful. There's a process, and I've been doing this for a long time. How large are the pills? She's just hard, tiny. They make Amazon sells dog pill hiders. They're little pill treats pockets. that are hollow. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure. Try them. Um, no, she's on to weird. you, Kyle. Discerning. Yeah. She, it, My dog, like when he got to the crunchy <laughs> part in the middle of the cheese, didn't think a thing of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, it, dog dog it. it was a pill the size of a nickel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, these <laughs> tiny pill, everything. She just doesn't do pills well. And, and we've tried the pill hiders, and you put it in there, and it, it, it looks like a. Um, what is the hors d'oeuvre that's like a tiny hot dog? Oh, p pigs in a blanket. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. It, it kind of looks like that, but there's a hole where the pig would be. And but just like combos. Work. Remember combos? Oh, yeah, combos. it's like a combos. Yeah, and that's you a fold, better analogy. You fold the soft top over it. Mm -hmm. Like I do that with my dogs. And every time I give them one, I'm always waiting for them to figure it out. But I'm batting 100. They've never <laughs> figured it out. They've never <laughs> cared. Like they just... Mm. Like Fozzie swallows it whole because he doesn't want to lose out. And then Teddy eats it to spite Fozzie because he always saves his treats until after Fozzie's done so he can be a dick about it. Very vindictive. <laughs> what, I, what I really like about this dog is at least when he pees, he takes those old man dog pees where he just, but all legs on the ground, squat, <laughs> and then all of it. <laughs> all of it not some little marking territory nonsense hey you better smell this later i got 30 more spots to hit he drains the fucking lizard okay <laughs> he takes longer pisses than i do i like like he pissed inside the other day on my fucking rug in the living room that's when i bought the steam Aww. cleaner and he started and i was like no 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 <laughs> wait a god damn it go 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 <laughs> like you, you're gonna set a fucking record over there dude uh. like he went for a solid minute and 10 seconds or something i was like i don't know i'm gonna need a special vacuum to clean this up dude That's when you sad. have great danes it's I a can't whole another thing yeah. it's like like how do you clean up a dog urine right you grab a couple paper towels if it's a big dog like maybe even a lot of them towel yeah, yeah. you are sacrificing a beach towel to the urine gods just yeah. admit this is where we are it's going to take one of your more absorbent household towels that you'd use on yourself and then you'll put that thing straight in the outside garbage See, it's literally right. like it's like if you i put, came over it, to your house and yeah. you were like jackie taylor oh. peed in the living room <laughs> like, <laughs> like like that amount of pee yeah. like you walk yeah. in and i'm just openly pissing like that <laughs> <laughs> that's too big of a deal. That's just too much. I, too I know much we fun. bring it up a lot, but do you know how that family cleaned up that poop that you left in their floor that time? I did it. 
Oh, thank God. What a good guy. Of you know, course. they should I'm gonna help. If, I, I'll say this. If you pooped in my house, I'd have went as I, I'd have went right to the edge of helping you clean it. And that's where I'd have stopped. Like, like I'd have been like, dude, I have shit this floor myself. It's okay. I'd have told lies to make you feel better because that's the most embarrassing thing. I'd, I'd be like, dude, we shit the floor here every week. Usually we do it on. Yeah, there's <laughs> some of mine there in the corner. <laughs> Usually we do it on Tuesdays, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> it didn't no, that flush because of horrible. my huge shit. No big deal. <laughs> if if I did oh. that at your house, sincerely, I don't know if we could still be friends. <laughs> like, I, I would be like, oh, I, I let it every go. time I, I look into his eyes, I see my own shit. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just fucking poop, you know. That relationship day, was like, doomed from that day. Well, I think it that, depends yeah. on whose poop it is, right? If it's someone you loves poop, and I'm not talking about some sort of weird scat fetish, but if it's someone you mm. loves poop, you're like, "Or about this? I got this." You get up there. I was eating so much, so much Chipotle at the time, so I know it was. <laughs> <laughs> you're making this hard to defend. <laughs> <laughs> that day, I ate an entire can of refried beans. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I got after I got my license in high school, like one of the things I just loved doing all the time was just like impulse getting burritos, like just like going and getting burritos at Kidoba. Once Chipotle. I had the car and I got to decide when meals happen. See, that's the thing that I never I'll never understand about. And I know every generation does this. Oh, these kids these days. But but guys, you're like, you, you don't want cars. You don't want the ability to be like, I want a fucking burger and nobody gets to decide when I have it. Like, it's such an empowering moment when you get yeah. those wheels. Are there really that many people who don't want cars or don't have licenses? Can't, just can't even. afford them. Lots Not having your license is license. bizarre. So um, weird. Just I, get it. I, I hope in her friend group, a, a handful of them just weren't in a rush to get a license. You know, they all drive now, of course. She's 23. They but... must have had a social thing where, like, everything I have, I already have, right? Like, if I want to get taken somewhere, it happens. And, and like, probably a close friend group where we're over at each other's houses. So the idea of needing to go somewhere to have fun is, is absent. But for me growing up, it was like, I got to get the fuck out of this room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if yeah. I wanted to go somewhere and I asked my parents, they would most likely just say no. So I desperately wanted a license. With Hope, we'd just give her a ride. So yeah. she, she and, didn't have the same, you know, I don't know, she wasn't missing out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, People and in my, my dad high school, was, like... And my had, dad was like, he was like, you got to get this license, you know. This thing is important. I'm yeah. like, you don't think I want it? We're getting it. He's like, <laughs> and, like, like it was, there was no question. It was like... Oh, that yeah. segue, Jackie you got a it. license. Jackie now has her motorcycle permit. Ooh. And we have been uh, riding together almost every morning, just oh. practicing. She doesn't go far. She, out from... My house leads into a, a neighborhood. It's called medium density housing, right? A bunch of small, like whatever, quarter acre, half acre lots. Mm -hmm. And we drive around that neighborhood a lot and just practice stopping, turning, stop signs. We play the mailbox game where we stop at every mailbox and she gets you know, used to starting and stopping. And that's where she is. So, yeah, nice. low key, she's terrible. But, you know, we're, <laughs> yeah. we're, we're just putting time in. Once you get that starting and stopping thing, though, every. You you know it's fundamentals, right? Everything else is like, gravy. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of U-turns. You know, we'll go to the dead end roads and just do U-turns and slow. Uh, I, I think everything's important. You're on a motorcycle and there's tons of metal moving around you. I was about to say like, oh yeah, this part to be riding a motorcycle is so important. It's like yeah, the high speed <laughs> turns don't matter at all, huh, Kyle? <laughs> like, it all matters. It all. It's matters. all about. It's the all wheelies. in the Lord's hands when you're on a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, mostly, yeah. mostly. He's he's at least fifty fifty. Some hobo walked up to me yesterday, want me to. I came out of the gas station and he thought I had cigarettes, but I had a, uh, I had some, uh, I had a vape that I had bought. I had a nicotine vape and he was like, Hey brother, the Lord gave us another one, didn't he? And I was like, what, what do you want? It was cracking on 11 AM, 11 AM. I just cracking, barely, yeah, like, right. Was the sun <laughs> that dawn sun high in the sky <laughs> burns. Uh, they call it high dawn for a reason. <laughs> and, and he, uh, he asked if he could have a smoke and I was like, nah, I, I got, I got these things, man. You know, show him the vape. And he's like, what the fuck is that? I was like, it's a vape. What the fuck is that? And he's, like, he's like raising his voice now. And I'm like, is he fresh out of prison? What the heck? I'm like, it's a vape. <laughs> he's like, he's you like, deaf or stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fight right here at BP, oh, dude. Oh, I gotta arm. get home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, he was just what a crazy a person. It turned out it, he was an actual crazy. Um, we had about three more exchanges back and forth, and like, and it, I realized he was a crazy person right there. Crazy person right on the streets. Weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I love I, it. it, it 
The problem is I didn't identify him because, again, crack of dawn, 11 a.m., I thought the crazies wouldn't be out yet. Only, like, respectable adults like me are up this early. Yeah. And so <laughs> there he is, fucking wearing jeans and a T-shirt. It wasn't until I saw his hands that I knew he was a hobo. He had those fingernails that were all the way mm. back. There's those shortest fingernails and those dirty, bald fingertips. Wait, oh, short wait, that's, fingernails? That's hobo? Yeah, mine are short. Not long fingernails? Yeah, like, I don't like, like yours overgrown. Either. Um, mine are actually too long right now. I'm looking at them, but but like I, what are, I don't like is when they're too short. I don't want to show I, them because you won't like oh, them. Yours like, are too a li- short. like a like yeah, short. Yeah, I yours like too short for my liking. So like Elijah I, Woods <clears throat> in Lord of the Rings, like he's got those bite bit down too short. nails like that. Too yeah, short. I mean, they did that made him. Look what he stressed. can't open packages. I always have a Leatherman on me. Yeah, yeah, I don't I, do well you, ripping open packages you either. You primitives <laughs> just scratching with your claws trying to I'm open packages. Saying, if I take your tool away from you, you can't get get into an Amazon box. That's all I'm I, saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll just I'll just <laughs> force take it my open. Leatherman yeah. from my He's stomping on hand. it over there. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is true. Light like, bulbs. <laughs> I really can't do the like you know hand, pliers thing with my fingernails. Like, mm-hmm. but um, I have a preference for them super short, dude. I have. I have fingernail clippers right here. I have fingernail clippers in my truck. I have them next to my bed. I have them downstairs in the kitchen. I am never really mar- very far from clippers. And if I can, if it is possible to bend them backwards, something has gone awry. My goodness. Oof. I like them bend short. them backwards. My, my preference seems like it's yeah. very important that they be short. I d- if they get longer than that, I just feel like I'm unkempt. What is too short, Kyle? Because like not letting them overgrow the tips of your fingers seems like normal. Oh, of course. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I don't okay. want to see any white, you know, like how at the end, you know, it like turns white when it starts like growing past oh, when it's too go. long. Yeah. Yeah. I, I want it to all be pink, but I don't know if I want it to be like down and set into my, uh, into my finger bed or whatever that is. Like I, what I really wish is I, I if I had, I don't know, I wasn't lazy enough to have someone actually do them. I would get a manicure and a pedicure. I got a pedicure the other day and my feet looked so much better afterwards. I was like, ah, oh, I want this all the time. But Did I, they trim them up or just like, yeah, like trim yeah. and like rounded them and made them look like no, no, the hair I meant like they they do a full, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, forgot. yeah. No, this I styled. I did a perm, I had a perm <laughs> and a press. Oh, you got a nice quaff on the top of your foot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a little you, got a, on my... <laughs> you got a zoomer perm on your big toes. A <laughs> pompadour? What is it? What's that? Yeah, uh, like that, a that pompadour. Thing? Yeah. No, I, I I usually shave them. I I usually use my like Norelco. Jeez. I think we all use the same trim, like the that one green blade. one. Yeah, the yeah. one blade, and just run that through there. Oh yeah, you I think get you them as a sponsor. The one that I have, great, it's so good. I was so yeah. glad you guys recommended it. It's tremendous. It, Narco it one can't, blade. it can't be clogged, which I like. You know, mm-hmm. like you, you. What sold me is I, I was like, all right, I want one that won't be clogged. That's like a big deal to me. And then there's this guy. He might be Persian on YouTube, and he had a beard that's. I think thicker than Taylor's, which is already an A plus beard. And he just took this thing and shaved it in one pass. And I'm like, the fuck? It, it's, this is an industrial beard trimmer, if need be. Yeah. I, I, I mostly use They're mine nice. when um, I've gone a week or something and the electric shaver doesn't cut. They it. have waterproof ones too. I don't know if it's the same company, but I have mm. a waterproof one that like you just put a little guard on and you just use it in the shower. Keep your pubes in line. So when you shot when you when you shave your face when you're getting the beard trimmed up because mm-hmm. what I do is I I let it grow for five days and then I trim it back back mm-hmm. down to the same length and I'd repeat that over and over for my entire life. Okay. Um, so there's hair everywhere, right? What where do you shave and how do you avoid ruining the sink? I now, shave. I've got I've got my way, <laughs> but I'm like a quasi single man who has multiple bathrooms in their home and I could have a sh- a shit show of a bathroom if I want. Yeah, so I not use everyone can. my sink area. So I in my in my master bath, there's two sinks, and uh, my wife tends to use like she has so many products and everything. She uses like one of our guest baths just as her own personal like getting ready one. <laughs> and so yeah. I have like my own like toothbrushing station and like doing my hair and everything. And then the other one I just use for shaving. And so before I do it, I get like I pull off like big sheets of paper towels. Huh. Usually like two that are like four blocks and I lay one up near the top by the faucet and the other one layered on top of it. And then I trim all of it on top of the paper towels and then I carefully fold the paper towels on top of each other and throw those away so I don't get any hair anywhere. That's intensive. Yeah. yeah I don't like my, the, I the hair gets everywhere. I, I'll I think this I was do. a tiny problem. Can I go first? Because I think you've got the ultimate <laughs> yeah, go thing. Ahead. 
I just shave over the sink, turn the sink on, and splash it around until it goes down the drain. It's it clogs up. Yeah, it's 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 everywhere. There's so much. Like like okay. I don't have as much facial hair as this man by a long shot, but he doesn't take all his off every week either. So mm-hmm. we may have a similar amount of mess on the sink if he's just trimming. I cover the whole fucking thing up with these coarse, bristly hairs. Yep. And no matter how you run the water and the ro- water like pushes the hairs <laughs> further away from the hole and then they get dry. <laughs> and I'm like, motherfucker, is that, do I have hydrophobic beard hair? So I have, to like, I have to get like a scrubber out and like clean the whole sink. And I'm like, no, down the hole. Down. It, it, my, my beard hair is like a spider that doesn't want to die. Mm-hmm. So what I do is I get into the shower. I just step into the shower and do the whole thing. Oh. Like, like as much as I can blind, I, I, a mirror in there would be yeah. perfect. But I don't have one. Then I just do the whole thing blind. And then I just wash it down the fucking shower drain. Because I used to ruin my sink. And I would, if a girl was coming over, I'd be like, oh, got to clean the bathroom. Fuck, there's hair stuck to toothpaste, stuck to fucking, <laughs> yeah. fucking like, like all sorts of weird shit. Like, it's time to clean the bathroom. I don't think I have this problem. I, it, it washes down the drain easily to me. Uh uh-uh. It I can't even hit the sink with most of it. Like like it's hitting when when I'm when I'm like shaving, it's hitting an area like this big. Like maybe like I'm unaware of the hairs on the floor and <laughs> stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, it looks great to my standards. There's so many hairs. Like when I when I trim my neck and my beard up, like. I, sometimes I'll make the mistake of doing it shirtless because I'm always about to shower and I have a hairy chest as well. And so all the hair you. I'm trimming on my face goes into my chest hair. And then unless I spend like five straight minutes in the shower, just like letting the water run off my chest, like rubbing it. There have been times like I'm you know, having to run to a meeting or something and I don't remember to soap up my chest really good. I just do a quick once over and then like I go sitting in a meeting, go to the bathroom or something. And I'm like, why am I so fucking itchy? And I like can put my hand down there and like grab a tuft of chest hair and pull <laughs> and it looks like i've got like alopecia like like i'm pulling oh. it out in real time it, there's so much on there yeah I, glad I, the, the paper towel approach very good very clean keeps it organized that's one thing i can't compete with and i never will is that body hair you know like 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 if, if, yeah, if it's not uh, a competition you want to win well you know i'm thinking if the world ever got a little bit colder you'd you'd be in a you'd have a good foothold you know, <laughs> that's to, true they, they always climate. talk about global cooling. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I you, know, you can't have one without the other. We're gonna we're gonna yo-yo back and forth. I think all that shit's made up anyway. I don't think we're gonna. You know, you know, recycling. I watched the whole like thirty-minute YouTube video, so now I know about recycling. Uh, recycling is a, a fucking scam. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Did, you so much same, <laughs> Did you watch so the same? thirty-minute YouTube? Video? <laughs> I might have, but I, I think what I learned was that plastic recycling is a scam. Mm-hmm. Glass same and metal video. and some other things are pretty good. That plastic recycling for like a brief period in time made sense. Maybe petroleum was expensive. I'm not sure, but. Um, now, the bulk of plastic is trash and can't be recycled. So here's so all- what plastic companies mm-hmm. did. And my years are going to be up and down five years or something. But like in like 1981, they were like, hey, you guys have to, uh, if, if it's recyclable, you have to put the recyclable thing on there and the public gets behind it, right? We buy recyclable products. Mm-hmm. And that's like 81. In 88, the, they, they come up with a new plastic classification uh, uh, symbol to put on plastics it looks identical it's the arrows it's three arrows pointing mm-hmm. into a triangular never-ending circle and it has nothing to do with recyclability it refers to the type of plastic that this is create made out of two three four five six seven eight mm-hmm. not about recyclability only like 15 or 20 percent of plastics are recyclable the rest lasts 450 fucking years <laughs> yeah, in the middle of the sea killing turtles <laughs> wherever or something like that about uh, those turtles too I've never even seen one in real life. Who cares? You ever seen it? Have you ever seen an owl? One of those great horned fancy owls that they're always crying. A snow owl. You ever at the seen zoo. One? Definitely heard them. And I've seen them at the zoo. Yeah, at the zoo. I don't know That's if I've seen game. a wild owl. I would. I, I don't give a shit about those fucking owls. You I know? mean, like a barn owl. I've seen barn owls in the wild. Don't care about those either. Don't yeah, care it was neat to either. go out west. I saw like porcupines. Oh, yeah, they are real, aren't they? I knew they yeah. were real, but I hadn't seen one. Chipmunks? There's chipmunks all over the place. Like, there's squirrels on the East Coast. Armadillos in the Ar- Armadillos mm-hmm. die by the side of the road all across How the country, left? You know yeah. why? So, their Idiots. defense mechanism Fools. is obviously to roll up in that ball. So, mm-hmm. they see the car coming, they roll up in the ball. When the car passes them, they do this little... They have this little thing they do where they bounce. So they yeah. like the car goes over and they're like, oh shit. And they bounce and they hit the underside of the fucking car. So like a hundred percent mortality. Like 
every other animal. <laughs> you, you, I'm sure we've all driven over an animal. Made like, oh, oh, close one, buddy. You could have been an action movie. A rabbit yeah. made it. Armadillos are like, punk. <laughs> they cuss themselves to death on the underside Suicide by car. They've, I, I don't know if it's global warming or just animal migration over time, but like there did not used to be armadillos in my area of Georgia, like call it Macon and above. And like now there are. And that happened in my lifetime. Like I, I, I slowly started experiencing them northern and northern uh, in Georgia. Those fucking armadillos. They're not yeah. the ones that cut that carry uh, the plague, are they? I think armadillos might or, be that way. Or is it the um, leprosy? No. Leprosy. Thank you. Is it leprosy? Disease where you fall apart. Like that's that's uh, that's one of those diseases as well that that I think an animal carries. I, I know that I've touched porcupines and armadillos in the wild though, foolishly. Yeah, Did armadillos the- you're not supposed to touch because they're like just carriers of every disease but i didn't know about leprosy and maybe i'm misremembering or something but most people are immune to it like most people don't get leprosy good i did i had i did not know that i thought it was like anyone could could catch it i thought it was like ebola or something yeah no apparently not apparently huge numbers of people just don't get it but man being in a leper colony back in the bible days really any days horrible life no aesthetic and join. There are modern me- <laughs> leper colonies, right? Uh, no, not here. Where would they be? Well, certainly not in like San Diego or some shit. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know. Like, like Thailand or something. They got a leper colony or something. I mean, we've got those homeless villages. It's not like we're so fancy over here. We've got an, enough homelessness to go around. I really Dude, has homelessness around. increased in your area? Oh. It has in mine. Yeah. Yeah, there's Absolutely. a there's an exit four miles from where I live, so it's like six miles from my house, maybe. And uh, I go there pretty frequently. I think there's some sort of unclaimed woods there, and they've set up a little camp. And by they, I mean like twelve people. Mm-hmm. But homeless was always this like, are they even homeless? They're there briefly, they get chased off, etc. Now it's like, dude, if you wanted to find a homeless person, you could go to that camp. I'm sure there'll be a bunch right there yeah. right now. I don't think we're going to get the answer to that anytime soon. Um, I, I don't, I, it, it's I like the year of the shark that. thing. I've said this before. Like I, I have a hard time placing my finger on the, is it just more coverage of homeless or is it actually more homeless? But I think it's true that there's actually increasing homeless. It would I know St. Louis has seen an influx of more. Like when yeah. I go on to down to the city from time to time, it's like, Oh, well, I mean, it wasn't a nice place before, but it's worse now. <laughs> there wasn't, like camps before like they have tents they have uh and, and tents are so colorful you know it's like i can see your tent back there it's teal and that guy's is red like you could buy a green tent silly head it looks like shit just clashes are, are, <laughs> are, are you picking on homeless people for the color of their tent yes i mean they're picking some shit. you think i picked this out <laughs> <laughs> you should have should have gotten a better one <laughs> lazy joe died in this last week <laughs> That's how I mean. That's it's more. The homeless. It's orange and it smells and it's all I have. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that it's There's increased here or not. Um, I see them, you know, um, just driving back and forth from here to like Midtown. Um, you, it's usually when you go into like a weird little turn. Atlanta has all these little off ramps and on ramps, and uh, and and you'll go through this. There's like no way to access this little patch of woods except for if you happen to be going through this little little ringamaroo thing. And there they are. And I'm like, how do y'all get out of here? Because if I got off on foot, I'd be scared. They're just like out there in this little, it's like a nature preserve for homeless people. And like you said, <laughs> they've got their laundry drying. They've got tents. They've got chair, like, like you know, those folding lawn chairs. And they like should do guided barbecues. tours, like where you're in a golf cart and like a resident <laughs> of Seattle drives you around and they go, oh, quack, 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 quack. He's doing <laughs> heroin. <laughs> he's doing he's doing heroin Watch. yeah taylor you could do a guided tour for the low price of the phone in your pocket <laughs> you're not leaving with that your phone or your wallet stay but they'll let you look around yeah no i don't think so <laughs> then the, the, i wouldn't want to go on a homeless safari actually i, I kind of do <laughs> maybe That's maybe cool. I, I need a better price Can we, but... and then we pay them minimum wage and that way we're a charity right Oh, we're in charge of this thing. Mm-hmm. And we it would be a charity and like minimum wage, or we could probably pay the homeless in like Natty Light or something, make it even more sustainable mm. on our end, on the payment side. I mean, how much is Natty Light? Basically, what's that, me- what's that cheap Mexican beer, Takati? 
Yeah. Takati, yeah. Takati, yeah. Takati. That's the good stuff. <laughs> I do. I, I've had. That's uh, what I was trying to shotgun that time, and I vomited yeah. in that hotel room in front of you. That was that was, that was a cool moment for me. <laughs> I, was, I was like, "Wow, this guy rocks." <laughs> <laughs> you know, those tacates are not that great, but like with a oh. little lime in there, they are good. Like, I, I'm not like the biggest fan of those Mexican beers. But all it takes is a little lime, maybe like a lime squeezed in it, and then another little lime slice added. They're pretty good. I guess the lime's yeah. doing the carry, the heavy lifting at that point. I like a yeah, I like Dos Equis a, a lot. It's it's really the only beer that I would ever order. Like in, in, the lager, I think the one in the green bottle. Um, I, that's yeah. the only beer I actually enjoy. For and like it's a refreshing every, yeah, beer you'd get with lime, with lime for sure. Yeah, I don't like. Um, I've always hated Bud Light. My mom and dad love would, would have. Like they didn't drink, but there'd be a six pack in the fridge, if that makes mm-hmm. sense. Like, yeah. Like at the end of the day, they'd have like one beer. And mm-hmm. I, I know every now and then I'd like sneak one or something like that. Like, oh, I'm an adult now. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Nope, not yet. <laughs> not an adult yet. <laughs> All right. See, Bud Light, I, I think of as like so easy to drink. Like it tastes like very Oof. little. Miller it's Light. super low alcohol. So it's like, it's not not Five heavy or anything. I thought no, what? Bud Light's like four, isn't it? Could have sworn it was five and a half. Um, Miller Light is if I'm going to drink one of those white trash beers, I'll call them that. Uh, it'd be Miller Light for sure. That watery, ice cold piss Miller Light. I could drink a pitcher of that while eating like hot wings or something, no problem. Those are the lowest calorie ones. Like uh, last time yeah. my brother came in town, he's like he brought some Miller Lights because that's what he wanted, and like a Miller Light is like. 95 calories something like that yeah. which for a full beer is super low so it might maybe it's the health conscious decision <laughs> uh it definitely is i mean that and vodka you know like 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 if i if i ever drink alcohol it's vodka i would never drink like i don't know some fancy scotch that's probably got an extra 30 calories in it of nastiness yeah i mean i love we've talked about this before with like cigars scotch like i love the idea of being a fancy like scotch cigar guy who who yeah. like classically sits there and enjoys it but every time you try that it's just revealed like you're not this guy you're never gonna yeah be this guy. well well i think what it here's my guess about what it's about it's about having enough money to acquire those tastes because you have to have enough money to have 15 shitty cigars until that 16th one tastes good and each mm-hmm. one's 85 bucks okay yeah so you gotta have 1400 dollars to blow on G- gaining a new expensive hobby that's what you're doing <laughs> I, that, that that's my theory on that the same with like drinking that macallan 18 or whatever or anything like that because i've had all that stuff and i don't care for it i don't like any of it i mean a fucking coca-cola in a glass bottle is one of the best beverages i've ever had <laughs> yeah. i like a nice diet pepsi <laughs> <laughs> diet pepsi is so much better than bottle. diet coke is it uh, kyle's got me thinking about a coke in a glass bottle something about the glass bottle too it means a lot not plastic. That Mexican. Not I want can. that Mexican uh, uh, glass bottle Coke that has the cane sugar and not that new one that, that has YouTube the, the tells me it's mm-hmm. the same now. I don't same know. Same now. It's, it's on sucks. YouTube. but You got to have some friends in Mexico. <laughs> mm. They're like the smuggling Mexican, it up uh, with cocaine. Mexican Sprite. I liked more than Mexican Coke because like Sprite with the real sugar in it is awesome. It's yeah, so I agree. good. I agree. Like, mm. One of the Sprite underrated. Like, I don't know if you have any memories like this, if you've ever had a time where you didn't have any anything to drink or you're like working hard and there was like hours maybe went by and then finally you got that drink and you remember it. I remember a day when we were working so hard um, setting up skeet machines and mm-hmm. uh, we, were, we were out in this field and it was hot as fuck and just wasn't anything to drink. And then finally we're like, ah, let's, let's go back up to the cabin. And they had one of those crushed ice machines. And my uh, Stacy, my, my buddy Stacy was like, got a little secret stuck these in there a little while ago and he had two 20 ounce sprites that he had like stuck down in the ice mm. and those things were so cold and delicious yeah. <laughs> like the, i was i think i was 16 when i had that sprite and i'll never forget it <laughs> it was so tasty mm. kyle will never forget the taste of that sprite <laughs> it, was so cold. it was so cold that it had like thickened up the way vodka will oh yeah, like it was almost syrupy it had condensed mm-hmm. a bit i haven't had a regular sprite in so long i really i'm, I'm gonna get a I'm going to get a regular Sprite tomorrow. That sounds I keep, great. I, I keep one right here to look at. Whoa. Mm. Look at that. Is that a real Sprite? That's not even yeah. a place to unscrew and hide drugs? <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
I avoid. <laughs> I, I try not I to drink my calories. It, it, dude, Derek from More Plates, More Dates said something that burned into my head because it's so true. When you're in a calorie deficit, now sometimes you're in a huge one, but oftentimes if you're in a mate, like maintenance calorie deficit, I'm only like 200 calories down that day. You know, mm-hmm. th- that's it. And you do that over the course of a week. What is that? Two, you lose a pound every two weeks ish, something like that. Um, and that's a casual, barely trying calorie deficit. Cool. You are one Nature Valley granola bar away from not having a deficit that day. You are on the razor's edge all the time. A little bit of weight error, a little bit mm-hmm. of whatever. 140. Is 140. That, is that for two servings or one? Like what one, do we uh, one per can, per can. A can of a can of so. So they're different. Uh, Sprite's actually on the low end for regular sodas. I think at 140. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that like a cherry Sometimes coke they... or something like that's a 150. Maybe Mountain Dew's 160. Even Mountain Dew's the worst. I know. Maybe that. I'm out of date. They used <laughs> to say there were two servings in a can, which is why I asked you to look at it. But it says 140 40 per can. I, okay. They, okay. I, I think they fixed that at some point. They Somebody should fix blamed. that. No one was sharing cans. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... and then I have been hoodwinked by the serving size more times than I'd like to admit. <laughs> <Where> I'm <laughs> like, I can't believe I can eat this whole pizza crust. And it's like. <laughs> 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 but yeah, yeah you're I, just there. Like Derek says, you are one Nature's Valley granola bar away from a deficit. Like you gotta, oh yeah, count it all. Yeah, and and like <laughs> when, I, when I'm counting those calories, like you talk about this, sometimes I'll be comparing three or four pizza crusts because I want pizza because mm-hmm. I haven't had anything even approaching pizza in so long. So you got to do some math. You got to like divide the grams by the fucking calories because they're <laughs> all different serving sizes. Yeah, and and, and you'll be like, ah. Oh, I can't believe it. The cheap one is way better than this expensive egg crust that I was about to buy. I think I got fatter yeah. since egg I broke crust. my leg. I just lowered my, what is it called? BMR, your basic metabolic rate. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I just don't walk as many steps or move as much as I did. Of course not. When my legs worked. And uh, uh, I think I gained a little fat. So I'm trying to keep that. That'll come off in no time. Like, it's not like it was a big lifestyle change of like, wow, Woody's really let himself go. It's like <laughs> a few weeks of like treating yourself with some almonds. I think <laughs> I don't think you're in a blade situation here. <laughs> oh, is it possible to find that update picture of his foot? Did you guys see it? I didn't know um, there was one. No. Yeah, How, here, do you know in, something? here in our Discord, they're always like throwing a link to him in there. Anytime there's an update, I think I saw a thumbnail, but I thought it was doctored. I, like, I thought I saw a toe sneaky. with a big hole in it, but I have previously been fooled thinking that um, like that they're like, "Hey, look at this," and like that was actually from last year. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't have proof. Like I don't, I didn't see it myself. On I just don't stream. keep up with him well enough to know like his Me his either. current toe situation. It looked yeah. rough, and it looked like I am Mister. All you got to do is have some chicken and broccoli, and this thing will turn around. Yeah. <sighs> If he were to do that right now, there would always be this hole. Like I could put my thumb in it, if I recall. Like it's it's you could put a you know a, a pencil. It's got the yeah. eraser, then the metal part. Yeah, like all that would fit in this hole. Nice. Oh, so so his toe has turned into a uh, a pill hider for dogs. Yes. Dude. Yes, that would nice. work great. Well, hey, if it falls off, let us know. Yeah, yeah, I got. What he's got a stubborn one. dog. <laughs> <laughs> Blade, hook a brother up. <laughs> Oh, but, now, 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 here's what I'll say. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and lay this. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> that image. Why I does it say only use me blade fake. foot? Like, what? what <laughs> is this? Uh, uh, take that off. Take it 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 off. <laughs> Why? Because he didn't <laughs> read all the fucking print. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, I didn't. All right. Um, anyway, uh, I, I, I wish him the best. And if it does yeah. fall off by some terrible thing that happens we at pk would like to purchase the toe we would like to keep it in a jar and then it'll be like the stanley cup and it'll move from one of us to the other and stay at our desks what do you guys think that we'd be willing to pay for the severed toe of wing of uh only use me wings toe Hmm. would be more that's uh, this is only Uh use me blades toe a wings toe Uh, no 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 no. only use me blade wings toe isn't coming off anytime soon wings uh, only use me blades toe we're buying it from him? Yes. Oh. I don't know about him, but I would be very averse to selling my own toe. There'd be if, something about that that, that would be very in, invasive. Wing's toe, as far as we know, is not about to hit the market. 
Is this a scenario where the toe I falls off? I will only off? use me blade's toe when it falls off, when it has to be amputated right. for medical reasons, and I'm willing to pay five hundred dollars for that toe. Five hundred? Okay. Is that low? I, I it yes. seems well, if it's already think, falling off, it's useless. It's not even lucky anymore. Well, count well <laughs> counter I mean you, you the bidding is open. You want to get in here and try to outbid me for this toe? I just feel like there's someone in the community who thinks 500 is blowballing it. We're starting the... at 500, boys. You know, anybody <laughs> else wants to outbid me 500 bucks for that for that rotten toe? A 510. 525. <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck. That's what I thought. I should have I should have been like sold. All right, so, so hit up so hit up Woody <laughs> for your 510 dollars. <laughs> No, I, I wish him the what the best, but uh, I just he doesn't seem to be real focused on getting that uh, looked at or anything. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's interested in it, but it could be that you know a lot of times people won't go to the doctor when they know something's up because like it's a confirmation of what you know, like something you know what I mean. Where it's like, oh, if I if I don't go to the doctor, I won't know anything's wrong, so nothing will be wrong. Would you be? Yeah, I, I could definitely kind of relate to that. Like, like, like it could be. It's scary to go to the doctor, and it's easier mm -hmm. to not go. But, oh my God, <laughs> go! Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like when, when, uh, when that doctor called and like says, "Oh yeah, it's cancer," and I was like, "All right, how soon can we get moving on this?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, soon." Yeah, Great. I'm glad we're right on the same right. page. <laughs> yeah, like, like, you know, imagine if I'd been some like procrastinating piece of Ooh, shit that was afraid the of the doctor you know mm -hmm. yeah then oh, you, you might have lost more of your yeah eye. this most recent one is a picture of the toe kyle what's your judgment taylor you think we can um, show that gore uh no i'm i'm grabbing it ew you know no Woody and let's, I not, might let's not show that what okay. and i might disagree on how long a man's nails should be but <laughs> no one's on but only blade. use me blades on another planet <laughs> with, that, <laughs> with that with that thought so here's what i see and look i'm not i'm looking at a weird blurry God picture damn. on the internet but i noticed that a lot of it is white and to me that whiteness i've only seen that on my own feet when like i was in like military boots wet walking mm -hmm. all day like, like when my feet foot. got like like not trench foot but like the first day of trench foot you know what i mean like soggy mm -hmm. foot Something about your feet, like all the callousy material on his toe pad has absorbed liquid. And that's why it's white. And that's what I'm looking at. And then, like you said, that looks necrotic. That looks like his flesh is dying, rotting, and probably smells. So the yeah. fact that he's going to, I'm, I'm going to say it's like 50%. He's going to lose that toe. That's my medical opinion. Because <laughs> I've never seen a hole rot into a digit like that. That And it look, I, my guess is everything that's white is dead. Mm -hmm. and uh and everything in that hole is dead or, or just dead yeah. there's no blood flow there that's why it's white that i mean look at it it's just it's just a it's a black hole in the toe like of course that's dead that's who knows dead how deep it is like flesh. if you took like a dental tool and like started scratching into the center oh. of it like like what's the consistency is it a soup is it like 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 crusty like scabby stuff or is that like pink skin just under that brown spot i don't know it's real I gross, don't know, though. but it he's you got to go to the doctor, man. Well, isn't he limping down the aisle one the day? Thing soon? is, the, going to the doctor doesn't solve it. Changing your lifestyle solves it. Now, I'm not yeah. saying I think going to a eat. doctor solves it. Like, like I'm listening. What will the doctor do? It's I don't think alcohol is is causing that toe to do that. I think like there's an infection in there. It I looks like diabetes. he's got an infection. Oh. See, I don't quite understand. So diabetes causes that from blood loss, right? Like there's no blood flow to the extremities. Am I, am I correct in that? I, I think so too. Taylor's usually good at this. I mean, I know that it has like the reason people with diabetes over time, like will lose limbs and appendages is because of a circulation issue. Yeah, and I, it was I think flow. it was like we've said before, like, or we've guessed, I mean, that his diabetes is probably because of the huge amounts of Jaeger. Are we like sure the, he's diabetic? sugariest to drink. I mean, I, we know no, no, we don't. We don't know for sure. But like these kind of sores, like if you look up a diabetic sore online, that's what it looks like. It's like a, a slow rotting out of places because there's no blood flow. Yeah. Dr. Woody says he's diabetic and he needs a lifestyle change to heal that. I want to put that going to a hurt. doctor and having it like cleaned out and prepared to heal won't help at all if he keeps down in the Jaeger. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's I think that's very true. Yeah, there are things the doctor just fixed. 
like Kyle's eye cancer or my nose cancer. We'll yeah. fix in a little bit. <laughs> um, doctors, you, you go in there and you leave without cancer. Cool. Then there are other things that you got to fix, and that's where Blade is. Yeah. Yeah. He needs Hope a he lifestyle gets change. Well, of course he needs a lifestyle change, but like. I don't know. It's just something I have no, no experience with. Like, like the idea that like him drinking alcohol is making his toe rot off is, is crazy. Is it? What's is that, that Memphis? Name? Memphis. That's it. <laughs> Memphis needs attention. Yeah, Memphis is terrified of that big bully out there. <laughs> oh no, no, no! She's She's lording terrible. his sandwich rights over the rest of the dogs, <laughs> no, eating like their she, breadless. This meals. little female dog terrorizes him. She wants to play, and he doesn't like to play. He wants to lie down and relax. And she's like, she's like, nibbling at his feet. Like, come on, let's fucking play. Like, fucking play. Come on, I'll bully you, bitch. And he's like, ah, oh, let me alone. This he's is like, sleep abuse. Yeah, they're they're fucking cute dogs. They are. Um, I'm still considering getting a puppy, even if I keep the big boy. I don't know. I kind of want a whole bunch of them. No, you should they're, they're, go like, all like in, I, man. Both your father does that. He likes a pack of dogs. He's down to three. He's down to three now. One of them is, we did the math the other day, and Elizabeth is, she was born in 2004. So, oh, wow. um, and it's 18? Yeah, so 18, 18 years old. Uh, at, at least, two, maybe a little, it, it's, a, it's either 2004 or 2003. So that I dog's, know dogs made it that far on the farm. It's I, a, it's I a, thought they typically ran through a ventilation fan or got <laughs> stepped on by a cow or something. All of those things have happened. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, uh, but, but she has not, um, she's the last of her litter to survive. I remember her dad and mother and they're Fred and Trixie. I remember them very well back in the day. They had a whole litter of puppies and those puppies were, you know, mm -hmm. our dogs for, for a smart decade, dog? for over a decade. Ah, she sits in her chair now, eats her snacks. She's like deaf almost, blind almost. She sits on a comfy like tuffet on a comfy <laughs> chair next. <laughs> she made a she lifetime eats. of good decisions in a dangerous environment. So yeah. pretty bright. Yeah. Yeah. She's a happy inside dog over in dad's living room. I guarantee right now she's sitting on that couch, like waiting on dad to give her some bologna. <laughs> That's a good dog life right there. Yeah, Actually, I, have I wouldn't mind that. Are you looking at the, you said a Maltese or a Bichon a little bit ago when you were looking at puppies? Yeah, I, I like those uh, those like white faggy dogs like you have. But uh, Yeah, but I the love them too. A Bichon the, Frise, I had, I had a Bichon named Tobo. He was great growing up. Great, great But at great the same time, dog. like that Labradoodle looks cool to me. I see uh, uh, there's a Labradoodle, not on TikTok, but I think it's, on, I saw it on YouTube shorts. This guy has an enormous one. Like it's, a, it's like. They thought he was that he starts when it's a puppy and then the music's playing. It's like dun 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 dun, and then it skips forward. Now he's this big fucking dog, and he's like he's, the guy's still happy. He's like dun 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 dun, and the dog gets bigger again, and it's like <laughs> oh no, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> like he's got like a hundred and thirty pound labradoodle that just like is the bane of his existence for his <laughs> with his like weekly uh, like like haircuts and shit like that. <laughs> so I kind of want one of those Labradoodles. They're so fucking cute. Um, uh, but but they should um, make a Corgadoodle or something. They do. Oh, uh, they, so yeah. It makes poodles. I, I said everything. this the other day. If you're a poodle in the in the dog breeding business, you're getting fucking all kinds of pussy. They're flying it in for you. All kinds of exotic tail. Get you some poodle. strange. Getting you some strange foreign <laughs> pussy if you're a male poodle because they're mm -hmm. wanting to like get you some caca caca something pussy and some. Like like everything, Every, they'll breed poodles to everything. There was a Great Dane and a mm. poodle mix the other day. Um, like all the big dogs, the little dogs, they mm -hmm. don't care. They'll let a poodle fuck them. Yeah, well, there's a big market for hypoallergenic dogs, so they're just like That's easy peasy. Let the let the poodle fuck this kind. Let's see what it's we like, get. It's like <laughs> yeah. It, well, it's ugly, but dogs. it doesn't make you sneeze. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, the golden retriever mixed with the uh, the poodle makes a golden doodle. And those things. That's what I was looking at. That cute, fuzzy faced motherfucker. Mm -hmm, uh, yeah. That's like eight hundred fifty dollar dog. Um, but Dude, there's some I, really expensive ones on there. Like eight fifty is cheap. I, I would say that the initial cost of the dog is a pretty small part of the price of owning a dog. Mm -hmm. And I'm not super sensitive to it. Now I know if the dog is three grand, that's a lot. Yeah. But if you get a free dog, look, you're probably going to spend eight hundred right away. I did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Right, for example, uh, Kyle's dog. I forget. Yeah, the, the but, I, but you know, I walked into I that. Nice I could have gotten twice. I mean, I intentionally <laughs> got a. <laughs> 
I intentionally got a fixer upper dog. I got him because he's a fixer upper. I he can save him. <laughs> <laughs> I can they, change him. <laughs> oh no, there were some dogs of it with emotional problems, and I didn't want any part of their little issue. There was I, two or three of them that were trying to get me as I walked past their cage. Yeah, don't give them then. They're they're no they're damaged goods. And then there's like one that just laid there and wouldn't even look at me, all pitiful. It's yeah. super sad up there. And it, when I went to take him back and return him. And, and and like on the paperwork, it's like, just so you know, this is a kill shelter. We will kill him. And I was just like, fuck, I didn't know that. <laughs> Shit. And we just had to leave. <laughs> I didn't know they'd like threatened you at the pound. They threaten you when you turn them in. Yeah. Yeah. You, you should have called their bluff and been like, can I do it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sir, you need to drop out of high school for this. <laughs> <laughs> well let me see your ged uh, this looks legit Ooh. get the hell out of here felon is ye <laughs> <laughs> i've got a diploma but i am a felon oh, yeah. oh why didn't you say so <laughs> step right up step right up here's your stick <laughs> no everybody there was like <laughs> yeah, yeah, my womp instead. You just club them to death back there like baby seals. I want the pelts. See, they throw they uh they throw them all into this big communal um doggy incinerator afterwards. She's sleeping on my feet now. And uh and, but but I, I always wondered why they don't do anything with the pelts. Yeah, they should. They should yeah. donate that. No, to... they should make big blankets out of them. Like I'd like a blanket made out of the pelts of many dogs. And you put the new dogs under it. I mean, they can hop in bed. You know, that's a given. But but I want the dog blanket, kind of a Cruella Deville type situation. What do you mean that they they're mass cremating the dogs? Oh, they just like it's throw them a, all into a giant. It's not a schedule. They it's like Tuesday kill day, and they just like knock them well, all out. Well, you know, they don't like one at a time. Them is what I'm saying. They just like uh -oh. throw them all in there, and then they they burn them all. It's pretty disrespectful. Well, you, if you're taking your pet up there, they put your little guy in there, personally incinerate him, and then give you the ashes back. I, uh, I don't think I want my dog's ashes. I don't That's personally. So he, here's another thing they'll do. They'll take the ashes and they'll like turn them into like a gem or something or a paw print. You can get shit like that done. Uh, and I, I, I had, I'll tell the story quickly, but I had an ex-girlfriend and she had adopted a cat from the Fur Kids. Big thing here in Atlanta. I don't know if they're nationwide. That's where you go get your pet. It's the premier agency. They do check up on you big time, though. They don't give pets to just anybody. Mm -hmm. She'd gotten this little cat. Cat got the zoomies, ran into a fucking door, broke its own goddamn neck, and dropped dead. Oh, this man. girl is heartbroken. Jesus she Christ. just watched her best little buddy kill himself in the living room, doing something he'd done a thousand times. Shocker. Heartbreaker. She cremates him urn on the mantle little picture next to it crying for weeks finally Aww. she's over it it's time to replace this little guy so she goes back to the fur kids yeah i'm, I'm ready for a new one they're like oh okay so what, what happened to bonzo we see you got him like six months ago and she's like oh bonzo cut the zoomies and he he ran into a door and broke his neck and they're like Man, if you don't tell us the truth about what happened to that cat, we're not going to give you another cat. And she's like, what are you talking about? He got the zoomies. All right, you're on the list. No cats for you. They refused to give her another cat. They did wow. not believe her bullshit story about him getting the zoomies and breaking his neck, which is 100% true. It's just a fluke. It happens. Weird shit Sometimes happens. Sometimes cats kill themselves. I've never seen it, never heard of it. I've seen cats bonk their heads a million times, but this time, right angle or bad cat neck or something, drop fucking dead. Aneurysm, who knows? I don't know. But they won't give her another fucking cat. And I thought that was the saddest thing I'd ever heard. <laughs> that is, well, I mean, drive 15 minutes. There's a, a thousand cats. Like, do, do they yeah. have a network where they're like, at this very second, every pound is passing <laughs> along the message. Don't let Trixie get another cat. Like, no, I bet sure she got another, another one. Cat. I'm sure she got another cat. If it happens uh, again, I don't believe her. Yeah, she definitely took my girlfriend's side in the breakup. So who cares? The cat did. She, she killed yeah. that fucking cat. Mm. No, but my girlfriend's friend. <laughs> <It doesn't matter. laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I, I like these dogs. Um, this one's laying on my feet right now, just like, here we go. And I've got foot pedals down there, so I'm real worried she's going to start typing. Uh, I've been using the foot pedals for like every game I play. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I am. Um, I use them in Escape from Tarkov. I get, forget what for, maybe leaning or something. I lean. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I lean with them. All Tarkov still playing a shit ton. I oh no, I haven't played. No, I, I'm I'm all burnt out on that. Like weeks and weeks and weeks ago, I uh, haven't been playing anything really. Uh, I saw that fucking Dark Tide got pushed to November, November 30th. 30th. Yeah, and and then um, COD is like n- I wrote it down somewhere, but it's like next month at the end of the month, so we'll be able to play that new the the BR. I, I so don't, it's not September Blackout, first. It's What's else. the end of next month? Is that do you mean the end of this month? Maybe I think I do. Or maybe it was October 28th or something like that. Okay. That sounds yeah, that yeah. sounds closer. I don't have it written down here. But the sad one was, and I don't I know you guys don't play it, but I play uh, the Forest a lot, and mm-hmm. uh, the sequel to that, the long-awaited sequel that's supposed to actually be a full game and not just buggy as shit, uh, was supposed to come out this fall, but it just got pushed again to like February 23rd, somewhere in some something like that. So this fall of video game releases that I was excited for is kind of falling apart. Yeah, 28th for COD. That's good. I'm hoping COD's good because I want to play that uh, battle royale mode. Um, I'm hoping COD's good because I like it to exist. You know, mm-hmm. I, I don't want COD to go the way of fuck. What's a Medal game? of Honor? Yeah, perfect. That's a great example. You know, I just want. I'm not looking for COD to dominate the gaming scene like it did in 2012, but exist. You know, mm-hmm. don't. So. I don't remember which one it was, but the one where like you could play as a robot with a jetpack and run on walls. Mm-hmm. It yeah. was probably almost like eight, nine Advanced years ago now. Advanced Warfare or something like yeah. that? Yeah, that was horrible. So yeah. bad. The last one I had a blast with was whatever one you could do one-man army noob tubes. <laughs> Modern <laughs> Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2. That's, That's Modern the last. No, Modern Warfare 3 was a, was a bunch of fun, too. But I think Modern Warfare 2 is like I have rose-colored glasses because that was the one that like during the YouTube heyday, everyone was playing so much and collabing on videos and doing stuff like that. It was just fun. So for me yeah. personally, Infancy I think Black community. Ops 2 is where it peaked. Uh, a lot of people like Modern Warfare 2. I couldn't forget. Like, I didn't cheat in that game. So the Rust lobbies for ranking up and the um, the care, pa- care, care package, package glitch, glitch mm-hmm. uh, that dominated that game for me for so long. It and ruined that game for like the heart of its life. Like, three, yes. I, I don't know how people forget those months and it was months. like seven to nine months for that thing to get fixed. You I, just I, had I to join them. Once you joined them, you're like, oh, you know, you're gonna one man army noob to me. Well, now, fuck I, you, I'm doing it. And everybody has fond memories of the game. I never have. I've never oh, had thought a good much time. Of, I've always thought that Modern Warfare Two was a real bad game. Like, like, like it was a game full of unbalanced things and cheat. They never did anything about the cheaters that I, I was watching a Tarkov cheater interview. And he's like, Oh, we started cheating back in modern warfare too. Were you ever banned in modern warfare? No, no one was. There were thousands of us. And it's like, just imagine how many times you're just like killed by a cheater in that game. You didn't know how much more fun it could have been if it wasn't full of cheaters. You didn't even know about Care packages and, and just it, rain all game oh, long. Was, <laughs> there were so many issues that game. It was broken. It was a shit tier game. If it was I'd, any other time or any other game, we'd have been like, <laughs> why would i play that can i get a refund and just moved on mm. but it was cod and it was and, the uh, red a, red a lot of people had fun in the rust domination lobbies i think they'd put was it 18 people in the smallest map mm-hmm. in the game and if you're shit. good then you can get a lot of points you get 100 100 kill games and you'd rank up quickly but for me like trying to get footage it's like, oh, you just ruined my stats and you made me like at, leave a game that i was I, like i'm now in a cheating lobby without it being my fault yeah and that kind mm-hmm. of shit sucked yeah I, I i mean and and that's a good example of like it, what the game was broken the mm. the they had their own lobbies <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, and, you know it, it it was it was ridiculous that everybody has and when people talk about rust you know the map rust on that is like this classic thing i, I don't get it i'm like really well rust really sucked. you have fond memories of that of, of the map rust on what's Modern your Warfare fondest too? memory map ever shipment I mean, it might be shipment, um, but but it's but it's more than likely like something like bog, um, not bog, a uh, bog or um, overgrown somewhere like that. One of Maybe those cross one of those COD four, yeah, one of those COD format backlot, one of those COD four maps that you just crash played over and over and over. Any of them, really? Like it's a, a it's probably a COD four map. Um, even Showdown. I liked all those maps in COD four. They only had like two or three bad ones. And I didn't maybe... like Showdown as much. It all. It... There was no variety to it. Every side of the map looks the same. It's I just played like search. Boring. I played search on it a lot, and I, I could 
I had some good nade oh. spots. So I like, I, and I like the tactical thing of. For search, I, don't know, I, I like like search good. on that map. Search it's is like fun. It's real very symmetrical, so it seems like a fair search map as far. And you got the verticality Whereas, and stuff. Like I never, I like never played search, but I even knew enough where like mm -hmm. if I was on the good side of overgrown, it's like oh we're gonna fuck them up. Like they they're gonna run uphill, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. and we just get to shoot downhill. Yeah, Maybe I'm not thinking of overgrown, different one, but no, yeah, um, COD Four was a blast. Yeah, but. I just don't have fond memories of Modern Warfare Two at all, or Modern Warfare Three. I hated Modern Warfare Three. I thought it was garbage. It, it, they got rid of the kill streaks, and it was all about score streaks then. And uh, you know, if you were Syndicate, I'm sure you can go on a 30 kill streak and get everything unlocked. You do it regularly, mm -hmm. but but mm -hmm. but I was just like, I can't even play this game. <laughs> like, like I can't even play this game. This isn't even a game. This is this is nothing like a game I've ever played before. This is so crazy fast paced, and everybody's just jetting around the corner with MP sevens. Yeah, I, it was way too fast paced I, for me. I didn't like it at all. I hated who was, it. Black Ops there, was better for me. There was a YouTuber who was really, really good at the game, and he was European, brown haired guy. Do you remember who I'm thinking of? Mm -mm. I don't. <sighs> Shocks, I forget. I, I never let the secret out, but he used to get the footage for another YouTuber. There was a YouTuber had a reputation of being really good, but he mostly just commentated over someone else's gameplay. And uh, yeah, it. It was crazy. Wow. That's helpful. I made like hundreds of thousands off of gameplay that wasn't his. Are you just learning this, Taylor? I did not know that. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, what a bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, that, that's funny, though. I did not know. I'm that. sure he paid for it. He did. Yeah. He, he subcontracted the playing of the game to an outstanding player and, uh, and just you know, commentating on top of it. Yeah, it's so smart. I mean, he found you one know, it's smart, but it's a little yeah. crooked. Like, you know, he, he even found one that would keep his mouth shut. Good for him. Yeah, he did find one. <laughs> well, not completely shut, because I know. <laughs> damn it, now I know. And I'm going and to the press. <laughs> there's not many secrets it's, I keep, but this is yeah. the one, apparently. This is the one. He, he oh, damn yeah, me on so the high stakes. Yeah. Uh, the guy we're talking about? Yeah, on the like five days ago. I it, it, I never log into Twitter, but I I, uh, it, I I pulled it up to like watch a Twitter video, and I saw I had a DM from him, and I and I, and I looked at it. it wasn't anything too relevant. Just say, hey, how you doing? Blah 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 blah. One of those yeah. things. Hope he's doing well. Yeah, um, that's great though that he subcontracted out his. I remember when Hutch was uh, when everybody was freaking out about the uh, Geometry Wars, and I paid like oh, a yeah. world <laughs> champion to fucking put me on the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> I, I love imagining how much time Hutch spent trying to break <laughs> this like world champion Geometry Wars player score. <laughs> <And> how, <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much did you did you pay for? Because I remember like I don't having even know you that I paid and him. Hutch and everyone on my friends list like when that was going on, and you could see the scoreboard of all your friends. And I remember mm -hmm. like just trying to get a respectable score, and then just one day logging on and seeing you tripling up like mm -hmm. Hutch. Who was like the best at it of everyone doing not it. anymore? No, not, <laughs> good now he wasn't even sniffing the best. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, and, and uh, the, I can't remember. I don't think I paid that guy, but what I did have to do, but because I needed it on my account, right? So I mailed him my Xbox. <laughs> Wait, that's how you did it? He didn't just yeah. log in remotely I, with your password. I was like, stuff? I was like, no, you just got to plug in my fucking Xbox and play, and then mail my Xbox back, and it's all done. I didn't want to give him all my credentials and everything. So I just give him an X Xbox for what, $200? My credentials are everything. So I give yeah. him an Xbox and he sends it right back. I love how you <laughs> immediately <laughs> retired from geometry. <laughs> You're like, you know, I've done what I came out to do. I'm done. <laughs> it's not even fun anymore. It's not even fun anymore. That. I remember I was sucked. like, Kyle. <laughs> Hutch keeps hitting me up. He wants to talk to you. And he's like, ah, just let it go. Just let it go. Like Kyle knew what it was about, but oh, he yeah. was pretending he didn't know why Hutch wanted him. And he was pretending. Now, at the time, Hutch is like the god of the yeah, YouTube the scene. Guy. He's a kingmaker. He, he's like, he's the guy. And Kyle not having time for him was odd. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it'd be all right. I ain't got time for that shit. Yeah. Oh, does, <laughs> does Mr. Beast want to talk to me? I, I'm still eating. I, still I'm busy. Coffee. I got to go to the post office. <laughs> <laughs> <my Xbox. laughs> no, I love that. And I remember I was mad because that guy like 
stomped a mud hole in the ass of everyone's score. I was like, dude, <laughs> you went to three million? <laughs> like, 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 I was at 600K before. <laughs> no it was good. quite literally unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, even because, I was <laughs> but you couldn't figure out how I'd done it. So it did. So I, I was like, "What do you think I did?" No, no, no. no. I want to know. I want to know. What do you think? I that thought I you did? had someone logged. You think I account. flew somebody in who let, had them sit down? You think I just know players somewhere who are? Oh yeah, my cousin's amazing at Geometry Wars. It doesn't make sense, dude. How about you wake up and just imagine <laughs> that I'm better than you? <laughs> oh, that's a real mind blower. That could never be. You got to come up with a conspiracy theory. Yeah, right. Meanwhile, <laughs> he's fucking nail on the head, on the money. Like, I totally predicted it. Because, like, I remember yeah. you'd see people's scores and it'd be like, damn, Hutch just got from 680,000 to 720,000. Yeah, he just got to 800,000. And it was like, Kyle just went from 310,000 to 4.1 million. It's like, wow. It's like, it's that's like, the f- second time hitting a golf ball, driving it 400 yards yeah. straight. Yeah. And being like, I, wow. I did like, not <laughs> tell him to do that. I was, I was like, just barely edge him out, you know, and then they'll come back and we'll come back. And he's just like, I think that he's so good that he started killing it. And then he looked down and saw whatever it was, three yeah. or four million. And then you can see when, when the, I don't, the video doesn't exist anymore, probably. But when, when it ends, he like purposely kills himself. It's yeah. like, dude, you just spent, 15 minutes destroying this game (laughs) and then you ran into that red thing to your left like oh all right let's oh that's the other thing i needed footage of it right so i mailed him a pvr (laughs) 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 it wasn't good enough to set the record i needed video of me breaking the record (laughs) (laughs) there's a video from 11 years ago that says Con artist gets high score for FPS Kyle slash Russia. Sam 5000 is the true champion. <laughs> Sam 5000, I remember. Him. I don't know. Scoreboard says FPS Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking score is posted, boys. You're all behind me. There's okay. more than one way to win this game, and uh, outsourcing your skill is one of them. Look, I just went for a free agent over here on my uh, Geometry Wars right? team. Look, the fact that you guys all want to play Geometry Wars solo is. That's that's you nerfing yourself. You think okay? everyone we on play, the Dallas Cowboys is from Dallas? We we play duos over here, okay? Duo <laughs> geometry wars, and if you can I mean, get yourself a partner, then you can compete. Maybe you just hire the best. No, that was hilarious. I loved how upset ever. Uh, this I was like, this is the silliest thing ever to be upset about. This is great. <laughs> it's the silliest it. thing to be and upset it was, about. Because like 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 I think I was annoyed by all the videos that were getting made about it, and and um, I don't know why, but I was. I think. Because everybody Hutch was, was a trendsetter. There was all this sort of like he'd play Hutch played that explosion man. Do you remember that? Or he played Bioshock multiplayer and like like drag everybody along with him to like play in his games. Everybody, I guess, like we didn't have any balls or, or like enough to be like, Hutch, that game's fucking lame. We're gonna Dude, go play Battlefield. Bioshock multiplayer is one of the times I realized X Cal was godly at games. That mm-hmm. like I knew he was good at COD. You could see it. I had seen a thousand hours of him playing Call of Duty. I knew he was good. I didn't fully appreciate this other game he played. It seemed like an anime thing with swords where he mm. perfected everything. Ninja but Gaiden or something. Yeah. Could be. I, I I just didn't know the game well enough to a appreciate it. A game so what he hard that doing. I return that I immediately like, oh, I can't play this one, huh? Okay. <laughs> he apparently was like I, I don't I just heard that it was impressive that he would like seven combo all the time or whatever. And I'm good. like I'm like, all right, so the, apparently that's good, but I don't appreciate it. But when he played Bioshock multiplayer. That was a game where like the better players just bullied the other ones. You know, if you're twice as good at me, twice as good as me at COD, you won't win 10 to 5 necessarily. Like I'm going to get a bunch of kills that Mm -hmm. maybe I didn't deserve. If you're a hundred times better than me, I'll probably still get a kill on you. In Bioshock, like if you're better, you just really bully that other guy. Mm -hmm. And he was the bully. He was the guy who just routinely crushed everyone at everything and seemed to not be killable. It yeah. was it was another he's layer. Always had, he's always had very good movement while being incredibly accurate. Like he's good at both, and he's, and he's good he's decision good at, making. He's good at mastering a new game too. He's good on the uptake. I mean, he was so good at zombies. He's good at anything he touches. I I, I remember playing zombies with him and Blame Truth and mm-hmm. maybe Chiz. 
and just being like, I am outclassed by these people. I got to, I got to make sure I don't embarrass myself here. Cause <laughs> like Chiz is so good at zombies or he was back mm-hmm. then way better than, than I'll ever be. And then blame truth and fucking X Cal over there. It's, it was I like the way Chiz plays. Ch- One of the things Chiz likes in zombies is rescuing you. Like that's the thing that he enjoys in the game. So, you know, you can rack up the most points, but he'll have like 38. What do they call them? It's revives. the opposite of a down. Revives, Revive. yeah. He'll have like 38 revives in a game. And meanwhile, as like the recipient of 26 of them, I'm like, I'm so glad I didn't lose my guns <laughs> and all those times. And it's helpful. I, I, that's the worst when you're playing zombies and it's like round 31 and you die. And it's like, guys, can I just quit? Like, it's over for me. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm I don't out know how I'll get my head whatever. above water again. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I love zombies. I haven't played in a it's bit. Fun. The new zombies is too easy. The new zombie is a little too easy. Is it? I I I, uh, I I got bored with it because it, oh because I used to play easy. with you. Yeah, I only got into the first map. The map second are too map big finally. Now. By the time the second map came out, I was a little tired of it. I didn't really want to play anymore. They waited way too long. But mm-hmm. the second map's quite good, and they introduced a lot of cool shit. I don't know what else to call it. Like your power weapon is constantly mutating into a new power weapon, so it never gets stale. It has multiple like fire modes and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun, but I find myself thinking, like, what would I have to do to lose right now? Like, Jesus Christ, I would really, mm-hmm. I, I think I could walk to the bathroom and come back and be okay. Like, you just, you're yeah. so strong. You've got so many, um, I call them get out of jail free cards in games like that. When you, if you fuck up, you're in that corner and you're like, oh no, I misjudged it. This lamp post is, I'm, my elbow mm-hmm. hit it. Now I'm stuck here and they're piling in on me. You need a button you can press that fixes that no matter what. And in that game, you got like six of them. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh yeah, this is the grenade that makes everybody run away from me. This is the ability that makes me invisible. This is the um the the like pheromone that makes them all like think I'm a good uh, a zombie too. Oh, my mm-hmm. partner, he's got one he's got all three or four of these too and I can I can be yeah. like I can say a word and he'll hit it on a dime and save my life, you know. It's and not like while, monkey bombs like back it's in been the day. Hours. Oh, it oh, that's the other thing. Back in the day, like you said the monkey bombs, you like, oh, I got a monkey bomb out of the box. I have Save it. it. Save it now. Now there's a vending machine and you just buy more. You just keep buying them. Mm -hmm. Continuous monkey bombs. As many as you want, really, because you're by the later rounds, you've got so much currency in game currency to buy more. It doesn't matter. Yeah, and you can buy kill streaks, you can buy chopper gunners, you can all that stuff. It's just too it's too easy to play zombies now. It used to be that only the good players got up to the higher rounds, and the rest of us were stuck Mm -hmm. down around, I don't know, the mid twenties, the low thirties, something like that. Yeah, they need to like they went too far because initially they were like, oh, we're making these maps and they're just people are just kiting in the same areas like Ascension Mm -hmm. or whatever. They're like, we need to get rid of the ability to kite. And they did kind of, but not really. They just made the maps enormous and like put random burnt out cars in places. And it's like, yeah, you can still kite all you want. Like it's just now you just do it around an entire enormous map instead of like an isolated area like if anything they need to they need to tighten up the map make it smaller and make it harder make it so you may, the only thing that gets the zombies off you it's the monkey bombs the only way to get that hope you get it in the box like higher stakes would be better and i want it to be harder because i don't want to get to around 35 and be like well i want to quit because i'm i'm bored yeah like i want to get knocked out at round 31 where it's like oh god that was insurmountable that was fun all right later yeah, you. It, it, once you're all set up and you have your gun and your perks and whatever mm-hmm. the fuck else, I can't even remember because there's t- there's ethers and there's lots of things you have sure. that you can do. You're cruising. You're cruising. It's like I, I don't think I can lose. Like I've got like a magical sword and I got like three get out of jail free cards and I've got my mm-hmm. and you know middies over here when he's got the power weapon just mowing down hordes. It's, we're not gonna die until we're done. And yeah. It kind of becomes that. I want to play a game, but I don't know what I want to play. I need a new game. I want to play vermin tide or I want to play dark tide, but it looks like we're waiting two, three months for that now. If we even if you, believe it's coming out in November, which I mean, what? How confident are we of that? Not very, I would imagine, not given very. how much it's got pushed back. I don't you know. know. You think they're gonna miss Christmas? I mean, they're they. I hope they're not. All, I want to play. They're a year. It was supposed to be last fall, and then it was last spring, and now it's this fall, and now it's this winter. So yeah. <laughs> So they so need like, to get it fucking done. So they're totally not going to do it again. They've done it too yeah. many times already. Yeah, they're like 14 <laughs> months delayed so far. Um, but uh, but I guess I'll keep waiting. No, I, I'd really like... delayed. It is. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I like that over the whole 
yeah, here's the game, kind of. Give us five years. I like it over that. Yeah, this is yeah I definitely don't want him to release a terrible game and make it better yeah. later, but yeah. Well, if they it's release a, shitty I, games, they just never come back from it. Or I guess people say that No Man's Sky is not shitty anymore, but like, have you heard anything about it, really? Like, remember how big a, that was supposed to be years ago? Everyone was so excited. And then... yeah. Oh, and then it got better later. Yeah. Yeah. Did, new topic or? Sure. Sure. What do you got? Have you been following the Trump news? It's kind yeah. of entertaining. Very so much This so. is still the classified document stuff. Uh, I'm enjoying his um, like changing defenses. So, so here's the deal. He's been charged under the Espionage Act. And of having documents that he's not supposed to have having to do with like national security, it doesn't matter if they're classified or not. So his... First defense was, you know, maybe the FBI planted those documents there. That probably wasn't me. And then his defense was, well, Obama has 33 million of these things. He's talking about the federal government's National Archives that happens to be in Chicago as if Obama runs that. But he doesn't. And uh, then his defense after that was Hillary did it, too. And his defense after that was um, I declare. Oh, oh, I had a thought that. Once they enter Mar-a-Lago, they're all declassified. And um, no one's ever heard him say this, but that's a thing. The president has the authority to declassify things. So he says there's mm -hmm. a standing rule that these are all now declassified. The problem is the Espionage Act doesn't pertain to classified. So it just, it's not a defense, but he thought it was. And then the there's some sort of court <clears throat> filing where he has to have a magistrate determine whether or not the FBI was able to look at these things. It's too late. They've already looked at them, but whatever. In doing that, he caused the DOJ to issue a reply, and they showed a picture. And of it all just the caused them to, and, 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 and legally speaking, yeah, thank you, Zach. He opened the door to that where it yeah. where it wouldn't have been open before. His legal team fucked him almost as bad as uh, what's his name, did Alex the other Jones. Day. Alex Jones did. They opened the door to allow them to do this. Can you zoom in on that a lot, Zach? Because if you look at those documents, they're covered with like. Secret, declassified, secret. do not look, compartmental, <laughs> do, super do not secret. look. <laughs> yeah, it's like, and then if I see something yeah. like that, I'm reading it. There's like no Russians on the front. Like it's outrageous. And so they took a picture of all these things and sort of spread them out and made them look, you know, like, you know just put them all on display. And Trump seemingly took great offense to the idea that he had a messy office or left them on the floor like that. So his new defense, which is killing me, is like, what? Hey, hey, I had them in a box, all right? They were in a box. It was the FBI who spread them out over the floor like that. And I'm like, you just admitted that you had them. Like, all the other defenses are gone. Now you're saying, yes, absolutely, I had these documents in my office in a box. Well, and so what? what's – they're charging him – Dude, they're charging for, him with the, the documents? Well, they haven't indicted him yet. But, yeah, apparently – he's not supposed to be having these national secrets in Mar-a-Lago and it violates the espionage act. I don't know what he's doing with these secrets. He might just be keeping keepsakes for all I know, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Can or, I just say like, 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 so those boxes there. So, so what all of that is, I'm not trying to defend him at all, but it's, it said, um, all those were from boxes marked like 45 office, like, like the, they're all from the presidential office. So, but somebody came in, packed him up, took everything out of his drawers, put it in boxes. I'm not, I'm not absolving him of it being in his house. Mm -hmm. Maybe he put it in the boxes, but he doesn't seem like the kind of guy that does anything physical. <laughs> um, somebody packed his shit up for him and put it over there, and it's his fault that there's classified stuff in it. But it's, it's all you can, you can see like a Time magazine that's clearly about him, also like amongst the items. Mm -hmm. So that's that. All right, a couple interesting things there. One. The National Archives, the department said, Trump, give us the classified documents. He's like, we don't have any. They're like, we know you have them and which ones you have. So he gave over some of them. He gave over like 30 of the 150. And then they're like, give us the rest. And Trump and his attorneys signed and swore that they didn't have any more. And that is why they went and did the raid and took the rest of them. So this like, this whole idea that he was cooperating, which he's put out there a bunch, that they didn't have to search his house is bullshit because they already like forbid them to go to the places where the documents are. They already claimed and signed and swore that there were no more documents, but there were. And it, the thing about the time magazine, they even took some of his wife's clothes 
was like, this is the carelessness in which he's storing it. He had like his wife's personal effects in some magazines just mixed in. Like these things were in his desk drawer, like national secrets, just in the desk drawer of Trump's office. It's mm-hmm. not like they were all in the safe, tightly secured away and being protected. They Again, were not, defending not cared Trump. for. So by the, the very nature of the stuff he has is that we can't know what the stuff he has is. I, I, if he's got <laughs> like... True the names of CIA operatives behind enemy lines. It's like, holy fuck, you, you might need to be executed, dude. What were you thinking? But if he's got like, I don't know the, the, the blueprints for, for like the presidential limo. Cause he would like to brag about what it looks like on the <laughs> inside. Like, no, no, no. It has a jet pack. See, but I <laughs> had, the, no, I, 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 you don't believe they let me test it. I do it. I did it all the time. Made him replace it. 5 million a pop. Like, like he, it could be some sort of weird, braggy, rich guy nonsense that he's got mm-hmm. in there. It could be like, just, I bet he thinks it's cool that it says top secret. I would. Now, obviously, I wouldn't I would want to possess cool anything too. like that, but that's <laughs> a cool folder. I want the folders. I don't want what's in them or anything. I don't get any trouble. <laughs> well, depending, you know, on whether cool. you, depending on whether you like him or don't like him, he has shared an image of someone saying it's docs related to the destruction of the Iran deal. Depending on whether you like Trump or not, People are guessing what it could be. Yeah. I've heard Trump haters say, you know, it might be the list of CIA operatives in private places That's behind so insane. Russian lines. <laughs> right, it's right. not insane then, because the wait. CIA was saying very recently that a lot of our operatives have been exposed. And it was like right after he left office. He could I be selling spies names for money to yeah. Russia to keep PP <laughs> tapes. You, no, you, oh, look, wait, wait, I'm still going. You, <laughs> the people who the love tapes. Trump. I, I've seen I saw it on Fox News. This guy was defending Trump saying, hey, you know what? Some things are national secrets, like the route that the presidential limo will take. But then a million people saw the route they took. And while it's still classified, it's not a very big secret anymore. This is mm. the route that it took in the past. And I'm like, yeah, de- you're, people are definitely theorizing what's in these documents based on mm-hmm. how much they like Trump. Yeah, I, I like to yeah. picture a salad because. I like to imagine that it's definitely you know, not a salad recipe. Like, like, <laughs> yeah, no, there's no way Trump has salad. It has I mean, nothing to do with vegetables. <laughs> I, what I mean guarantee. is a mixture of things, a mixture <laughs> of things, because I think it literally was like shit out of his desk. You know, like like like, and it might have been stuff that he'd been hanging on to for a while. Like the Iran deal is something he's harped on so fucking much. Like he has these little things that seem to really stick in his craw, and the Iran deal was always one of them. Uh, I, I don't know. I, don't, I still don't think he's going to get any trouble because I think it's going to boil down to when they, they're going to get to this place and he's going to be like, look, I was the I am the guy who says whether that is what you say it is or not. You don't even get to decide that that's classified. I do. I'm the guy. You know what? It mm-hmm. wasn't. I said it back then. You know why you didn't hear it back then? Because because me saying it was classified, too. And you <laughs> that's above your pay grade. Like, I, feel like, I feel like he's going to get to that point somewhere along the way. He's like, well, I was the leader of the free world. And so I'm able to say this is classified and that's not. But and that's what I did. So the Espionage Act doesn't require that the document be classified. It can still be a problem on his really? for, for him. Yeah. And um, uh, there was. Oh, oh, I think Woody's theory is it's shit Trump wanted. Right. I heard it was something about Macron's sex life. And he hates that guy. What? I, I, Zach says it's something about getting rid of the Iran deal. He's very proud of that. He loved getting rid of the Iran deal. I don't think they're random documents. I think they're some of Trump's favorite shit. Hmm. I don't think so. I imagine a lot of them keep little mementos and shit of their time in office. I don't know. I think that. What do you think that blue dress? There are rules against that. that, It might be unique to Trump to ignore those rules. Where's that? Where's that blue dress that that uh, Clinton jizzed on? Like where? Where would you guess that is these days? She should get to keep it. I mean, I mean, come on. She should get to keep that. Let her have how much the dress. You, why didn't she auction it off? That would have been so salacious. Like when she was selling her book. Like like she should have she should have auctioned that bitch off. She should have. We should get, we should know, get her in line. Oh, it sold for a so, million dollars. It sold right. for a yeah. million dollars. I, I was just her. seeing that, but who got it? Oh, yeah. Who got the million? Was it, If it wasn't Monica, that sucks. You'd think it would go back to Monica. It was her dress. Like it doesn't yeah. become someone else's, right? She yeah. Got that come. Like he didn't spontaneously <laughs> she earned it. bust. She earned it. Where's the yeah, stain? I don't see much of a stain. They they needed lock and load. They'd you be worth two million. <laughs> 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 they'd be like, hey, how can you even tell this was blue? That's what they'd be thinking. 
and just be oh, a crispy. This is what Lewinsky didn't realize the dress was stained at the time. She took it out of her closet in 1997 to potentially wear it at Thanksgiving gathering when she noticed the stain she told her confidant linda trip about it so she told her friend linda trip about the stain and trip was secretly recording their phone conversations waiting for the right time to expose the affair that's not a good friend yeah of course it's that's not a friend at all (laughs) linda trip is a fucking cunt yeah i don't like her one bit throwing mr clinton under the bus like that Uh uh-huh uh-huh Don't like it. Our nation's also that, greatest president. That's what happened to that seventh heaven guy too. One of the one of remember, the funniest presidents behind Trump. The uh, remember the seventh heaven guy? How he, Reagan too? How yeah, he got the, uh, got called out for the the pedophilia? Which guy? Oh, he was seventh a pedo. The, was he the dad? Yeah, the dad. Oh yeah, yes, he liked children. That. He did, and I guess during like some marriage counseling that his wife, ex wife, later was secretly recording. He like tearfully admitted to some sort of kind of pedophilia in his past, maybe a decade prior. And uh, she turned that shit into the cops. And, uh, and you know, he doesn't get to act anymore, I guess. No, he's in jail. He was, it, uh, last thing I saw him in that I even remember, he was in the office in like the eighth or ninth season of the office. He was Andy's dad. And then uh, also in, um, I saw so be- in Philadelphia, he was the fake dad for um, Dennis. And is this after he got caught or before? Ah, oh, before, before. Oh, okay. I th- <laughs> wow, he yeah, yeah, an eleven-year-old. Oh my! I don't know if I even can say this, but he made the eleven-year-old touch him. I'll I'll leave out the details. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said pedophilia. He he admitted to some really bad stuff. What a yeah. ghoul! Ghoul. It's an absolute it's, ghoul. It's a good show, yeah. though. You ever watched Seventh Heaven growing up? Never watched it. I thought it was a religious show. It is. And I was like, they, oh, I was right then. And I, I was like, there's no way I'm going to spend any of my free time watching something about God with how much I'm getting this drilled in my head. Well, I wouldn't say it was about God, but, but. No, I'm watching the Cosby show. I'm watching Family Matters. Hardcore I'm watching shit, yeah. uh, Fresh Prince. I'm watching all the 90s black sitcoms. Martin, don't forget That's Martin. What I, like. living, I didn't watch Martin, Martin Living Single with Queen Latifah. I didn't watch Martin. I didn't watch Living Single. Well, you didn't but, watch all the black. I watched all that shit. That's no, I watched all the ones that were available racist. on Nick at Night. <laughs> I watched all the colored shows. I uh, I liked them a lot. Um, I, I felt a real kinship with Queen Latifah. Living single in a '90s kind of world, and I'm glad I got my girls. That's in my head forever. You can't get that out. You can't get that out. It's not even a good show. <laughs> but it's not even a good show. It's called Living Single. Uh huh. Yeah. The Queen yep. Latifah. Yeah, never yeah. Seen it, it, it was the black movie. answer to Friends, <laughs> and uh, it was not a good answer. It wasn't a good show like <laughs> Friends was. <laughs> no. it was a, yeah, it wasn't a. I mean, Friends, Friends wasn't uh, good, but it, it was profitable. Friends was popular, and uh, and Living Single was not. Um, same thing with Martin, right? It, it went up against like Seinfeld. It was the black answer to Seinfeld, oh. and uh, yeah, can't and, imagine it's on the same level as Seinfeld. Uh, unless you're a black, if you if you ever watch that OJ show that I recommended with Cuba Gooding Jr., there's a really good part where the the jury is deliberating and there there's black jurors and white jurors and they're missing their shows and they're they're like, I wonder what I want to watch Martin and they're, and they're like, I want to watch Seinfeld and they're like, what's a Steinfeld? Like they don't know what a, a Steinfeld is <laughs> because, because there's such a racial separation with what they watch. They're all it's they make that real obvious right away that these are different people they're on different wavelengths they don't even know what steinfeld is and it's, but at the end of the movie they go hey i may like seinfeld and you may like martin but we're all humans who like 90s comedy who like releasing killers back into the public so let's yeah. find oj's innocent <laughs> but we're all <laughs> people who are willing to release this killer to get home to see more Seinfeld and Dude, <laughs> I highly recommend that show. Anybody who's like out of shows, if you've never seen The People versus O.J. Simpson, it's fucking four stars. Cuba Gooding Jr., God, he got me too, like last year, the year before. There's video of him fucking touching the women. God damn it. Why does every actor have to be such a piece of shit? But uh, he's real good as O.J. Simpson, which makes sense. I mean... Now, yeah, a lot of the actors are pieces of shit. Whatever happened with Kevin Spacey? Are his victims still unfortunately dying? Well, yeah, yeah. Left and right, left and right. <laughs> left and right I, I'm worried right. that he may have some sort of disease that he's like passed on to them that that makes them keep falling down staircases and and being strangled. 
<laughs> ah, I've got strangle fever. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's happening. It's an STD. That's how they got it. I saw that. Uh, it was real popular. The, the old clip from a, a Kevin Spacey movie where he's the teacher and that that really hot student is like, I would do anything to get a passing grade. And he like leans in real close and seductive. He's like, All you've got to do is one thing for me. And he like leans in and she's like. She like takes a breath as he leans into her neck ear area. He goes, study. <laughs> and then like the mu- and then the music starts playing. And it's this is like, it's just a funny <laughs> little TikTok meme thing. And, and it's like, oh, I'm glad that Kevin Space is getting out uh, out there to the young people again. There's pl- there's lots of people laughing at this. They don't even know that he he rapes young men. They don't even know. Like he and that girl was safe. It was so she was very safe. I, I didn't look at the comments because I'm an actual Kev- Kevin Spacey fan. I didn't want to see him do him see them do him like that but i knew they were all going to say something like what you just said yeah uh, she well, wasn't in any danger i bet she was do you see how sinister he was when he'd made that video pretending to be frank underwood like roundabout saying like yes i will rape weird. whoever i wish like basically <laughs> that was so weird um yeah. for those who know we're talking about like not long after he was fired from house of cards um and the, all the many of the accusations that came out he made this like holiday video where he's like wearing an apron and like preparing a turkey or something. He might even have a knife. And he's in character as Frank Underwood telling you that people are like trying to keep us separate, but we're not going to stand for that. We've never been the type of person that would, and we never will be, you know, some crazy shit like that. Yeah. And I'm, and it's like, is this the real world? Is this really happening? It's the same way I felt switching channels a little bit. Woody, I don't know if you've watched um, the the Lady Hulk show. But, no, um, the there's a post- whole show about it. Yeah, it's a yeah. Marvel show. So like post credit, she's like twerking with her client, and it's it's just like, what is this show? Irving sent it to me <laughs> earlier. It's like this is the post credit scene from She Hulk. What the fuck is we the MCU doing? No, no, we can't watch it. It's literally MCU cre- um, um, content off of their uh, off of their. I think it might be on their Twitter. How is the show? Credit shit. I, why would I watch a show about a Lady Hulk lawyer? It sounds retarded. All right, I got the idea that you go. <laughs> I think the right. idea of a Lady Lawyer is ridiculous enough. <laughs> why, why does she have to, you're gonna make her green oh. now? Bullshit. <laughs> a woman reading. <laughs> <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> is the yeah. actress black? Sounds I terrible. can't tell because she's green. She's white. She's white now. She's got a big Hulk ass though. Yeah, it's, she could twerk. Yeah, man, oh, she's this, a this is color, unreal. Okay. She looks terrible. <laughs> yeah, that these are the pictures of the final version. Just a woman colored green slightly. She's wearing big, wearing like platform shoes. There's a lot it's of just CGI a tall that, woman painted green. Now nah, you're looking at a ton of CGI. You just can't tell. Like she's fucking huge. I haven't watched the show, but I, I just know. No, oh, I don't. I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch it either. I, I'm, I, I won't say that I'm done with Marvel, but I, I saw a leaked like picture of their like Phase Six plans, and and I don't give a shit about any of that stuff. And and here's what they're gonna do. Yes. I, I I think that they're gonna start. They're gonna try to bring back Tony, the uh, um, the real Tony Stark and the real Captain America at some point with all this multiverse shit. And that's uh-huh. going to be the death nail in this thing for me. Is if they if they try to do that, if death doesn't matter anymore because of their bullshit multiverse. Uh, nonsense. I'm just not that into it, and, and maybe I'm just like a, a fucking asshole, and I, I like like I don't want to watch anything. But like I don't want to watch the Lord of the Rings. I don't watch Game of Thrones either. I'm mad at them all. <laughs> yeah, I know they're not going to do it. Just, I'm well, I mean, Lord of the Rings. I don't want to watch a show where it's just those writers making <sighs> stuff up, like and it has no ties to the film, no ties hell to the world. Sure, am not watching a show where writers make things up. That sounds I, terrible. <laughs> am not gonna get right. I'm, I'm, I, I'm not gonna write. I, I I would want them to write it from the source material, like from the Silmarillion, like putting those words on <laughs> it into the story. Kills me every time. Taylor's like, <laughs> they didn't buy the rights to the Silmarillion. <laughs> I've never heard of. They didn't. It's very important. Show. It's very important like, for backfilling all of the, next the thing lore you know. The guy's gonna have one horn instead of two, and it's just not loyal to the. Source material. The Cimmerillion. <laughs> These things don't matter at all. It does. It does it matter. Doesn't. For a cohesive it universe. Does. 
For that, just so you know, wait, the Cimmerillion, the Cimmerillion reads like a phone book. Okay, <laughs> it's it's like it's it's like that part in the Bible where it's like, and then Shep begat Mep, who begat Tep, who begat yeah. Rep, who begat. <laughs> You're like, holy fucking shit, dude. How high were you during this? Like, dude, like the was Silmarillion, he opium or anything when he wrote that shit? The the Silmarillion is sincerely not a good read because it is a it is a, like a bibliography a guy obsessed with the world he's created, being like, and here's another thing about the history of the elves, this and that, and this happened, and this guy did this, which helped trigger this and the third age, and like it's oh, and also, and this happened with the dwarves, and this happened with the history as well. And it's just him like building out the history and, and like how how all the lore to ties together. To? Well, what he yes, wants, yes, is, I want what he wants is Tolkien's something vision. taken from the mind of Tolkien, right? Yeah. Like, like, and what he doesn't want is for someone to be like oh, I've seen Lord of the Rings before. Let me tell you my story. Because that's what's happened with Star Wars yeah. right now. It's kind of... Thank you. So true. They're, they're doing their own thing. And look, I've never liked Star Wars. I don't understand why Taylor has this thing. I, I believe that, like... And it's not that something I believe. It's just true. There's two coins to this This, this fun... Um, 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 there, there's sci-fi and there's fantasy. They're two sides of the mm -hmm. same coin, right? And you seem to not give a shit about the, 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 uh, the sci-fi fantasy stuff and to love the fantasy stuff. But what I the do. way I look at those two things, I don't look at it as two sides of a coin. I almost look at it as like a spectrum of light that wraps around, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you go enough sci-fi, it becomes fantasy, and you can you can take uh, fantasy enough that it becomes okay. sci-fi. Because okay. yeah, because if you go right. deeply enough, then your sci-fi can ex it gets explained by fantasy elements, and your fantasy elements start getting explained by sci-fi elements, and that's when both genres get so much better when you start yeah, seeing like. Yeah, Kyle's I talents are wasted on this show. Hey, you, I know. And, and what's, <laughs> I'm not sure you could work your way to the top in Hollywood. You need to start on top. You're a high level ideas guy. I feel like high level ideas guys typically you know wrote scripts and work their way up. We need to skip that for you. Just, um, I I try not to have a big head about anything because then you come become a real piece of shit and hard to be around. But I have thought about writing something before. Not that I have any idea how to structure it correctly, but I'd like to mm. put down some of the ideas that I've had b before because I, <laughs> I think occasionally I do. I'm We're like, about to get the script for bum fights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so Roscoe comes in, <laughs> back on his back, eyes glowing red. <laughs> <laughs> There's two no. naked chicks in the background. More about them later. Like that's the way you write it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be important. Be funny. No, I uh, I don't know. I, I, I know what I want to see and I know what's going to disappoint mm -hmm. me. And, and I almost always get disappointed by content. That's why I, I don't know. I, I bounce around to so many old st shows and rewatch stuff so much because I always get upset by the, uh, mm -hmm. the new stuff. I'm rewatching uh, The Expanse right now, even though How I know it's it going to end up? better than I thought. Okay. I really thought the first season was going to suck because I believe sci-fi produced that. And then Amazon bought it after season two or three and production stepped up a lot and also the language restriction was re was released and now we're still an ass crack and like side boob and stuff we're not r-rated but we're adult rated uh this is like tv 13 or 14 stuff but then all of a sudden a fucking railgun bullet comes through the side of a ship and blows a character's head clean the fuck off his head explodes everybody shell shocked looking at the blood shooting out of his like neck hole but it's but we got to get to work because it's being sucked out into the vacuum of space with mm. all of our air and i was like oh man this is a good show this is like the second episode third episode of the show first and, episode's uh, good too they're all good so far i i, I gotta say I'm, I'm eating them like candy they're 30 minutes long the first season is maybe they get longer toward the end i don't remember you that but I'm... expanse is a good show i'm thinking of it not to interrupt you but i'm thinking of it as like for all mankind season 10 <laughs> like it's, if you do that, it's real fun. <laughs> I'm rewatching Breaking Bad lately, which is a pretty good rewatch. I didn't think I would like it because it's a little slow moving and I was really on the edge of my seat mm -hmm. as it was coming out. But the thing is, now that it's released and I can watch a good like three or four episodes a night, you know, it moves along. All of a sudden, I'm in season two, and you know we're having meth of whatever shortages. And I, I think we might rob a train soon. I forget when that happens, but that's a good one. Like, that's one, a maybe. good a really good one uh you know we, we've already handled tuco and crazy eight and like it, it, things are the pacing is better when the show whole show is finished you know what you might like to do oh you you're you've seen better call saul you're not like a virgin to that are you i've seen the first season or two yeah i was just thinking yeah. like maybe you could just like keep this rolling on into better call saul because there's six seasons of that and it's all done now i believe
Yes, and I've heard it's great. They're it, making a I big deal of it. I, I feel like I need to go back and like watch. I, think I didn't think the first season or two were great. Uh, actually, I did like his relationship with his brother, but somewhere around season two, I fell off. Okay, well, you have. Um, the, the relationship with his brother didn't end very well. And then um, I, I, I think I've seen through season five. The last thing I saw, and this is a real spoiler, but there was a huge gunfight, cartels involved, and like like big gunfighty things are happening. The relationship with the brother falls off in like the first year or two, right? Like this, he doesn't keep coming around. It's going to get worse. Okay, because I recall him being pretty defeated. Saul wins. But... It'll get worse. There's more coming. Okay. Saul likes to make sure he wins. Um, <laughs> it's a no. It's it's a good show. That 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 actor, his name's escaping me right now. It's kind of a hard one to to say. Uh, he was the second choice for the 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 office job that Steve Carell got. Hmm. Um, he he was op, he was option B. And if you go back to when Pam has to get a job in New York at a branch out there to make pick up a little extra money for when she's going to school, there he is, Bob Odenkirk. Is that his name? Mm -hmm. yeah yeah there he is as the boss of that and you're like oh this is what the office would have been like if you know he had gotten the job instead of steve carell nobody's as good as steve carell but still it would have been funny i wish they'd gotten odin kirk odin kirk to come in when, when they had that whole when steve carell left in season uh at the end of season seven or the beginning of eight whenever it was i don't recall steve carell being very successful be successful before the office i know he was on the daily show but the office so, is where he was kind of discovered as an actor. The, yeah, op the office right. gave him a really good base. And then around season two or three, he got a uh, 40 year old virgin. Old virgin. And, uh, and that just really took off and did super well along the way. He did stuff like Evan almighty. I think that was a bomb. That was terrible. Okay. That was, that was him doing the sequel to a Jim Carrey movie and trying to take over for Jim Carrey. And it, it didn't work. Uh, that was awful. But yeah, his career really picked up and you can see him like get more physically fit when that happens, when his career gets better. Um, Steve Carell has to get into shape, clearly. Can you see it mm -hmm. happen to Michael Scott? All of a sudden, Michael Scott's like eating broccoli. <laughs> he's, like, Four he's like, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> eating broccoli with a fork. And it's like, dude, Michael's looking good. <laughs> like, like he's Steve talking about his dinner where he just eats like a bag of steamed broccoli, right? Yeah. For, for yeah. His dinner. I didn't yeah. notice how fit Walter White got during during that show. Like he starts Did off he? as a yeah. Oh. He starts off as a pretty chubby, embarrassing looking dad. And you go forward a couple seasons and his face gets more chiseled and his body. He lost weight and got fitter. That was the that cancer, right? probably. <laughs> that was uh, Brian Cranston's career taking off. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, for the character, it was probably him losing weight to like look more like a cancer patient. Or maybe it that was actually might be, but the, I think they wanted him to look more badass. That was my interpretation. Yeah. Mm. Well, the, oh, the hat, the Heisenberg hat, like and the that goatee. hat alone, like goober mode, like does not make you look cool, but he pulls it off. With the, the glasses, the goatee the goatee, looks good too. Yeah, it balances it all out. Hats look good. People are just hattists. Like, I don't know. I, I, I see a guy pull off a hat and I'm impressed. It looks good. I, I wish we all wore hats. I saw a video today and it was a, a guy talking about what life was like in the 50s. And this is recorded in like oh, the yeah. 80s. And he's like, eh, back then you weren't dressed. We, well, they told us anyway. You weren't all the way dressed if you didn't have a hat. So we all wore hats and we all wore these like our, our clothes were like this and our shoes. We had Sounds like shoes. a big hat advertising conspiracy, like two months you know, salary. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I, I, you know, just a little hat, fedora, whatever. But yeah, mm -hmm. now it's like, God, you, the internet shat on that fedora wearing fat guy so hard. That they <laughs> took out an entire clothing item for all men. It, they should have taken out the beanie. Someone needs to shit on the beanie. Beanies fucking look fucking nuke. stupid. Tell people that beanies look dumb. They're stupid looking. It's I not a good look. It's retarded. I, there's I, a lot I, of things that I think are lame, but 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 yeah. like I would love to be able to wear a hat. Like, and I don't mean a goddamn trucker hat. I mean one of those like I'll tell you what I mean. I mean the hat that the detective is wearing in the Expanse. I like that hat. Zach, will you pull up the Expanse detective? He's wearing his hat. It's pre it's Thomas Jane, the actor. I, I like, like that hat. A cowboy hat. I'd like to wear a cowboy hat, too. Cowboy hat, yeah. But you have to tie in the whole thing. Like, I couldn't walk around in, like, a T-shirt. Get one of those, like, necktie Tennis uh, shoes. Yeah, yeah. That's a, bolo a bolo tie? A bolo yeah, tie. Yeah. A bolo tie? I already have a pickup truck. I'm kind of there. I just need just need some boots and my Should girl hat, and I'm good to go. I mean, you, you, should, ever, you can become a hat guy, Kyle. You don't have to pick a, a fedora. 
Ah, but those are the cool hats. Like, like that that hat that I'm talking about from Expanse. That's that's a if that is a fedora. I don't know my hats. I don't know anything about fucking hats. But that's a nice hat. What are the? Oh, on Woody's point about the beanies. Uh, it's more just when I see people wearing them in non-winter, or it'll be like mm. 68 yeah. degrees outside, and someone has a beanie on, and it's like, or okay, when it's you, too big. That, that's clearly a fashion choice you made, but why? Like, why? It's it's 70 degrees out. It's 75 degrees, and you're wearing a beanie. Like you look retarded. Or indoors. Yeah. I, I, if, if it's snowy out and you've got the beanie on and you go indoors, I'm That's leaving it on because your hair looks like like dog shit. You take the beanie off, it's all matted. Push Unless it you, it's really short. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, like in the I, snow, I, it's perfect. I was about to I, say. I think maybe Zach stepped snow, away. Yeah. Oh, no, here he is. This is the hat Kyle wants. Yeah, I don't know why it's green. It was black in the show. Last mm. night, and it was anyway. Yeah, this is probably a different, a different show. He's also got this this fucking wackadoo uh, haircut where it's like shaved on the sides, but real long on top, and like br- it's kind of like, greenish, well, Kyle. I'm, I'm looking at. Oh, it's 100 percent green there, but maybe it's my TV. It made it look black. I, it's black. You can on my get TV. that hat in black. Here, I'll I'll give you. I that. don't want. You and scroll. You it also, looks green in half of those pictures. I want all men to wear hats. I don't want to fucking storm the beach. God damn it! <laughs> and I, I, I'll wear a baseball hat. Let's all wear hats on the show, and 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 then we can be the hat show. And oh, different hats, and uh, and 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 we and we you know com- compare and contrast. I'm gonna get this uh, this men's Stacy Adams wool hat here with the the Homburg hat. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and pick this this beauty up. I don't um, like. That is that what hat it looks like? Much. Is that the Hamburg hat I'm looking at, Kyle? Uh, I don't know what that is, but the more I see him wearing that hat, the more I fucking hate it. You're gonna look like a dickhead if you wear that hat. Yeah, I despise that hat. That yeah, he's that's wearing. terrible. I, uh, yeah, I. Uh, what are those flat-brimmed it... ones that like, uh, like a Canadian? He may have gotten a new hat wears? at some point because, like, in the episode I just <laughs> watched, cool. he's like hiding a microchip in his hat, and it looked like a nice hat. That looks like a shit tier hat. No, you that's one it. it's linked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's this, why I linked it because I'm gonna get a silly fucking hat for the law. Oh, this this, oh. this hat is terrible. Don't even get that as a bad you don't joke. Like the feather. Here's you don't like this the feather? is actually uh, don't actually look up Dudley Doolittle, but like put up a Canadian Mountie hat. It's a better looking hat than the one you just put up, and it's unique enough that you could still get cool points with weird, you know, people that hang out at at cafes. Do you need to wear that red whole get up too. No, 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 no. You just have to have kind of a general outdoorsy. You, so you know the know problem the with the hat State. plan? The headset. So I know I can't dress as a police officer here, but could I dress up as a Mountie? Could I, could mm. I put this uniform on in the U.S.? Absolutely That's you could. That's a hot-ass what, Mountie. What, what are the Mounties? <laughs> yeah. Ride on down here and enforce the law? Fuck off. Was she a, hot, a hat model? Like, 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 Is this an actual Mountie? They must be. Like she's got the the she's uniform ridiculous. looks brand new. But look at but yeah. pay attention to the hat. That's a she's better a looking hat than what Mountie. you just put out there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's a retarded I'm, hat, dude. That's that come on. No, that's better I, I than what you just my hat. I prefer my hat to that hat. That's insane. Look yeah. how practical it is. For what? For the sun out of your eyes when you're looking for uh, you know baddies in the woods in Canada. There are Seems like an unlikely scenario. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're all just out there fucking around, I bet. I mean, for me, I'm not going to be in the, the mountains of Canada looking for baddies. No, but you're not going to be uh, working on a murder in 1921 either. Like, you're, you're going to be here. It's true. Yeah. He's from the, that hat's from the future, by the way. That's why uh, I like it. It's like, so eventually, it will be cool. <laughs> yeah. In 200 years, you guys are going to be so wrong. <laughs> You'll be one of those like old school cool pictures where they're like, look at this guy in 2022. Oh, at the time, he was roundly mocked. <laughs> yeah. Like you see that guy from like the 1800s wearing the sunglasses and like like the nice coat. And you're like, holy shit, is that a time traveler? Everybody yeah. ever made fun of that guy. That guy was like, what a weird. douchebag. That guy, I see that guy doesn't shave the area between his lamb chops. <laughs> Mutton chops. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish we could all wear hats, that's all. Yeah. We I, can. We can take that. We have the power. I, um, but it's not you, acceptable. You, like, like, I'm not looking, again, I'm not looking to blaze any trails here. I yeah. could start wearing a cape. Or like, like what, what do you call it when a king has that flowing robe behind him that's like ridiculous that, that you could step on? I could start wearing one of those. But I'm not gonna look that like would a be psychopath. Cool. It would be so fucking cool and warm. You like you're talking about hats. Your lap. How about a king hat? 
The kind with the white a fur crown? on the side and the red crown. Oh, a yeah. kingly crown. A kingly <laughs> crown. Now that's a way to make sure people avoid you in public. I feel like my twist or on my it would be a tiara. <laughs> I'm a like, guys, I found this cool crown. Woody, that's a tiara. You did it again. <laughs> it's like <laughs> back off the lady's clothes, Woody. <laughs> well, I refuse to admit I just wasted forty two hundred dollars. So <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, uh, I'm gonna. We're gonna hear from the ads real quick because we've got Wolf popping on in a bit, and I didn't want him to get hammered with with ads when he hopped on. So that's my gummies last, if you can. I will. I will. This episode of PKA is brought to you by Better Help. So let's hear a little about their service. Life is full of twists and turns, and it's important for you to show up for yourself through it all. Mental and dental, gotta take care of it all. We're very serious about everyone taking care of their physical health here on PKA and maintaining a healthy physique, but mental health is just as important and you need to work to keep your mind in shape as well as your body. Start getting in the mental reps with the help of a professional over at BetterHelp. BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It is not self-help. It's a professional therapy done securely online, available to people all over the world. It's super simple. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. And with ease, you're able to schedule weekly video or phone sessions. Video is not a requirement, by the way. You can do whatever you're comfortable with and take advantage of professional help being only a few clicks away. Invest in your mental well-being now and get started with our partner, BetterHelp. They've got a special deal for our listeners, saving 10% off your first month over at BetterHelp.com slash PKA. That's 10% off your first month of online therapy over at Better, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash PKA. Uh, support yourself today by heading over there right now and signing up for your first month, 10% off with BetterHelp.com slash PKA. Get in your mental so, reps. Get your mental health as sorted out as your physical health. Check it out. Uh, this episode also brought to you by Lock and Load, the finest, most fantabulous ejaculation coming enhancing pills this side of the both sides of the Mississippi. It's on a huge, huge sale right now. Ten dollars off the sale price, and you add the ten percent onto that as well. So you're some big time savings. Check it out if you are kind of on the fence about it. Now's the time. Save yourself some money. Get lock and load, start taking it. And before you know it, you're going to be coming a lot more. You know, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to have better orgasms. At least I have. At least I have. So and and women will approach you and they'll go, I don't know you, but you seem virile. Now, that's never happened, but it could. <laughs> it could. I it mean, it could. It's, it's, there's a, a greater than zero percent chance that happens. I bet dozens of people could leave a review saying <laughs> it happened. <laughs> I bet people, a lot of people could go to Derek's site and leave a review saying it happened for me to reference. <laughs> <laughs> leave me good reviews to reference for the read. But all right, check out Lock and Load. Big discount right now. Link below, code PKA or code JIZ. Also, use those codes for anything else on the site you want. The Nitric pre workout. My favorite thing he has on the site. And for the flavor, you get the cherry blackout. Far and away the best, in my opinion. Uh, this episode of PKA also brought to you by Death by Gummy Bears and Wonky Weeds. Are you or a loved one sick of mediocre or even bad THC alternatives? I know I am. Well, we've got great news for you. Deathbygummybears.com and wonkyweeds.com have you covered. Deathbygummybears.com and wonkyweeds.com were founded by a group of passionate professionals who were sick and tired of low-quality Delta 8 products that are spray-coated and very often incorrectly dosed. That's why Death by Gummy Bears and Wonky Weeds had the boys in the lab cook up high-quality, powerful THC alternative products that are accurately dosed and actually taste great. Looking for a super strong 100 milligram Delta 8 gummy that'll put you on your ass? Then deathbygummybears.com is for you. Looking for more of a mellow, relaxing high? Then the cartridges, disposables, pre-rolls, distillates, and weaker, lower-dosed gummy bears over at wonkyweeds.com are going to be more your speed. So whether you're trying to get absolutely shit-housed or just a nice, relaxing night at home, we've got the Delta 8 <laughs> or THC. This ad read? Did they give it to us? I spiced it up. <laughs> <laughs> I did. They sent it to me, and I'm like, I'm adding jokes. <laughs> so, you know, they, they like it, so... So whether you're trying, yeah, this you're right. This was a uh, this was I added this part. <laughs> so, so whether you're trying to get absolutely shit housed or just a nice relaxing night at home, we've got the Delta Eight or THC alternative product for you. With so many satisfied customers all over the USA, American-based WonkyWeeds.com and DeathbyGummyBears.com serves all states where hemp-derived THC is legal. 
So whether you're a current THC enjoyer or just interested in trying something new, go to wonkyweeds.com or deathbygummybears.com and use code PKA20 for 20% off your order. Once again, wonkyweeds.com, deathbygummybears.com, code PKA20, 20% off your order. If you're a new newbie, start with the carts over at Wonky Weeds. If you're uh, if you're a you know, high tolerance guy, I mean. yeah, yeah, the the edibles over at Wonky Weeds a little lower, do- a lot lower dose actually. Uh, but if you're looking for for maddening dosages, get yourself one of these packets and make sure to use our code. Save yourself some money. All right. Yeah, I, you, Taylor. Oh. What's that thing in the in the movies when they have like it's like a bunch of little tubes together? Is it a fife? When they have, that little musical instrument i think like, it is a fife yeah like, like I, that the um the satyrs or yeah the satyrs play yeah <laughs> I, I'm, I'm thinking about taking um all these so they sent me 30 disposable vape cartridges <laughs> and so they sent I'm, us a lot I'm, yeah i think about like like making a, like a fife of them <laughs> and i can do the house smell i got those so, too i I like Death My Gummies even hooks me up. I, I think they give you guys more because everybody knows you guys use more. But um, I feel like I'm not left out. They gave me this cool coffee cup. I made sure to have it for the ad read. Yep. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess I just like that they hook me up with product all the time. They do. It's yeah, lightweight. <laughs> it's an I got another coffee supply. cup today. Wasn't expecting it. Wait, just you got, got coffee cups before? I, I definitely not <laughs> getting the same level of hookup. I got my first coffee cup the other day. I, I like it a lot. I think that's probably the same one. It's got a little plastic lid thing on it. I was yeah, going to use it, but I left it, on I my, uh, left it on my table down there. I forgot. Oh, I remember why I got the coffee cup. Like When they first sponsored us, he was like, hey, we're shipping you all the, the stuff. But there was a mistake. We shipped you just a swag box also. And I'm like, neat. And then I open it up and it's like for a much smaller family. Like, I'm not like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, well, at least I get the cup and I'll give this to no, my friend's kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure my friend's kids want what they're walking around. Death by gummies. Death by gummies. Dude, it'd be funny if they had death by gummies onesies for, for infants and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool kid. <laughs> I, took the, I took the shirt because it was way too small and I cut a slit. Uh, up the back, and then I put it on the dog backwards. So he's, it says "Death by Gummies" on her back while she's running around. I cut she mine like a it. crop top. <laughs> <laughs> cut the sleeves off. It's a stringer now. It's like That's a crop. <laughs> <laughs> Little nipple peeking out. <laughs> That's cool, Woody. <laughs> I'll wear that on a show do, next week. Do you wear it when you skateboard? <laughs> ah, just when I'm slutting around. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just imagine you in those shorts, like Lieutenant Dangle from Reno 911, <laughs> like, like fucking rollerblading around in the neighborhood. Yeah, you're um, close. Think Daisy. That is. <laughs> I. That's one of the most underrated shows out there. Reno 911. Oh, tremendous! So show. so fucking funny. You don't. So many guest stars. You don't hear about it. Yeah. I, I don't it has know that why. guy who's the the comedian t- who plays Terry, the like homosexual rollerblader who's always like requisitioning men for favors sexually, and they always have to go get him, and he lies about. Very funny, very great show. Yeah, I bet that's I like not that, like. When when did that stop coming out? I, feel I think like... they're making new episodes now. I, they, there's a revival of that, and it's it's coming out no now way. on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, they, they made I can't imagine least, them uh, making the show like they used to now. It was it's pretty fucking same, out there. I, I think it's the same show. Oh, it was pretty wild. There was like crazy uh, like incest going on and all sorts of weird stuff. Um, you know, one of the characters was dating a cannibal serial killer. Remember when they walked in, he had like the dildo stuck to his mm-hmm. head like a unicorn. It's a fun show. Uh, and, a good, and it's like it's a good fun my, show. one of my favorite episodes is when the British cop comes over to see how they do things in Reno. And they're giving him a hard time about how, because he doesn't have a gun. Like, what do you got a whistle back home? <laughs> they're just thinking, <laughs> thinking of him as a pussy. And then and during a traffic stop, he, he just goes full police brutality. The British cop does with a flashlight, just beating this man mercilessly. <laughs> oh, you dirty speeder! Get out of that car! Get out of that car! And, like drags him out of the car and just beating the shit out of him, hate criming him. And and the cops like, Jesus Christ, that's a nice flashlight. Thanks there. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the British guy, so I didn't expect him to go hard. I need to watch some more of that. Did you watch? I, I, uh, he ends up dying in that episode while trying to rob someone. The cop does. <laughs> well, he was a uh, he was like a one off guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they send his <laughs> casket home, and they're all saluting and shit. Like that's the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch uh, Wonder Shows? In oh, I uh, yeah, but I don't remember what it was. If that makes it sense. was the it was like kids. 
like going out and like asking like going it was like kids dressed up in like cute silly innocent looking outfits or like hitler and then going up and like at, like interviewing people around the streets of new york city and like it'd be like a cute little girl being like excuse me sir when the mob finally comes for you where will you hide and like, <laughs> like, like and it's like a five-year-old girl and then she'll be like like a little boy will walk over and be like sir you work on wall street and be like yeah and he's like I don't know how you live yourself. A rain is coming. And then he like <laughs> turns around and like walks away. And it's like, he's just like upsetting people around there. They, uh, <laughs> they dressed up this little kid like Hitler and had him go around and ask people uncomfortable questions. Uh, Wonder shows him was really fucking right. out there. It was I, on adult swim, I'm, I believe. And it was very yeah, yeah. funny. I know MTV, some of it, MTV. but I don't remember anything about it. I, I just remember that name distinctly. Yeah. They had some, some funny bit it, uh, that came out like when I was in high school, but no, it did not last watch. long. I need something to watch, but I don't know what. There's no. Uh, I I, st I never did see the Tom Cruise movie. I guess that's going to come out soon enough to rent. I'll uh, I'll definitely watch that. Are you, Are you really sticking to your guns? Not watching the Game of Thrones? Not going to yeah. be let down again? No, I have no interest. I have no interest in clicking that button. Um, I mean, I mean, I, I, don't get I me wrong. I almost wish I did, but I don't. Yeah, I'm Wait. not interested in watching it. I, I'm not saying I never will. Uh, especially if it keeps getting good reviews and people keep people keep saying that's, good things about it. That's where I am. It's coming out weekly, right? Yeah. Yeah, I have yeah, we're no two problem letting him get a good like eight episodes ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And if the world's excited about it, join in. That's what I did with the original Game of Thrones, and I was happy about it. I watched the first season was done, and it was the like winter is coming meme that brought mm -hmm. my attention to it. So I'm like, oh yeah, this show really is good. And then I forget, maybe I watched the second season, or maybe the second season was just about to start when I finished the first. So it was pretty cool to have that much content to get kicked off in. That's what I'm we doing. started at roughly the same time. I think you were first and because mm -hmm. uh, maybe you were like, you got to watch. And, and I think I did. And I think it was around that time, like late in the second season. So we there was just a lot to catch up with. And uh, it's easy it's, to fall in love with the show when you can watch it that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Binge watching is great. I don't think it's better for the publishers. I think they build a little more steam and get a little longer shelf life, like interest life, I'll say. The news cycle of like every week being able to focus on a single episode. Do you, did you see what happened? You know, Red Wedding is a great example. Like that was huge. Mm -hmm. I remember memes of like <clears throat> the actors who got killed sitting on the, you know, sitting on the subway looking forlorn going about their day because because you know the the fucking white the, the the kid's dead you know in the show mm -hmm. it was it was a big deal so i think it's definitely better for the publisher but as a fan i'm gonna wait until it all comes out and watch it in one big thing if i watch it at all like like if 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 if, if people turn on the show halfway through if they're like oh wow did you see this that and the other and i hear flack like um about it i just won't watch it but I, right now i have no plans of watching it i just won't never say never yeah if a bunch of people are raving about it and it's a big cultural thing again, I'll watch I'll it just watch to it. talk about it on here. I'll probably yeah, pick it out. Point. It's just not high on my priority list. You know, I'm, same. I'm breaking bad in it right now. Yeah. yeah um, I got to play Fallout New Vegas as my next video game. Like that'll you. be my entertainment once I get going. I bought it. I, it was like $13. Whoa. It has good DLC. Relax. It has good. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm I'm bragging about a deal. <laughs> like, Taylor, people <laughs> can't relate to you when you flex like that. Okay, I know you're on this big podcast, but Jesus, keep your thirteen dollars yeah, expenses to yourself. I didn't spring for all the DLCs. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might be no, five. I don't, I don't even think there are. No, I, I got whatever has. I, they only sell it as like a bundle now. It's so old. That's good. But uh, I literally, I I turned it on and just got through the part where like you talk to the um the guy in the beginning who's like, Oh, you took some damage from those guys. Mm -hmm. I'm a doctor. So I need to ask you questions about your personality. <laughs> and like, and then you like fill out your special score and everything. And that's like literally it. That's all I did. But, yeah. and then like walked outside to see the world. And it really looks about the, it's like the, the graphics are worse than fallout four for sure, but not mm -hmm. that much worse. It's not like, a huge difference. No, that's not, good. Springs like you're in difference. now that, that, that game has the best story of all the games. Uh, the the decisions you make matter and they're big deal and you might want charisma in this one because the end of the game you either need to be a super hardcore motherfucker or have your charisma maxed it's one or the other your speech I think it is all right well game. I have I have no charisma I mm. went with one because you said not to do it I went with well you're in, I said I said that for Fallout Four you're in New Vegas now so it's a different scenario oh. not too late okay well I mean you get a, you, you get a, it. 
later on they're like hey is anything you want to like change about you know your the basic way you exist as a human being He's like yeah everything yeah. <laughs> all right well turn some knobs <laughs> everything <laughs> <laughs> so i need to, i need uh, to do that then no, I that's my favorite sniper. by far. Yeah, do it. Fun yeah. game. What, what was that's the it. most fun playthrough you did? Like a, oh, a I, I never, guy like, or a sneaky no, guy? I, I never focused on any of that stuff. Like, like, I don't feel like you have to in that game. That's more of a Skyrim thing, or uh, really. Um, it, I just mm-hmm. always tried to like be the good guy and, and clean up the wasteland was my goal. So I was always trying to get rid of Caesar's Legion and side with the NCR and uh, just kill all of the powder gangers and fiends and drug dealers. and just oh, get them out Caesar's of Legion, they're the bad guys? During the uh, intro that, scene, I was like, man, those guys look pretty cool. They have actual slaves that you will meet. They, they, they are hardcore. They crucify people in uh, mass. See, I've only seen the outfits. Yeah, you'll see hmm. some crucified bodies pretty soon. Uh, that's like the town right next to yours, crucified. <laughs> the mm. town right next to, to Good Times or wherever the fuck I woke up is... Uh, it might, Maybe called Prim. I'm not exactly sure, but there's a town nearby. Everybody's crucified. There's one guy out there. He's like, I won the lottery. They made us all draw straws. They let me live. They let me live. And then he like runs off, and I always kill him right then. <laughs> yeah. What kind of life is that? Yeah, yeah. You know, well, I mean, he's happy. He's happy that he got to live, but I, you know, I blow him away anyway. I'd crucify him in solidarity. They won't let you crucify. There are no more poles. This fucking woke culture. Yeah, you good game though. Crucify Enjoy. NPCs in <laughs> and fall out in New Vegas because of woke culture. I don't. I think that, that's true. It's true. Later it's on, true. you'll you be, able be able to crucify folks. That, um, there's this one character that likes. What, you read his journals, and he was like selling children to the fiends, and and uh, and he was burning them alive, and raping and torturing them and stuff like children. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a uh, his name is Cook Cook. What the, the guy that he was selling the children to because he has a flamethrower and he likes to cook children. Nice guy. Um, I think um, something driver because he named himself like Nelly driver or something. He kills people with a fucking driver, fucking golf club. Uh, hey. There's a lot of shitheads in that game. It's it's fun to go through and kill them all because they need it. That sounds like a fun way to play. Being like a, a justice bringing wheel gun shooting cowboy. Yeah, like pretty that. much. That's what I try to do. Um, and, and, uh, there's a lot of DLC for that game. So it's, it, it's a lot of fun. I, I, I've spent a lot of time in that stupid Mojave desert fighting Cazadors and exploring, um, vaults. There's one vault where they were using some sort of chemical to like, they wanted to make the whole earth a garden or maybe it's for agriculture. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. But when it, when they spilled it in their fucking vault or whatever, it's just an overgrown, like green jungle as you're going through there. And there are monsters that camouflage themselves so well that you'll be right next to it. And then it'll jump on your face. You're like, fuck, it was there the whole time. Like you genuinely can't <laughs> see them. They're like almost invisible. That's I spam vats or I did in Fallout 4. Just spam it won't work vats up. all the time. I don't think it works on them when they're camouflaged, but it's been a couple oh. years since I've played. Yeah. yeah. I like that it helps you with mines because I was walking into a lot of mines in the beginning when I started Fallout 4. But you're right. That that game, like I lost interest in it. Like, just just kind of checked out. Like, uh, oh, neat. That's the end of the story. And I don't like when I finish a Skyrim or storyline. I'm like, oh, I there's like a hundred other robust Mm storylines to go do. With this, I was like, oh, I I don't care. Like, I saw the big robot do its thing. Like, this is there's there's twice when when you look at the um the way the speech patterns work. Like, you only you might have three or four in Fallout Four but they all do the same thing. You're going yeah. to the same place. If you could see, there's a program that lets you do, uh, do game development and they have this, this speech box where it shows how that algorithm works. Like, oh, he, he says this, you have these three options each, and everything branches, every possible mm-hmm. reply. And in Fallout 4, it's a very narrow branch that leads to the same fucking place. It doesn't matter what you do. In New yeah. Vegas, it matters what you do. Your decisions are going to matter a lot and people are going to treat you differently and like the game will change based see, on that sounds what, like more questions fun. that you ask. I did not like in four how like the continuity of the conversations, like he'd be talking to Maxi, the head of the brotherhood or whatever. And he's like, did you say anything about this to the Institute? And you're like, yeah, I talked to my son, who's my dad or whatever. And then it's (laughs) like, and then he's like, go fuck yourself. How am I to believe you're not a traitor? And then like the conversation goes next and you go, okay. And then he's like, Anyway, 
Wonderful job <laughs> on the last mission. Here's your next task. Make us proud as always, soldier. Chest salute. And it's like, you were just ripping into me, man, and you just forgot all about it. I yeah, also I tried I tried to kill that fucking cunt doctor who's asking for technical documents on the, the Pridwin or whatever. You can't even give him documents without him giving you guff. I show up and I go, technical documents, and he's like, oh, th these are pretty nice. Not as good as they could be. Be sure to check everywhere in the whole world for documents, and I'll give you 20 caps apiece. And I kill them. <laughs> And then everyone on the Pridwin got so upset about it, so I had to re reload a save. Yeah, it's hard to kill them all. They're in, the, in yeah. that ship, and they got lasers and stuff. No, Killing I, uh, the, I, the railroad, I enjoyed that. You killed Cleansing. the railroad. Those are the good guys. No, I, no I'm pretty sure they were terrorists. Definitely the good guys. Uh, no, definitely terrorists. I helped the Brotherhood. <laughs> helped the Brotherhood win because... I was talking to that fucking weirdo with the plants at the Institute where I'm like, well, I might join my son's team. That seems nice. And then I'm talking yeah. to that guy and he's like, I can't wait to turn the whole world into robots. We built <laughs> robot gorillas and living things are inferior. We need yeah. the robots everywhere. And I'm like, that's when you change then, your mind. Yeah. And then also it's like, I'm like, you know, I've killed hundreds of your robots in my short time here. And he's like, well, the railroad is corrupting them. And it's like, no, I mean, come on. You guys are both culpable here. The only yeah. side I, I'm taking is the side that's like, there's no room for hyper-intelligent robots manipulating human societies, infiltrating them and killing them eventually. And I'm like, yeah, this guy seems cool. And he's got a robot. And he's got the cool flying machine. The robot, if I'm being honest, was the biggest reason because i spent yeah. so long building the fucking robot when I it was like the robot join was cool. the instant when it was like join the institute i was like oh so i so i just built a robot for nothing if i do this yeah. fuck you no i'm in, i'm marching into into battle with the robot the i didn't like how they awesome. gave the robot nukes because i was like god come on, like we're already up shit creek here like quit it with the you nukes machine gun maybe yeah machine gun i didn't like maybe i want laser eyes they did. He did do laser eyes. Yeah. Oh, cool. I when forgot. he blew into the the institute That's area, cool. but yeah, the the ending. You're right. It was kind of like, oh, well, that doesn't make sense. Like, <laughs> like, oh, no, well, this is stupid. Like, <laughs> no, they're they, the Bethesda's a real shitty, shitty company. I mean, look no further than Skyrim, right? Like, how many? How it's was it 10, 12 years? Like, like, like they just don't make games. I guess I I don't know what the deal is. Yeah, and they just never fix glitches. Like you, if you look up like. I tried to talk to the mayor of Falkreath about the mission to destroy the Assassin's Guild, whatever. And then, like, you'll find, like, you'll have a problem and you'll look up online and there are, are Reddit forums from 2011 being like, yeah, really annoying. Can't wait for the patch. And it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, 12 years later, like, no, nope, nope. Y'all ball griff still doing his own thing in his back garden half the time. <laughs> like, not, not even waiting for your instructions. Uh, yeah, it's but, yeah, I would love when, a, another game like Skyrim. If if they don't support their game, it's it, it's it's really frustrating. Uh, that's one of the things like love them or hate them. Those guys at Tarkov are always uh, working on things. That's Tom Selleck is our next guest. You guys are that's joking. A, that that's You're a joking. Hey, you guys are, are you joking, though, eh? Oh, hello there. <laughs> I love that I got the call. They're like, "Yo, you want to come through? Hop on the podcast." I'm like, "All right, it's got to be done." And I come and you guys are like, yeah, Tarkov. So anyways, about that. <laughs> we were talking about where, Skyrim. Where are you right now, Harley? I want to know. You look like I you're mean, a uh, peer. This is, yeah, this is, uh, this is Halifax, uh, Nova Scotia. Uh -huh. It's in Canada. Um, yeah, it's a, a port city. So this is where we get our Coke. Nice. <laughs> what are the primary <laughs> exports? Waved, did you? <laughs> The primary exports? What are the primary yeah. exports here? Lobster. Lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That that now, we're, now we're learning. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to Skyrim. So if you what brings you to roots, Nova Scotia to Halifax? Are you on vacation or uh, are you working? Yeah, a mix of both. Do you guys know? Well, it was vacation, so you guys hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, do you guys know Baby No Money? No, I don't know who that is. Just as a lifestyle. Um, maybe no money. Maybe no money. He's like a rapper. You probably maybe you heard a couple songs because they were like really popular TikTok noises to the point that even if you don't go on TikTok, 
you may have heard his his, his songs. Um, and he has like a song with Diplodon. But anyways, a buddy of mine puts uh, these these music events on here, and uh, he's performing, and I'm just like I'm I'm hosting it. So I don't know. I guess I go up on stage. And I'm like, yo, how sick was I in 2013? <laughs> <laughs> when you guys were in late grade school. <laughs> <laughs> like the, I assume the audience is going to be, be people that were like, yeah, Jake Paul was pretty sick, but like I've outgrown him like last year. Yeah. So I assume like that's what the audience will be like, but. Either I'm way. into the epic mealtime guy now. Now that he's matured a bit. <laughs> like, oh, him. it's that guy that boxed another guy that was way smaller than him. Not impressed. No, you oh, fucked that guy. A... <laughs> I'm sure you saw uh, Sam's fight. Yeah, I did. I loved it. That was I awesome. actually, dominated that guy. I actually, um, I thought that the press conference and everything, which I felt like I did such a good job of. And then I watched Sam do it, and I'm like, I was crying laughing. Yeah. Like, I was actually cry laughing. Like, my family, like, I was, like, on vacation with them. And after that, like, literally 100 times a day, I'd, I'd walk up to my dad, grab the back of his neck, and I'd be like, I told you once, I told you twice. Yeah. <laughs> I literally did this, like, all week long. Everyone around me is sick of it. They're so sick of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> he, he was so good. Um, and uh, he was... Uh, he just dominated, did exactly what he had to do, and uh, it was great. I who, loved it. Who ran the card that he was on? Was it um, Chuck? KSI. KSI, it that was KSI. the KSI card. Okay. Um, but it looked like it was like a collaboration with Happy Punch, um, mm-hmm. which was Keemstar and Fuzzy. Uh-huh. Uh, sort of looked like. Um, that was a card that I had got offered 150K to be on. And, wow. uh, yeah, which was really crazy. Uh, crazy that I declined it. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> cause I was like 250 K, which is true. <laughs> That's the price. The price is 250 K unless you're the doc, then I'll box for free. <laughs> <laughs> You'll fuck him like, up for free, but let's no, no. give the boys. A, what do you mean? He, I, I offered to, to box him. He, he ducked me. So I took uh-huh. his mustache. That's literally how it got <laughs> mine. Now you want it? It. it looks better you on you. It's fuller. It. It's what do they call him? The duck well for me. Yeah. Yeah. The duck there. It's working out pretty well for me. He's ducking except you. To, He's going to film you in a bathroom. That's the only thing I know about that guy is that he got in trouble for like filming in a bathroom <laughs> yeah, yeah. once. That's the only thing I know. You know, that it's crazy cool. to me that he got banned from Twitch and the secret's still a secret. Doctor knows, I, and knows, and they haven't told anyone. I find that so weird. Like, I'm like, bro, Twitch. You're Amazon. Just tell us your beef with this guy. We're all curious. We would have yeah. been over it already. <laughs> he got we, I, I or maybe we would at the same time. And I think that's a clue. Like maybe it happened on Discord. But that's totally just what he talking out of his ass. He doesn't know anything. I've heard I've heard so many different things and from uh-huh. people who are like credible also. Uh, that I just got to the point where I'm like, you know what, I don't fucking care. Just let me know when he wants to box me. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, at first also I was just kind of like, I was like, oh, bro, put me in the fucking ring and let, let the doc kick my ass. I just want to get fucked up by the doc. I want to get manhandled terrible. by a man bigger than me. Um, and then he ducked, and now I'm like, no. And now I want to punish him forever, making me think of those thoughts that he would manhandle me. Of course he would. not You know? Now I'm flipped. And also, like, the last fight I was um, – I watched uh, – What's his name? I am Thompson. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought he was like on the same skill level as Aaron from Game Grumps. Like, I don't think he was a good boxer at all. Okay. Um, like, I don't think he was trained well. So I was like, oh, Sam? I think Sam should have fucked him up in half of one round. I think that's what should have happened. But it didn't. And I'm like, that's weird. Because when I sparred Sam in Rhode Island, I feel like he went off way harder on me. That he did, then he did in the actual thing, and I'm like, why? Oh yeah, cause I'm Jewish. <laughs> cause I'm a Jew, so he really That's what it was. he hit me real hard. Oh, <laughs> when I was when sense. I was watching Sam, I love that I'm joking around, but you're like, 
You know what? You might be on. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> is, how big is he? I don't. I don't know. Who, is he your size? Yeah, Sam's my height. Oh, Sam. Shit. Sam did the old like uh, I'm six four, and I got there, and I'm like, no, nah, you're like six five, six six, bro. <laughs> you like when you went you went down an inch, you know, <laughs> which is like which is the good move. That's yeah. like that's yeah over deliver. That, you, you know, it's real shitty. It's if if you do that, I can't remember what I saw it in, but like. If if you're a guy who's like six three, tell everybody you're six feet flat while you're around a guy who's actually six feet flat, and watch it watch a meltdown occur. We're, we're gonna get a tape measure then. All right, we're gonna get a fucking tape measure. If he's six feet, then oh, you must be like what five eight, and some dude who's actually six feet being told he's five eight. It's not a, yeah, it's not that's a cruelty. <laughs> That's like a girl who's like 95 pounds and a group of girls being like, yeah, I feel so fat. I'm 140 pounds. <laughs> like saying that in the mixed company of guys and they look at look at her who's 140 and they look at all the other girls. Like, what are you guys like? 160, 170? You meltdown. Mm. You meltdown. It wouldn't work. Dude, I'm watching Kevin Samuels and he keeps quoting this statistic that the average black woman, is there another way I'm supposed to phrase that? No, black is woman a, works. Is 187 pounds. Mm -hmm. which is heavier than an average black man and i thought no no this must be a so i googled it you know how much the average black woman weighs 190 187 pounds (laughs) he's right on the money (sighs) that's that's full-size woman right there that's a big old gal Mm -hmm. yeah that's a that's a little bit too much right there um yeah i I think his thing he always goes back to is like you guys know each other by the way This this is Woody and this is Kyle. Oh. We went. Mm-hmm. We were up north. We did the ice cream thing oh, in Vermont. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> it's been so long. The meat sled, yeah, mm-hmm. Tom. I just have the just meat clicked sled. right now. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> 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 well. Anyways, you were talking about um, people's weight. I've got yeah. Oh yeah, fat yeah. one. Two claws. Thick, thick, thick. Uh, no, we. Come on, on. We're talk- that's we're not about- thick. 187 pound was beyond thick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's too big. I I can't remember what Wing said his ideal woman was, but I think he I think it was over 200. Was I think it? it was like I, yeah, he he wanted like a 220 pound lady. There's something to be said for a woman that can take you know hold up to a to gravity at that <laughs> weight. There's something gonna... about a woman who could stand up to the pull of the earth's gravity. That size. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm just saying if the woman's too spindly, then uh, spindly. She, she might not be able to take uh, what I'm dishing out. I so um, if I could be uh, low-key racist for a second. Please. Uh-huh. Kidding. I'm on PKA. <laughs> care. Um, if I could uh, just remind the audience I'm Jewish in the Holocaust. Uh I want to it say happen. that if, when I picture, if you're like, uh, picture a black man, and then you're like, uh, picture a black woman. Yep. That's, I, I do picture it that way. Yeah, I did mm. too. I did too. She that's was like, a big like girl. that's, yeah, like she was like, she was like, she's, she's like, it's like, and that, this isn't even my fault. This is on the media. She's curvy, mm-hmm. she's thick. She's got like, you know, she's just, she's just thick. The black guy like, I pictured can kick my ass. Uh, I pictured like five. Yeah. I, I pictured the guy that put up my blinds today. He's about 5'10", 240. He's not kicking I, anybody's I, ass. Oh, I'm picturing. I'm picturing the guy who like I played football with, and they all have like receiver builds. Oh no! Like, yeah. They're like yeah, they're way like, too they're cut. Like, even lean. though they don't work out that big. Bro, I remember my my best friends in elementary school, Abdul and David, both black. And me, like an uncoordinated white dude, like just thinking that we're just kids, it's all the same, like life is fair and everything's equal and like whatever. And like we're like running back and forth playing games or whatever. They're smoking me. Like I was like a stupid gangly kid, like any other dumb kid you've ever seen that's been like, ah, mommy, I'm an idiot. Like that's literally who I was. And like David and Abdul could do standing backflips at like seven. And I wouldn't get it. They what is with that? Flip. With those kids who could do backflips in elementary school? Who was teaching them? They just had it, bro. They had it. That's what I'm saying. And I didn't know. And I was just like, oh shit. I'm like, like they built different. Like I remember, like I like I remember, like Abdul took his shirt off, and he had like, like an eight pack, 
<laughs> so I was like, yeah, me too. You're a kid. You forget like what your body looks like in weird, stupid ways. They're so, like, yeah, me too. You take your shirt off and you look down and you're like, what the hell? Like I wasn't fat at all. I was like a skinny kid, but I didn't have like a single muscle there where he had like dozens of muscles, <laughs> dozens, dozens of packs, dozens of yeah. them. Yeah, I think I wonder what uh, the average white man weigh. What, what does the average white woman weigh? Because I'm curious about that. Like, like, like I, I don't know, just for Google in your state. Yeah, no, in the United States. I want to, I want to know your state. Oh, okay. We pulled up to that Walmart and there was. Whoa, oh, it's heavier than I thought. One hundred and seventy. What? The average woman weighs like one hundred and seventy. Yeah, that's heavier than I thought. Seventy. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, What's I was the average white man weigh? Where am I on this scale? This is crazy. Well, you got to calm down, bro. You said white man, like, really yeah. enthusiastically. I haven't heard you say something so enthusiastically in ages is the way you said <laughs> <laughs> 198, the average white man. 198. Okay. The, okay. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, like, uh, like, 310 pounds in January. And now I'm, like, 265. Um, and that was like just like boxing and just eating and not pandemic not being stuck inside or anything like that there's been like such a change but i think about like 310 that's like break the toilet bowl type weight like you could sit on a toilet bowl and break it nah there's gotta be that's so not many. true i weigh like no, 200 and i bet if i sat on your lap it wouldn't break what oh, if I you sat on my lap one. and what if you sat on my lap and bounced up and down? <laughs> then I would break. What about that? What about that, Woody? Hmm? Threaten me what? with a good time. <laughs> have you ever seen one of those? Have you ever seen one of those toilets that's made for like the super obese? No. I, I want to see not. a picture of one. I, I side note, I, I just I just side note, I just realized real quick, I can't make those type of jokes with like the mustache and the look right now, because I don't know if you remember what Robin Williams looked like in, in the birdcage. <laughs> I look like Robin Williams in the bird cage. I'm like, sit on my lap, Woody. <laughs> it it yeah, reads differently. <laughs> um, yeah, this no, this big person uh, toilet seat you're talking about. Is it like wide ass accommodating, or it's like up to 500 pounds? It's a whole toilet. It's not just the seat, and the whole thing is sturdy. It's wider and lower to the ground, and looks like it can accommodate a thousand pound person. Oh, oh my God, I have seen crazy. those. That looks pretty comfy, actually. Who I mean, I think I'd fall fun? in. Who I could surf Reddit ass. on a throne like that. Who helps that fat ass sit up? Uh, sit up from that position. How do There's they a cable and pulley system? <laughs> yeah, literally, that's literally <laughs> what you need. You literally need that. It's like remember Terminator Two when he lowers himself into the, the steel. It's like that. <laughs> the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking thumbs up. No, that's I, I could never do that. I would kill myself long before I got like that fat. Um, so, I don't get uh, it. But, Three How ten. Would you do it. Three, How would I kill three, myself? Ten. I'd eat myself to death. Mm. He would uh, kill himself. <laughs> no, I'd fucking ha himself? I'd hang myself, of course, because that'd be so Wait, what cool. What do you mean? He'd go Once live. You get seven, he'd seven go live pounds? on siege. He'd go live on siege every single day, and break <laughs> controllers. <laughs> just until you die. That's it. You just sit there uh, and play Rainbow Six Siege be... over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> games that you hate. Only games that you hate with people that you hate doing things that you hate. <laughs> eating things that you love until you die. <laughs> Everything should be negative. Well, that's plan B. <laughs> plan A is like eating a bullet. Like, Wait, are you yeah. talking about what, how you would, if you got too fat, you would kill yourself? Yeah, if I if I weighed if I weighed five hundred pounds, I'd kill myself. Yeah, because you wouldn't over. try and. No, I, well, I think I think you've blown your skin out and ruined your joints. Like, all right, so I'll say this: like, if I if I went to five hundred and then came back, the way that somebody does that, like deep water diving for a record, you get to three hundred feet and then straight back to the top. If you do that, mm -hmm. it's a little different. But if you've lived a life as a five hundred pound man, throw it away. That, that, that you you've ruined this shit. You're all. No, I don't know. Your I'm blood like is burden. ragu. Yeah, but I'm burdening everyone. I'm like Unburden? burden everyone. No, I'm like oh. shit myself and like roll myself into a Walmart covered in shit. Oh God! <laughs> I'm like, how many police is it gonna take to get me to leave here? Carry my shit. <laughs> Last carry my time shit it was body. six. 
<laughs> the record's Gary eight. Shit, <laughs> the record's what? four. That's the least it's taken to get me out after I'm <laughs> shitty and, and mad here at the Walmart but subway. You think you think if you got to five hundred pounds, like if you if you worked at it and from you now really... got to five hundred and then immediately yeah. turned around, do you think you could like get it back together? Like you'd have to do a bunch of skin. Oh right. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So if I if I'm five hundred pounds today, let's see how long would it take to be like looking good like being able to fucking date normal women and shit i think i think i could knock that out in a year no problem like but think about it, one year to get one to year get up yeah, to 500 to get up to 500 like there's going to be a lot of skin stretchy time there too like you got yeah i can't I, look, 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 i mean we're, we're, whatever happens happens i'm not saying am i going to kill myself afterwards but i'm saying i could knock out 250 pounds in a year and be rich like a pound a sure. day nearly that just yeah like but but lot. but you're but he's but you're pounds but because because you're 500, like 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 it's so much easier to lose that weight, and you're losing so much more. You like you're so far below maintenance, eating 2,000, 2,500 calories a day, and like working mm-hmm. out. You'd have to be incredibly active. You'd have look if you're 500. I don't if I weigh 500 pounds, I don't have any hobbies. I've got a I, I've got a I've got this other thing where I'm drowning in fat, and I've got to get out. Like 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 like, like who cares about video games and and. No, we walk only every video day, game. all day. It's no, chilling. Our days are filled with cardio. <laughs> Five hundred pounds. All you got to worry about is building a new shower, and that's it. That's your only stress. Everything else. And you can free. even have a friend do that for you. <laughs> yeah, uh, you can outsource Honestly, if I'm that kind of pounds, shit. If I'm five hundred pounds, I'm fucking doing a Kickstarter. And when the money comes in, I'm like, fuck y'all, bro. I'm five hundred pounds. What are you gonna do? What are you do? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Make my life difficult? I'm 500 pounds. I live it. <laughs> my whole life you can't difficult. make my life difficult. I made my life difficult. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he does play on fucking extreme difficulty mode. No, if I were pounds, he? my life's uh, right now. He's about, 420. he's about 430 right now. Um, you know, he was 430 when he came to my house for the original boot camp. 428 maybe. And I knocked Ooh, like fifty pounds off. That I'm feeling sequel. <laughs> sequel. I, <laughs> I considered it the other day in a high stupid. Yo, I'll <laughs> I, just, come. I, I took like I'll five come. edibles, and I was like, "Man, wings would be hilarious." No, I'll come. I'm, I'll come. I did it. I I didn't do it like you did it. Like, that's for sure. But like, I lost like forty five pounds. And like, when you're at that level, like that's life changing. Forty five yeah. pounds because mm-hmm. now you're going from like opening up a whole bunch of new activities that you couldn't do before. It's like you have to work so slowly back into the realm. And even though you said it before, Woody, like you were like, you wouldn't break a toilet seat at 310. Maybe right. not a toilet seat, but like at 310, that's like where I would look at the, the weight limit of items. Like I would go to like, like nothing in Ikea could come in my yeah. house. Any chair, anything from Ikea couldn't come there. Like if I wanted a chair, I needed like a legit Adirondack real wood chair made like 78 years ago. It's not, <laughs> it doesn't exist today. Those materials don't exist today. a chair maker. That's what he we did. Have, <laughs> he we no longer have the technology to make chairs that will support Harley. It's <laughs> I need chairs. chairs that were cobblers made by a cobbler. Who is that? Hey, Wolf. Wolf, this is how Wolf. are you? Wolf, you're uh-huh. not making any, your audio is not working. I, I heard him. Yeah, well. Maybe hit the settings cog and see if it's the right mic. No, I, I, he, he came to my house 425, and I think he left around 375. So it's not as big of a percentage, That's huge. right? It's a, but it wasn't a lifestyle change. Like he wasn't like, oh, now I can run. It was like he needs no. to lose. A, when you're 425, you got to knock a hundred off before you feel it. Yeah, but that you gave him two more inches of his dick. That's like oh, a at big least. deal, man. That's now he's got three deal. fucking inches. Yeah. It's <laughs> oh, Me too, three. bro. Don't... Kyle, I'm on Me my too. way. Uh, we'll <laughs> maybe close the other tab. Okay. Ah, there we go. Nah, we he, hear you. Oh, yeah. We hear you now, brother. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah. How much do you weigh? Mic, though. You're going to have to tap your mic to be 100% sure. How, t- how tall are you? How much do you oh. weigh? Uh, I'm 6'2", I didn't hear it. about 207. Other tab oh. is closed. Oh, I was curious about Wolf. Oh. <laughs> I, think I, was, about wolf- your height, I think about your height and weight all the time, Kyle. Hold on. All right. Wolf's so I, I, haven't, audio I, I haven't seen Wolf in a Give while, but second. last time I saw him, I'm going to say Wolf is like 5'11". Oh my God! About a about a strong, I, so like a strong like, two two hundred and ten pounds, <laughs> but but maybe I'm way off. But that's how I remember him. Wolf's Wolf's got a big personality too. So yeah, no, I never, you I might, never met. Wolf you think person. back at Wolf and you're like, yeah, that six foot eight guy. 
Because <laughs> he just so, when he's out yeah, there, we've been, fucking... we've been friends on social media for like a decade, but I never met in person. Testing, testing, testing. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we hear tap, you. Tap your tap mic. It. Make sure it's the right one. Yeah. It's yeah. Right one. Actually, we I have oh. met Hart. Oh, but it was in the dark times. <laughs> I don't know. Um, on my uh, paintball. Did I kiss show, you? Did I try and kiss you? No, no, no. That was okay, a different okay. altercation. Uh, <laughs> on my paintball show back in the day, um, I went to a hotel in Toronto, and him and the Bacon Crew were uh, doing their thing, and uh, I had them on my YouTube show. Uh, and, yes. Uh, and uh, Kitty told that me to go down and say hi, and they're they're the coolest guys ever. That was the. Uh, that was the dark times, actually. <laughs> I kind of. Apparently, you didn't realize that actually eighty percent of the guys I was with were not cool. I was carrying the coolness for them, just so you know. Uh, it was all me, bro. Yeah, that was all me. Sauce uh, is all you, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all me. It was all me. <laughs> it was all the, you had all the charisma in the room. That's why you didn't let half of the other ones talk. <laughs> their, their bits were just this you is muscles honestly? glasses because he doesn't do bits or voices or anything he's just as strong <laughs> you should have seen the first episodes where he was hosting oh wow You're like i don't know if this is gonna work you should stop talking apparently he lives, <laughs> in, the, apparently he lives in the woods now in, just in the woods the general woods yeah apparently he ran away into the woods oh we we're talking about people that live in the woods earlier is he doing well in the woods? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I bet you guys had kind of a nice nasty divorce, right? You and Muscles Glasses? One-sided. I look back at it, and I'm always like, oh, man, you know, shit, 22 years old. He was 22. I'm sure with my brain now, I could have serviced him better to yeah. mm -hmm. prevent him from making such an error. But like, I, like back then, people didn't understand the overhead of YouTube. If you mm -hmm. looked up like epic meal time value, it'll be like ten million dollars. And they look at me, they're like, "You have ten million dollars? Give me ten million dollars a year." And I'm like, "Bro, I'm and driving a fucking Nissan Sentra, you dumbass." There's not, fucking, there's not even there's not even a single million here right now. Am I wrong about this? <laughs> like, like, tell me if I'm stepping out of my place here. But did did it inflame it a little bit when they came to my house? I was just about to say it's like twenty percent your fault. I wish <laughs> I wish the YouTube drama shit existed back then, so I'm gonna be like, "Don't blame me." Blame fucking FPS Russia. The guy's what went down at your house. A liar. His name's. We got there, and this guy has like four cars and a phone called YouTube Money. Dozens <laughs> of guys <laughs> in the couch. He hires a guy to play the Xbox games for him. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally like, and they're looking at me. They're like, "Yo, this is her. He's got the same amount of users." So it's happening. I'm like, ah, listen, there's six of you. It's one of him. I don't know how financially responsible that boat purchase is. <laughs> it was like a $30,000 boat. <laughs> but it was like, I was like, yeah, I left. And I was like, fuck. Fucking Kyle, man. Why do you have to name what? the boat YouTube money? Because yeah. <laughs> you said phrase. it. It was so cool. When you said it, it was funny. Yeah. And, I, and, and I... I don't until think I would have like, bought the. Until he I wouldn't like, have bought my the. Boat? Where's my <laughs> boat? Where's my no, boat? I thought I was like hammering it home a little bit when you all had to share the same guest bedroom. It's like, listen, so you know, guys, like we're not really balling here. Like I got a three bedroom house. Like, like, like there was a part where you you guys were all going to bed, and I like opened the guest bedroom, and they're all in there asleep in one guest bedroom because I only have one, and they're on the floor in sleeping bags, and I go. Good night, epic meal time. <laughs> and like two or three of them go, Good night, FPS Russia. And I close the door. <laughs> yeah, it's not even not even a joke. Like, like when I think about like the good times of, of like the internet or the experience, I'm not like, oh, when we got hooked up at the club and we did this, or like when we did it was literally like the times when like all three of us would humbly sit in your extra bedroom lying on mattresses on the floor and no one complained yeah like they were they were literally when we got back they were like oh i want to get a house in a pool and i'm like there's literally not even money for me to get a house in a pool. and if anyone's getting a house in a pool it'll be me first so <laughs> let's not talk about that right now okay get in line you're like fourth to get house in a pool. Um, but yeah like, I, I, I remember and, things were simple back then and i and i actually loved that i was like that was peak yeah, no, no. It, 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 all that stuff was fun. I enjoyed having White Boy at my house that uh, that that summer. That was really fun to to like have somebody. White Boy was that, great. 
Because he was like, we were doing the same thing more or less, but not competing, competing against each other in any sort of mm -hmm. way. So it was like if me and you were sharing a place, like I think we'd have tried to collab more. But there, it, but if we're doing separate projects, there's a little bit of competition. A little bit. It's not like you're a gun or, channel. It's not like I'm like stealing food. Or like there was like something like, well, I can't upload this. I got to wait for Kyle to upload today. I'm not going to do it. It's like there would be, if not competition, at least like conscious maneuvers around. There would be some positive synergy for sure more than anything yeah I, I think back on those times and i'm like man like it was people like we we were lying a lot like in in terms of the success of it like we like i moved and acted like we were making the money that like logan paul makes right now and that's not mm -hmm. what the the financial scenario was at the time but like i think about like the poor dudes that left that like like muscles and Tyler and I'm like, bro, not the time. You should have stuck around for like three or four more years. Even Josh, who was on the show for, you know, three, four years after uh Alex and Tyler, like he ended up on the TV show. He ended up getting his uh, a, a hosting job on his own TV show because of that. I mean he's making epic I think Tyler every went and did day. like didn't Tyler go do some kind of rap battle thing or something? Um he he may have uh, you know, I mean, like, not as a career or anything. He may have been involved in something. Yeah, I don't know. I, um, I saw him at a rap battle. Move. Oh yeah, he <laughs> did go to a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think he was into it. I know. Yeah. What, I, I, what was he an okay guy? I know you and Muscles glasses fell apart, but but I always liked Muscles. I don't know if you like me. I not. I think I think uh, Muscles was like uh, like at the time, and apparently he's different now. But I don't know him now at all. Um, but it was just something that I heard like when I spoke with Tyler a couple of years ago was that he's uh, started like neither of those guys smoked the weed. They kind of smoked the weed and mellowed out a whole bunch since then. I mean, probably like 27 probably hits hard when it's like five years later and like Epic Mealtime has like the TV show coming out. And you're like, ah, oh, maybe I left a, <laughs> a bad time to just go and not do anything really. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, I, like, like it just, it, it's just such a fun thing. Like, like to pal around with you and do that thing. Bro, muscle glasses. Like, literally, I only asked like one day a week from him, one two hour day. He had to come <laughs> and he was the only guy on the team. And like, this was like what was hard for me to balance this out was like, I had to explain to like guys like Dave, Josh, and Amir who were hardworking guys. I had to explain to them like why Alex can come in four hours after them when the food is done, eat a bunch of bacon and then leave and go to university to take classes that I literally was paying for. Cause it was something we worked out. I'm like, why doesn't he clean? And I'm like, cause he's the guy. We made him the guy. We thought it was fun and funny, but now he's the guy and negotiation wise, like I don't have the money that he thinks I do to do this and mm -hmm. I'm not foolish with the money. So like, he just doesn't have to clean up. We, we clean up. And, um, they got it. They were workers. Like they understood that. But someone who was closer to him, like Tyler, I think that was like harder to swallow because like he, they were the same age. They were best friends. They both didn't. They both didn't have a real job at this point in their life. So it was like I look back and I'm like, oh, I didn't have the right leadership skills to to explain this properly. I was also stressing. And like when they came up to me, like sometimes people would come up to me and be like. Like we were in a, your house sharing a guest bedroom, right? Three of us in a room. Well, then we moved to LA and we literally stayed in Ludacris's old house, which was the rent was 45,000 per month. And then we didn't <laughs> pay that. We, we, we split that with a company. A company paid most of that. Mm -hmm. We just stayed there. And like what happened was when we were there, like we, we each had a room. And like one of the rooms was a closet. But when I say it's a closet, the closet was like 20 feet by 20 feet. Okay. And there's no clothes in there because it was a rented house. <laughs> but like, so he has a 20 foot by 20 foot space and it's connected to a bedroom and there's a bathroom in there. It's private, a private bathroom. You can close the door to yeah, whatever. The lap of luxury. And, <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, some people like had like more, but like when I say this had like a 20 by 20 like room with no closet that he slept in. Um, I should also mention that this place had uh, two saunas, a pool, a movie theater. I'm not even exaggerating. You can look up this house. It's 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 16, 1659 Marley Drive. 
or 1600 Marley Drive. If you go Marley Drive, it's behind Chateau Marmont in LA. If you look at like the, the cloud house or these houses that they have now that these YouTubers do, like these are the houses, but this was like a far superior one because it had like the gym, the sauna, the theater. And it's like, you want to be a rapper? You want to be a rapper? But you're unhappy with the setup here. Jeez. Well, what would you do Whoa. on tour in a tour bus? Like artists that go on tour in a tour bus have less than a twenty by twenty space. We've new artists. They had they had little fucking pods on their bus, um, and like you know, this wasn't this wasn't enough for them. But that was my. I look back and I'm not like he's an idiot because uh, he was probably smarter than I was at that age. But I'm just like, oh, my lack of leadership skills to really explain to him in a good way that this was an opportunity um, mm -hmm. is something that I failed. And I say that because you knew you knew Tyler, Kyle. I mean, I can't say much for Muscles. We we kind of like, we all joked because we thought it was funny that Muscles Glasses was Muscles Glasses. Because we're like, I can't believe Alex is like, everyone's so hyped about him. It's Alex, like he's mm -hmm. eating bacon. Like Alex eating bacon is like the hypest shit. Like we found that funny, but like Tyler was, and is like genuinely a very funny person. Like yeah. that's a guy like, outside of Epic Mealtime, hang around him, like you'll laugh. If you look back at old Epic Mealtime episodes, like the things that he does on camera, you laugh, he's a funny guy. But you know, mm -hmm. if like, I mean, my ego was bad at like 27. If I had that ego in that scenario at 22, like I would have really fucked up. I would have fucked up a lot. If I were in your position, Kyle, even just by myself, like I would have fucked up. Like, you know, you, you pushed the envelope, you went like further, you didn't have like the team. I mean, like you had one kitty, which is worth like a dozen normal men, but like, he, I mean, he pushed the envelope, but it was an envelope that was pushed to him that did the damage <laughs> in the end. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was because um, uh, of the drugs. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. No, I never, um, I, I, I don't know. Like, like I never, um, wanted to be too crazy frivolous with money. Like, 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 um, I, like I liked my, I immediately bought a new car. Um, and, uh, and, and then me and my dad immediately, like, I was like, dad, I'm gonna buy a truck. Do you want to, do you want to buy a truck with me? Let's just buy a whole truck. And then we quickly realized that you can't buy half a truck. So I had to, uh, get a check from father. And then, then it was his whole truck. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't both put $20,000 into a thing because then one person gets mad about how the other person uses it. Mm. So just write me a check and we'll like be a... fine. So we got that sorted out right away. But but yeah, and then I bought that boat. That boat was not supposed to be a frivolous purchase. That was supposed to be a smart idea. But I got like, this happens to me sometimes. I get, I get swept up in like the idea that we're going to do a thing. So, and I won't let anything get in my way. It's like, look, I said I was going to do a thing. Oh, now, it, now Alex is, is out and we can't get a house. I'll get a fucking boat. Like, it's like, wait a minute. Who am I trying to beat? There's no one to beat here. There's no competition. It's just us. It's just me. I could sit here and do nothing, or just fucking take thirty mm. more thousand dollars out of the bank and buy the house. That's what I should have fucking done. I don't know why I didn't just do that. That was yeah, absurd. That's how, we're that's uh, how we're you talking ahead because you're when you're your your own competition like that. Like that's how you progress and get huge. I don't know. I wanted to are talking it, about I all always, these YouTube memories. I want to talk with Wolf a bit. How's How's everything going for you currently? Um, it's good and it sucks at the same time because I I get treated like I'm using real firearms half the time. So, but other than that, it's like freaking great. It's it's still trying to get subscribers, still trying to do the whole the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, I've been like crazy successful on uh, TikTok nowadays, and Instagram's awesome. going good, and Reels and all that stuff. So I'm you know I'm still doing my thing, and I'm like you know. Going, getting shot up, and then you got some chicks going on there, going like this, and getting like fifty million views, and I'm like, yeah, but we want to fuck her. Oh, yeah. We want to fuck that one. Yeah. You don't, well, Wolf. You don't want to. Well, yeah. Actually, legally, um, I got from the whole shit first, but you know, I, I, I have a question for both of you. I have a question for both of you, real quick. I'm yeah. sorry, I interrupt you, Taylor, but I, I, I don't, I'll forget this because I'm stoned off of our sponsors, delicious, <laughs> amazing weed. <laughs> um, did you ever, either of you, Harley or, or Harley, did, have you ever seen that, went for that easy grab to, to boost views, money, whatever, and that's throwing in some tits and ass into your video or your content? Like, like, like I was always like tempted to like somehow work in like some naked chicks with guns. 
but but I didn't know how to do it and not and keep everybody <laughs> like mm-hmm. a- Dude, okay with the, it. The problem with your scenario was that like like getting like the hottest girl around doesn't really necessarily mean that you feel that safe with a loaded firearm with like spitfire ammunition and the shotgun <laughs> in her hand. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, I don't know that I'd want like, like, like <laughs> maybe not even her shooting the gun, but like just include her somehow. You know what I mean? Like, like, like just throw tits and ass into the video so that that's just a part of it. it I mean, it'll get another 50. 50- It'll do fifteen percent better. No I've, I've done I've done the TNA thing on my show, and uh, it wasn't because I wanted to get views for it. It was because I went through like an insanely rough divorce, mm. and I was enjoying life after that divorce. So I was hanging out with like a whole bunch of models and stuff like that. And if you go like if you search um, the world's smallest paintball gun by Wolf, you'll see I have like a big booty model on there with the world's smallest bikini and stuff, and. I just, you know, had fun like that and, and you know, girls wearing tactical vests with huge cleavages and stuff. So I, I had a phase. Yeah, tactically fucked up? Uh, absolutely not. It was completely professional. <laughs> yeah. That's nice so. and square. And <laughs> <red jeans. laughs> so they were all good friends. Yep. You posted you posted recently uh, this backpack. This guy had a backpack and you were like, how many paintballs are in- oh, yeah. how many paintballs were inside the fucking backpack? Six thousand. <laughs> Six thousand. Yeah. How much money yeah. is that? Oh, I don't ah, know. Like, of, that's of, like of three cases. Or, like tell Probably me how much has inflation affected an individual paintball? <laughs> it has actually. <laughs> because it's funny because they have these new paintballs called first strike rounds. They're sniper paintballs. Mm-hmm. And they've got fins on the back of them. And they go triple the distance of a regular paintball. And those uh, I can't remember where they were. Right now, you can buy 60 of those. Those are 51 cents each. That's yeah. as much as a 2 2 3 round. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a real gun. Yeah. Like, yeah that's <laughs> but, but, but here's the thing you don't have to pay for them if you're cool. <laughs> 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 they just send you cases of them. They do. But, you know, he was asking how, 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 how things yeah, are being yeah. affected, right? So, and they used to be like, 20 cents less than that. So it's, it's inflation. What's a case everything. of paintballs? Because I haven't, the last time I had to buy paintballs, they were like premium paintballs were 70 bucks a case yeah, at the field. They're yeah. Normally like 70 bucks. If you go up to Toronto, they're like 200 bucks. Cause Jesus. whatever. Yeah. You have no idea, bro. So but I saw yeah, the still on, still on the same price, except for those first strike ones I was talking about. So we got the pricing crazy... is wild. You have no idea, man. That's why I just crazy... came up from the States. I have one of my properties in the States, so I'm an hour away from the border. So it's, it's, I take advantage of certain things when I can. It's insane. Yeah, I do the same thing. That's ludicrously expensive. You mentioned that people like you'll get hate from like anti real gun people. Is that, <laughs> is like how many people are actually that against guns that they're like getting into gun related hobbies and being like, you're culpable? Like, oh, it's happening. That, that happens here in Canada. <laughs> I had like I had like an airsoft gun. Uh, no disrespect, by the way, Wolf. <laughs> so <all> good. <laughs> uh, and they uh, like there was like a law. My buddy came by and he was like, "Yo, there's like a chance that like you have to like give back your gun or like give it to the government because it's it's too much of a gun." A paintball well, gun buyback. Like a law was changing that like it's it was changing like, right it was now. They're, we're fighting it right now because I'm so actually that's still happening. Yeah, I work with what, the gun what lobby law people. Is being fought? It's called C, uh, Bill C twenty one, and they're trying to get rid of any replicas, like paintball markers that look like the real thing, and they're they're trying to push that in with the regular bill to get rid of AR fifteens and certain handguns and stuff like that. So they're trying to include airsoft and paintball with that bill. So I well, mean, is like, it time to immigrate? No, nah, bro. I I and listen, I'm a former New Yorker, and I love the states, but no matter how disturbingly stupid stuff like that happens here i still i'm still chilling in canada like you know it's i don't have to worry about certain things and crimes and and no i feel what things what things when you said things you you know what things well you know certain guys who see me differently and me walking down the street with a white girlfriend and them saying something to her stuff like you don't have to worry about stuff like that here but you have a gun yeah, here so you take care of that shit. <laughs> mm, that's true that's hey, right, brother. Take them all out. 
but yeah, I fixed racism one bullet at a time. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but it's, 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 I, I, I love the States and I love Canada, but Canada was like, I'll tell you the story real back in the day. This was like early nineties when I was with my back then fiance and we we're discussing um, where we wanted to stay because I had some great job offers. I went to Syracuse U and had some great job offers to stay in the States and stuff like that. And uh, so we're walking upstate New York, what have you and everything. And we're driving, Oh, well, America has this and Canada has this. And some guy driving by and my, my girl who is white. Um, I just hear someone yell out the car, F you and lover. And we just stop in our steps. And we stop mm. in our steps, and then she goes, "I think we should stay in Canada." <laughs> 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 and we went, we went back up north, and that's pretty much it. What, what is it to. in Canada like? Oh, you're probably a fucking Leafs fan, you hose. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's be honest. In Canada, they like they like go home, create a burner account on Instagram, and write it after creeping him on Instagram and finding it. There's scumbags, ev- <laughs> scumbags everywhere. But at there least are, I, don't, I, I don't think there I don't feel, think they're so empowered in Canada these the, yeah. days. But that changes. That changes. I, I find things are different. But I agree well, a, a lot. Like I love the USA. I love yeah. so many things that are wrong with the USA or the things that I love. Like I love going to a restaurant and I'm like, oh, Diet Coke, please, and they bring me like a glass that's somehow two liters. <laughs> like we're gonna have a glass that big in Canada, and I like that. It's I love that shit, and I, I like see like too. I see. I see uh, fat fucking people on like motor scooters rolling around Walmart, <laughs> and I'm like, "That's your fault. You did that to you." And I'm here, and I'm I'm enjoying watching you like zoom around up and down the aisle, driving the most colorful packages. And I love that. I love this country. I love that that exists. Like I love yeah. that it's like a like a semi on the way to cyberpunk. Like I do love everything oh, yeah. about the U.S. I, I monument I really to hedonism. Country. <laughs> um, and now like uh, honestly like 80 percent of my friends are americans like they're just people that i've met over the years you know you don't stay that in touch with people that you were friends with in elementary and high school but like when i lived mm-hmm. in la or whatever or you know like i you guys like uh when i get married in 15 years i, I can't wait to have the fucking pka boys is you know my wedding party i know oh, none of you are gonna insane. come dude still, i'm there uh, Oh you, yeah! You, you know, well, you I want to meet this woman who's currently three. You, you know, know. Like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, where's Woody? And Woody's gonna be like, my leg, my leg. <laughs> so you guys, I actually like, I, I, I do love Canada though. Like, I've been in Toronto. Toronto is so sick. I really do love it. I'm back in much. I'm in Halifax right now, and I've been like, I can't believe I, I never came to this part of Canada. I'm not gonna bore you with it because it's just like fucking. It's just a Canadian city, but like it's just awesome. It's been great, and um, I still love the USA. But I don't know if I'd be so eager to go there. There's so many things that I like. There's like major worries that exist in the U.S. that I don't have here. Like what? Um, like like all I I've been to Israel because I don't know if the audience knows I'm Jewish. And you guys know the Holocaust. It's been minutes since we told them. Yeah. Um, okay, but <laughs> like I've been to Israel, and like I was like nervous going to Israel. And then you just see like police officers with Uzis and stuff, and I'm like, oh, okay, I guess you know, I guess they're, they're guess they got they're, it all locked down. They're alert, yeah, they're yeah. alert, uh, mm-hmm. so that's fine. Um, but like then, like I go to Florida and I eat in an Olive Garden, and literally, like I don't know if you saw this video, but like seven days later, a video pulls up where a kid like was in the mall, like apparently hitting on underage girls, and then the cops chase him, and he pulls out a gun and starts shooting at them, and there's a full shootout. The Olive Garden that I ate at like five days before is in the background of that video. And sometimes <laughs> when I do go to Florida, like when I go to Florida, bro, like you should see me drive in Canada and then you should see me drive in Florida. Yeah. Like, like yeah. there's no touching the horn ever. I'll never yeah. touch the horn. Someone pulls out <laughs> next to my car, like I'm looking down and away. <laughs> Everyone has a gun. He's right, yeah. Everyone is a potential threat. I'm not with <laughs> anyone. Like, like if someone has a bad day in Canada, like that's front page. You're like, he had a bad day. He slapped another <laughs> man. He slapped him at Tim Hortons in the face. In the U.S., like, bro, if this guy pulled out, like, uh, like an automatic rifle and lit me up for cutting him off, it's not even newsworthy. They're yeah. like, yeah, bro, you're one of 2,000 today. We don't care. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's just, it's things, it's little things like that. Uh, it it's just me being scared. Uh, no, also, like, like, you're, you're not, it's not just Canadians who think so. So what like, you're saying is people in the U.S. <laughs> a lot more polite. 
Um, they're very polite <laughs> because gathering. all those Floridians are armed to the teeth. It should it could be twenty. Florida is the minutes. only place that can make a Canadian extra polite. <laughs> it's honestly, oh, Kyle. Like I look at you and I'm like, you're glad he's on my side. <laughs> <laughs> I'd agree. Well, it, and you know what? He's a hundred percent right because it's when I'm in the states, even if it's an hour away from the border, I'm heads constantly on a swivel, always paying attention. I'm always going into a restaurant, facing the exit facing the door back you know what back against the wall and that 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 when you come up north it's just chill yeah, like but you guys are all... wrong you've never <laughs> seen any violence you're like i'm all my head's on a swivel i'm ready <laughs> prepared i like to eat it all garden in condition yellow <laughs> <laughs> did you see anyone did they try to steal your breadsticks no. Be careful. <laughs> but, bro listen i was i don't know if i told you this story but i was at a paintball game once and um i was parked uh outside of my hotel and um uh sitting in my car putting in the gps where the field was and four cop car four cop cars pulled up to me guns drawn lights pointed boom boom getting ready running me why are you doing it what are you doing here uh, going crazy like this and i was just i was just looking at my computer in the car not doing anything and you go well, whose car is this i was driving a, a range at the time and they go, whose car is this and what are you doing here yeah and I was like, dude, I was like, you know, I had to put my hands up and then I'm getting my license really slow mm -hmm. and all this stuff. And I mean, we have a problem that we have problems in Canada, but it's nothing like that. Like, it's, OK, it's, now that's a fair that. problem. But as white people, not very <laughs> dangerous. Here. I, I am never afraid the way the way you, uh, Harley described when I was thinking like driving a trap. Like I see people because no, but you're the, the guy. <laughs> no, no, no. Here's the thing about that. You know, you're, you're not wrong. You're the guy. <laughs> I don't have any guns. They took them away. But but here's the thing: the people who do have the guns would know me. I feel like if some dude starts shooting up a Taco Bell, I could be like, "I'm at this Russia. I'm doing the voice." I, if I yell that loud enough, there is like a 35 percent chance he goes for real. <laughs> you ain't good. sound Russian. <laughs> and then you'd be killed, killed for doing too. too good of an accent 10 years ago <laughs> no have you I, seen I, the the top gear like you guys are talking about like the funniness of like you know and the scariness of sometimes in america i'm in i live in st louis which is a third world country or third world city as far as violence goes and when i go to florida where my dad lives i feel the opposite where like i'm like everything's kind of nice like it it feels safer here like it feels way safer in Tampa than driving around St. Louis. And so I can't imagine different. how safe Tampa's I would like, feel if I lived in Edmonton. Tampa's like university town. You know? Like I yeah. feel like there's a lot of students. It's, 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 like, a, it's uh, a growing town. It's big. Tampa's got a lot of That's kind of where I've spent all my time in Florida, either you know, Tampa or um um Jacksonville or uh Miami. Or, or, or Orlando. Never Miami. I never went all the way down. Um, cause, cause the stuff we were doing was all based right there in Tampa, um, Orlando or, uh, or the other one that's, it's also there. hot as shit in Miami. And like, when I go to Florida, I'm looking for good weather. The weather's just fine in, in Tampa. You don't gotta go all the way fucking down. Yeah. I was there for like gun guys to like use their shit or like go to their places or something like that. So I just never made it down mm -hmm. there. I need but, to go um, to St. Louis. I need to try that barbecue. That's the, third, yeah, we have the tremendous barbecue. I Pa go go to Pappy's. Pappy's barbecue is great. When I had my wedding, like my big thing was like I fucking hate going to weddings because I hate the food because I love like a chicken parm, but I hate wedding chicken parm because it's dog shit. It's not it's a good. step up from airplane food. It's it's barely a step up. And so like when like when my control. exactly like my mm. when, when my wife and I were talking about our wedding, like the only thing I was very passionate about, I was like, I want Pappy's. A very famous St. Louis barbecue place. I want them to cater it. Like I want Pappy's, exactly that restaurant. And like, because in my head, I was like, first of all, I'll be stoked on that meal because I fucking love Pappy's. And second, like I could see everybody's faces already before the wedding being like, oh, it's not dog shit. It's Pappy's. We're eating Pappy's. And like, I had no less than like five dozen people come up to me during my wedding and be like, dude, fist bump for pappies thank you so much mm -hmm. like th this is great i did not expect to have like 
pulled pork and like ribs available yeah, and you're a hero for that that's a big hero tremendous move. and everybody loved it it, it did the, even the dj doing a ton of cocaine in the bathroom in the middle of, of it it didn't even ruin it i didn't even mind i just was like just do the cocaine and keep playing the songs like just duck down behind it and do your coke i'm not gonna i'm not calling the police i you don't did, care you did that pappy's move and like 30 percent of your guests looked at each other and they're like we should have gained one Dude, yeah. every, everybody was so stoked on it like they loved it when like the pappy's people and the pappy's uniform started bringing in the food it was like pizza day in a cafeteria as a grade Seriously, school kid. they did it like that wow. I, I had them bring it all in because i was like i don't want it served on plates to everyone where you have a limited amount i want enormous sums of meat over there that you can just pop up and go eat throughout the night because i i kept getting up and go getting you know more more burn ends throughout the evening how much it was great how much did that cost budget wise uh the food was only was maybe like five grand like not it's from pappies that, from pappies yeah wow. the whole thing because it's just barbecue so it's not the most expensive yeah. thing in the world but yeah, like yeah. the when i when we were pricing it out it was like oh we can get horrible chicken parmesan for the number of people we're having at the reception for nine thousand dollars or we can mm. have like one of the most loved restaurants in in the the area just you know, kind of unceremoniously delivered a huge amount of shit. And I was like that. I don't care wedding, about the colors. I don't care about those anything wedding else. Prices, those wedding prices, like, in, like they really do count on um, you marrying a cunt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when they're like, with those prices, they're like, this If this guy's got a real cunt wife, she's not going to want to have something <laughs> fun like barbecue. She's yeah. going to make him do something stupid like expensive airplane chicken parm. So oh, yeah. like I feel like that business leans on that, but if you work with your wife and she's down, like there you go. Like, oh, we were both it. so was, down. Was Kyle there? Was Kyle at your wedding? No, he couldn't make it. He was on probation. Oh, okay. Was Woody there? I was doing no. that uh, dirt bike trip around the country at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds so, like nope. super important things for this really important day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, play, play all your bicycles brain. and uh, you know. <laughs> I should have invited Harley. He would have come. <laughs> yeah, I would have been in the bathroom with that DJ. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, this is where the party is. Like, huh? When I when I was talking exactly. to my friend about it, I was, I was talking to my buddy. I was like, this, this is after the wedding. I didn't know what was going on at the time. And he's like, dude, you realize like your DJ like was doing coke in the bathroom like every 15 minutes after like you and your wife's first dance. And I was like, oh. That's pretty fucking rude. Like, <laughs> like, like those guys are expensive. Like at the very least, like you know, they're behind their little area. Just pretend you're gonna change a wire and do a little coke <laughs> while you're down there. I'm, I'm, be, I'm being one million percent serious. That I would be more okay with that because then at least he's still DJing and doing his shit than just bouncing off like he has I IBS. Agree. Like so you're like, no, do it right there in front of all of us. <laughs> no, like there, there was there on was, the there record. Was only, just it was only one time that the music stopped because of some you know computer issue i don't know and mm. he was in the bathroom doing cocaine and he didn't even do it in the stall my friend matt <laughs> went in and came to me later and was like dude i walked in on him doing coke and i'm like like in a stall he's like, he's no, like no he was doing, doing it at the hand washing DJ. station that should be <laughs> part of the yellow view <laughs> there are children here like there was it was great like i got the 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 venue we did it at this was last year 2021 and the guy like was like Oh, you can do it here, but no, he was like ultra MAGA guy. He's like, no masks. And we're like, yeah, oh we're, we're not, we're not planning on doing that anyway. We want the pictures to look nice in 20 years. <laughs> but he was like, okay, but just yeah. no. And it was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, I, I can tell, you know, this is a much bigger deal to you than me. I can tell. So, <laughs> so whatever you want, man, as long as I can get my barbecue delivered. I just have this yeah, vision yeah. of my head of, of, of like Harley in the bathroom with the DJ and like coming out 20, 20 minutes later going, hey guys, we're going streaking. Well, let's go streaking. <laughs> and just start taking Bring everything off and kind of running out Bring of the van. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would be, I'd be, no. kind of, I'd be like, yo, Taylor, you know, the DJ, I just saw him in the bathroom. He's doing drugs in there. <laughs> he's doing, he's doing drugs in ready? there. I'm like, Harley, your That's nose so is bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I came like that. <laughs> yeah why so couldn't impolite. he just do do weed like a respectable adult instead of, no, instead of cocaine for that gig 
I used to DJ I, uh, back in the day, bro. Really? Use, I'm, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. wait. I gotta. I'm gonna dip out because I'm. I'm arriving at my destination. All right. Take care, and, Harley. Uh, Always great chat. You guys, yeah, absolutely. Wolf, love seeing you, Woody, Kyle, Taylor. I'll Pleasure. see you like uh, next month, maybe. Thanks for popping on, I'll man. I appreciate it. it. Thank you. Absolutely, see you soon, buddy. Bro. You guys are awesome. Take care. See ya. That's hilarious. <sighs> yeah. Well, I'm. I'm glad the DJ worked out, kind of. He did. He did a good job. You must have been paying him well for him to be coked up, though. You had a coked up really. DJ at your wedding? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you weren't here for that. Yeah, my the DJ at my wedding, like he was popping into nice. the bathroom from time to time doing a good bit of cocaine. But like it didn't impact my enjoyment of See, it. See, that's the thing about cocaine. That's how I know it's not a fun drug. They have to keep going back for more so often that it can't. It, it's like, Jesus, how long does this shit last? Like five minutes? Like yeah. you and the post nasal drip, it just tastes like chemicals. It's horrible. It, 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 like, like the guys were trying to sit there and like do a thing, and this guy's been in the bathroom eight fucking times. It's it's like, dude, if you need to be that high to like participate, like like just bring it, just do it on the fucking table. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, make chop great it up. pictures. <laughs> make it look chop cool. it up. Let's go. God <laughs> damn. I'm tired of you leaving. I I I I don't like I don't care if somebody's doing it, but I don't want any part of that. And yeah, like like the part the fact that they're always up and out of the room, like if we're playing cards or like whatever, it's like, dude, you're you're barely even here. It was yeah. literally more of a thing where I was like, dude, like I've got little cousins here. Like this is <laughs> yeah. this is wildly inappropriate for you to be doing. Like just yeah. like for, kind of fuck you for doing this. But I didn't know until after like the bill was settled, everything was done after the fact. Mm. I've pro- I, it's an, it's not a fun drug either. I haven't. It, it's like, not. Like, I did it. Uh-uh. I did that years and years ago in, in New York and just did not care for it. I didn't dislike it, but I was just like, y'all pay money for this? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I'm not an uppers man. I had a ton of fun on Molly at a few select concerts in college, but that's the only time I did that. And it was situational. Like, uppers as a whole just stress me out. Like, I'm already so fucking neurotic and high strung. You add something else like that in it, and I'm it is too much for me. I don't want that. I can't have too much caffeine and I get or I get kind of you know jittery and, and not feeling good. All right, well, you definitely don't want any cocaine. drug that makes you happy. Like, like I can make them. well, not, none of them will make you. <laughs> not, none of them will make you happy. <laughs> Hear me out here. Like alcohol does what? It sort of lowers your inhibitions, makes you a little slower to react. Also, Pot true, does, sir. I don't know what the fuck uh, vibe or something like pulsing in a place, and it makes you need less stimulus. Um, Ah, my experience with drugs runs out pretty quickly, but none of them just bring you joy. That yeah, I know no, of. like if, if you are going to drugs to bring you happiness, you're already like barking up the wrong tree like that. You're going to end in destruction. Drugs uh, are accessories. Drugs are accessories. OK, they're meant to make fun things more fun or things that suck, suck less. All right. <laughs> That's how you should be using them. All right. It, it, but you don't go time for the fun. <laughs> No, no. How about I'm in a bad mood and I want a good one. <laughs> what drug is oh. that? Well, I mean, no, you, you should definitely not do drugs for the reason of fixing your mood. You're just it's, the, it's like the third yourself. question on the alcohol. I didn't ask if I should. I asked which one. All right. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> like the right. third question. On the alcoholism thing. <laughs> this brings us better. back to better help, Woody. <laughs> all right, like, like if you're sad and depressed, uh, honestly, I, th- I think sad and depressed people usually feel better with alcohol because they're drinking until they aren't even thinking about that anymore. They're 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 making that part of their mind, that conscious thinking part, that's like. Oh, woe is me. Why didn't I go left mm. instead of right? Why didn't I pick blue blue instead of red? And it takes that guy and turns him the fuck off. But it's a feedback loop because it's sure. like, I'm stressed. So I want to artificially depress my cortisol production in my brain. And then the alcohol wears off and your body goes, well, our cortisol production has been being depressed for so long. We need to up it. And that's your stress, the stress hormone. Stress. Luckily, chemical. alcohol so is then very affordable. You, yeah, luckily, well, but then more alcohol. All, all it will do kind is put you in a in a cycle want. of destruction. That that's how people get like shakes <laughs> oh, and shit. Okay, is because they sure. depress their cortisol for so long, and then yeah. when they eventually stop, it goes into See, haywire. I'm not buying this. Mode. This is this is made up stuff. What you're yeah. saying? <laughs> Every day yeah. I wake up. Let me tell you about hard. another feedback. <laughs> let me tell you about another feedback loop. Every morning I wake up and I'm hungry, you know, and I have to eat food, and 
It's the same thing, Taylor. It's, Alcohol that is, is not sustenance. a feedback loop. It's the exact same. Th- oh, what, every time. Just because you're eat, eating doesn't make it feed back. I, I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> it's right there in the word. I'm having a hard time even saying it and not proving my point. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like a drug that'll just make you happy. I, I, I don't know that any drug has ever just made me happy, but I know that the things exercise I was doing. a little bit sometimes. Exercise does that's a sometimes good point. food makes me happy no actually never often actually made me happy F- it food makes has... me feel good for a bit i'll say not happy so speaking yeah. of the guy who's never tasted alcohol or even tried any drug oh, man. um but i've driven home tons of people tons of friends my entire i've been a designated driver all my life mm-hmm. it, wouldn't acid be one that makes you happy because every time i've seen people on that they're always laughing and giddy kyle's yeah, the only actually, one of us with acid experience so you're actually right. Like like my experience actually, with, with acid was it made me real giddy and laugh, laugh, laughy. I don't know what the word is. Like like, like I I would laugh at mm-hmm. anything. And when yeah. I would start, it would be this sort of <laughs> yeah. Little yeah. giggle. Little and pitter. it would like keep building. It's that it's that laugh that like keeps building. And the more you think back about the thing that tickled you to begin with, the more you keep it's laughing until you're just like, ah, like crying and like la- and then it's not just you. You don't feel out of place because everybody else is like dying Doing laughing the about thing. the same fucking shit. And then like you try to explain to somebody, but you're like, <laughs> he's wearing the hat. And they think that's funny because they're on acid too. Mm-hmm. So like that, that one actually did make me happy. That was yeah, a really good time. Although I was already actually, happy, right? Now you know, that you mentioned it, friends. mushrooms and acid are kind of in the same category, right? Yeah, halluc- uh, hallucinogens, yeah. And yeah. I tried like mushrooms a at a campfire once. And I've told this story before, or twice actually, but I only work once. And uh, I had a great time. I was super happy. I really enjoyed my friend's company. I, this is my scene at a campfire. This is like the happiest place I am. And it definitely intensified it. Everyone's jokes were funnier. Everyone was just a good time. Uh, yeah. And I, a guy I know buys mushrooms that unbeknownst to me, another guy I know is his dealer. So I know that guy. <laughs> I nice. should tell him. Yeah. Yeah. That, um, that, that's my observations as a virgin when it comes to that stuff. So I like uh, acid way more than mushrooms. Um, not only because instead of having to eat, like, depends how you get your mushrooms, but no matter what, you're going to, if you're going to eat, I think you need like three grams of mushrooms to have a real time. That's a lot of mushrooms that to, to, to be eating. That's like twice the recommended. Like recommended by like strong dose, the right? mushroom king. I <laughs> mean, wait, no. my, my my goofy friends who do it, yeah, fucking Goomba or something. No, I don't think. Nobody... Do you say I twice like, as much? I thought like one and a half grams was like the like to see stuff dose. I think yes, ish. I, I like so. I did one gram if yeah, I recall. I've done correctly. mushrooms once, and I and and, cool. and, uh, and it was a good experience for me. But I think mild compared to people who want to like really go on a trip it I, for me it was just a mood elevator mm-hmm. some people want to have hallucin hallucinations i want to see shit that's not there i've never accomplished that with mushrooms even with three three and a half grams um with acid, really though with acid though you will see some shit if you take i'm gonna say more than three three tabs or plus like like you'll see some shit that's not our that's tabs not actually there. in in like are is it a consistent? They're all about the same. Yeah. Oh, consistent. who fucking knows? <laughs> you have no idea when you're taking. Who it. fucking knows? It's That's like what any happens kind of drug, when you I make guess, your own edibles. Well, well, like, now when I say I who knows? Of... I, I literally don't know the answer to your question. Is <laughs> maybe they are. Maybe they're all identical. I just don't know. It's nice. Is now peyote a mushroom? No, it's uh, it's it. I believe it's from a cactus, right? Oh, I think it's uh, I think it's some sort of cactus juice. Okay. Or something like I that. I know that people trip out like crazy on that in the desert and stuff. So I remember a guy telling me about peyote when I was in high school, and he talked about he was driving and the road just went, woo, like uh, it just like goes into the sky. And I'm like, "What'd you do?" He's like, "I made sure I didn't fall off." <laughs> he's, he's on like a Hot Wheels track in the sky now, driving down the road. According to him, he's probably lying, but but I know with I know with like four or five hits of acid, it's not like I've seen pink elephants. Everything was wiggly. Everything was like 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 colors were pulsating and breathing. The moon was pulsating and breathing. The clouds were beautiful, but I wasn't mm. seeing like 
some fucking Eskimo in the corner telling me to conserve or the planet will die. Like, like, you know, I wasn't seeing nothing that wasn't actually there. It was just that what I was seeing that was actually there was a little altered. You weren't like Jim Morrison in the desert being led around by an Indian and stuff. And I would love that. I would love that. That's what I want. That's what I want. Yeah. Like, 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 like all jokes aside, I want to go. It has to be an Indian guy. I want it to be authentic. I want to leave my body and have my mind go somewhere else like a dream state. And I know that that's a real thing that people have done. And there's lots of ways to do it. Like, like I don't care if it's a sweat lodge and I have to dehydrate myself for two days. I would love to experience that to like leave my body and go do a thing and be conscious of it. And for it to be a purposeful thing. And I don't care about spirituality or any of that horse shit. I just want to see some cool stuff. It's got to be around people you trust. So to put yourself oh, in that yeah. situation. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I trust everybody. We're, we're all good, <laughs> good luck with that. You won't lead me astray. I'm sure I'm sure Taylor wouldn't do that thing. We had a guy and we do these monthly hangouts for our Patreons. Everybody that's a $50 Patreon. We hang out with them for two hours on a call just like this. And uh, this guy was going to do DMT. And it's like the, the, the height of hallucinogens. And he's he takes three big hits of this fucking crystal out of a vape cartridge kind of like this. And he's just gone. And I'm guiding him on this journey. I'm like, you see golden <laughs> waterfalls. And he's like, yeah, I do. And I'm like, and, and he's like, he's experiencing whatever I say because he's very suggestive and he is fucked up. And then Dirty, this guy that we know who's in the hangout goes, you're on fire. You're on fire and it burns. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Don't do that. And everybody's like, stop, stop. And then like, I don't think it was Dirty's fault, but like 30 seconds later, it that was guy convulsed his a little. That guy convulsed <laughs> oh, and, and like spit up like a baby, vomited. like, <laughs> And it was like coming down his chin onto him. A grown man. And, 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 and he's like, after like five minutes, he's like, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. That was deep. Wow. That was deep. And it's just like, I want to do that without the public <laughs> humiliation of spitting up on myself. <laughs> without letting, like, I remember even saying at the time when he was doing that, I was like, dude, like, maybe not in this group. Like mm -hmm. maybe not in the people who like our podcast so much they come to hang out with us because we know their sense of humor and they're gonna they're gonna be yeah mean. like this <laughs> last hangout was cool but though. everyone I was like, chill except for dirty I liked um what was the game we played the board code game names. the code game names. of so games much fun code name was a blast this time like I I it it made the hangout a, a lot of fun for me I enjoyed it That's yeah, yeah we've. Code no, we lost is, Kyle uh, as he was saying the game of games. <laughs> but, really? really? No, yeah, no, I, I heard you're him. back there. You're back. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's oh, this uh it's this bad. funny little group party game type thing that we play on the PC, but you can have like an infinite number of players and and you know, it's a word game, kind of like Pictionary or something similar. <clears throat> but but uh, I like to think that it's an intelligence test and and, and it kind and, of and is. My, <laughs> at least the vocab test, but it's a little it's a vocab test, but it's mm, there's this more sophisticated involved than just too. that. There's, yeah. there's, there's this word association thing, and there's a little bit of a partner uh, dynamic that you need. You need to know the guy you're working with. No, it's a fun mm -hmm. game, and it made the Hangouts interesting. Uh, I wouldn't want to do it to everyone, because I, I I genuinely like hearing those people's fucking stories. And sometimes they're just fucking weird. Like, um, I'll, I'll give you an example. Like this, You never know what you're going to get in there. Everybody's uh -huh, got yeah. most 80% of them have their cameras on, and there's like 20% lurkers who are like listening. Yeah. And uh, I look, and this one guy's in his garage working the heavy bag. And look, I don't know anything about boxing, but I watch a lot of MMA, and I, I watch a lot of it. Nobody's ever taught me shit, but I, I'm like, damn, he looks good. Man, I, I see him. He, like, the way he's tw he's twisting his whole body, and the way I'm looking at his feet, and the way his 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 toes are pointing, the way they the way they're moving, his foot his foot movement, and then the way he's uh when he, the way he's just putting his whole body into a punch. I'm like, hey man, are you? Are you like a boxer or something? He's like, yeah, got a fight coming up in a month and a half. I mean, he's like, he's like, I'm also in, I'm a boxer, a jujitsu, and I do oh, MMA. Shit. Like, like he's a fucking badass over there. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, he he's big was too. A badass. Yeah. Really? Eh? Six, four, Jeez. 180. That's a killer. 185. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. I think so 185 was the weight class. Not That's the weight, weight class. Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay, okay, okay. Six four to one hundred eighty five is real long. Like he's got so much more reach than the other I, guy. I mean, I'm betting I'm he was one eighty one hundred five eleven. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Quite yeah. the reach on him, though. Jesus, Murphy. Huge wingspan uh, and his legs. Too. 
Go ahead. Yeah, I understand. They only weigh that for a few minutes, right? I, th- I bet he weighs yeah, like yeah, 200, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Should have asked him what he's walking around at. That would have that been a good question. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you never... And then one guy is, is literally an Israeli tank commander. And, and, mm-hmm. and with nice. his Israeli accent, he'll, he'll just be like, yeah, you know, went on, we went on patrol. We did this and that. He's like, no, no, I don't... I'm not just in charge of a tank. I have eight tanks under my command and we do oh, this and nice. that. Like, like he'll let you know right away. No, 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 no. Yeah. I don't just command a tank. I'm the tank commander. I think <laughs> is interesting. professional gambler. Like that's not an everyday job. Yeah. He's uh he's spending the next month, like doing nothing but studying poker for his big Vegas trip. He's going out there to like, hopefully not lose his bank. See, I'm supposed to be come- going to going to Vegas in a couple of weeks. And I'm like, that's, the first thing you know is not to play poker when you go to Vegas because there's guys who just do that all day long, every day type of thing, and they're just waiting for you know people to come to town. Someone like us lose their money. Yeah, exactly. Who yeah. played on their iPad a couple times and think they can do something. <laughs> so I'm just if I'm, I'll yeah. just play blackjack because I don't have to you know. Deal and there's with a lot of people that way. There's there's like there, there's a handful of girls, handful of uh, of uh, trans folk. And then there's, um, and then the one girl, she hasn't done it in a while, but she used to just put on a whole fuck show during the hangout. She'd like break out the sex toys and get naked. And I think she just likes being naked in front of people. So, and, and my favorite part of it is like, like okay, she's cute or whatever, but, and, and that, it, it's cool that she's naked, but <clears throat> Taylor gets so awkward and like uncomfortable. <laughs> so guys, let's, uh, cause all the guys <laughs> shut up, right? Cause there's a girl like masturbating and, and like, it's hard yeah. to have a normal conversation and Taylor's like, <laughs> So, any new magic cards coming out anytime soon? Uh, hey, hey is, is that Ovechkin guy? Did he? Uh, did he feel like just anything to try to get away. Anyone? From, like, I'll do. I'll do Trans Bobby Hill. You know, I'll do, any, <laughs> I'll, I'll do any character. Just stop doing this. <laughs> and Please Kyle's right because of- every every time it happens, Kyle, I can see Kyle staring at what I know is my square. <laughs> on the <little> screen because <laughs> I because I he's right I really like the fucking will start and I'll be like oh nah. she's uh, like anyone he's anyone trying to want to talk him. about because uh, I feel like I'm not the only one who you know wants to feel you know, make awkward some jokes. Death yeah. <laughs> uh, it doesn't like, like, and that sort of thing doesn't make me feel awkward in the slightest mm. I think it's funny um, any of you I, are all happy you can fuck on the show I'm fine yeah anybody <laughs> I, I mean as long as everybody in that in there's uh, of age oh, we're then, losing you know. You. One, two, three, one, two, three. No, one, he's, two, three. I'm not losing him. I'm not yeah, losing him. Yeah, as long as you're... Internet. Oh, okay, I'm so good. sorry. Uh, no worries, but yeah, as long as you're of age, you get, get in there, get naked. I'm hoping that... Um, I won't say her name. There's a cute girl in there. She should get naked some, but I think she's got some some chitlins or something in the background. I've seen her with some little ones, and I, I'm guessing there's a whole uh, family scenario, right? Could be. Could be. Mm, yeah. Excellent. You never know. <laughs> 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 no um no uh, when you do this when you do that is it like a hundred guys a hundred boxes no on, on, we okay. do them 25 so, at a time so 22 people and the three and of that us. sounds at first that sounds like too much but they're only gonna be talked to one of the three of us so that's two of us that are always shut the fuck shutting the fuck up and 20 percent of, of them are just lurkers anyway they just want to like yeah. be there mm-hmm. so yeah. now you're only dealing with like 15 guys who want to talk and you just have to make sure mm-hmm. they take turns and Woody mm. loves to make sure people take their goddamn a turn. He's a stickler about it. <laughs> Goose steps into every hangout, ready to bring in the law. Just like, oh. <laughs> out of nowhere, Woody be be like, "All right, motherfucker, get muted." Jimmy thinks he's the main character or something, <laughs> and I'll be like, "Damn, I didn't even hear him say anything." No, I, <laughs> I, I never I will. Do. I do it. It is almost all people are like, Woody, I've been waiting for you. He's been building up of all of us have resentment about this guy. <laughs> you know, he has been telling his dumbass boring story for too long. Uh, they'll be like, hey, Kyle, I'd like your recommendation on this. And then there's Jimmy answering the question on your behalf. No one wants that. They paid to get they paid to hear Kyle. He might be there specifically to get that question answered by Kyle. Silly mm, Jimmy. Ben Hammond, a powerful yeah. mistress. I, the one, the one that thing power. That, it's just, what's really <laughs> annoying is is because like I mentioned, a lot of those guys are interesting in those ways. So like maybe if the yeah. boxer were there, I might ask him, hey man, like when you throw that hook, when are you turning your foot? Because I, I can't make it feel right. Like 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 it, and then Jimmy would be like, ah, let me tell you about this, this, and that. And like Jimmy, Jimmy, you played punch out 10 years ago. I'm talking to the <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> boxer. And we asked the Israeli tank commander why 
a certain kind of tank was, was about superior or was superior for like his type of fighting over the Abrams. And he it this this is one of the few people on the fucking planet that have like the answer. Actual he answer. fights in Israel in this tank. Yeah. This dude tried to interrupt him and answer for him. And I was like, <laughs> dude, 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 dude. <laughs> I'm asking the tank commander the tank yeah. question, you motherfucker. You yeah, like he I read on one Google. Tank. I read on Google. He might be wrong. He was yeah, literally quoting Wikipedia stuff. He's going to give me some history, yeah. history channel <laughs> bullshit when I'm talking to the man. It, yeah. like, like, it, it, I remember so, this. It was about tank mobility and the different roles that yeah. different tanks have. Like why American tanks need to travel a lot and Israeli tanks are kind of meant as almost stationary artillery. Like they don't mm. travel very well. Um did different mission. We even realistic. specified, like, hey, we, you know, we're not actually looking for the technical Googleable details. We want the inside info from a guy who yeah. drives them. Like, that's yeah. more of the interesting yeah. fun thing. Yeah. Like, like you can hear the Fury. squeaks. You can hear the squeaks of tank treads over here. And this guy's interrupting the. Hey, hey, could you turn the tank treads down so I can answer the tank question? <laughs> yeah, your tank's really loud. It's hard for me to interject my answers. Yeah. Like, what do you? Doing? And we even get some jokes in. We're like, and how does it fare against the dangerous? Palestinian children. Yes. <laughs> when they're coming at you, when they're coming at you with a handful of pebbles. How do you feel safe? Like, <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's rough. No, but wow. he, he likes I, it. He's, honestly, I would have asked him if the fury was realistic for that time. Right, with uh, I think we did Ooh. talk about fury a bit. That's a good question. Yeah. I, that movie is so I, I never hear about it. I never hear anybody talk about it. That was a great movie. Brilliant Shia movie. LaBeouf being a lunatic and like refusing yeah. to bathe and getting that far into it. Okay, maybe too much, but well, I'd rather see that, that than him like showing up with the latte, like not yeah. like making continuity errors. Yeah. Well, when they had that battle in the, the uh, field with the three v three versus one. Yeah. And there were like shells bouncing off certain tanks and stuff. And mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I, I like that's one of the greatest tank scenes I've seen in a movie. And I'd, I'd yeah. love to know if that was realistic or not. It's not realistic it at all. It felt real. Especially, but I don't especially know. <laughs> all that, you know, there's all that tracer fire and stuff. Uh, yeah. I don't think that's realistic at all. I think there's, I'm not the one to ask that again, we're, we're talking about like asking people who know what the fuck they're talking about. I saw yeah. one of those YouTube videos though, where they like ask a tank guy to rate oh, tank yeah, movies yeah. and how realistic they are. Yeah, and I want to yeah, say yeah. he didn't like it. He, I think he liked the scene, but he didn't love that, like, something about it. Maybe I remember something about the tracers, mm -hmm. uh, and then may, maybe something about, like, the oh, it was being, it was, it was remaining, like, stationary in the tank, like, for the duration of time they did was ridiculous, something like that, I think. Ooh, Could like, have been. When, I really enjoy those videos. Yeah, when they have, when they have weird guys, play. seals, and all that stuff. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, but sometimes I, they give away some of the movie magic, though. So, yeah, that's Sometimes true, I but I, I like hearing like, like anything that I don't know enough about. I, I'm always mm. I remember what X Jaws used to call it, his information diet. He forever yes. made that lame to say that, but like today, I was like, you know what? I got too many bullshit apps on my TV. I'm gonna download PBS and uh, um, what was the other one I got? I got PBS documentaries and I NPR. got curiosity streams. Okay. And now I have access to like so much. I, I, I learned a lot that? today. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna step up. Uh, they're, they're like it's like educational fucking programming uh -huh. and documentaries and stuff. Um, I, I, I don't know. I've been learning about evolution all fucking day and how we're all related to fish. I tried so hard to find a good website to actually get what flat earthers believe because for a long time, like I've had the idea that it would be really fun to go through that in in a mm -hmm. silly way. It is fucking impossible because you'll get two pages into reading from some guy and then he'll say something like you can tell it's not round because grapes are and you're like god damn it <laughs> like i got hoodwinked again by someone who's lying okay i gotta find a real one of these guys and see what he actually believes but you keep if you try and read anything from these people you get deep and your only conclusion can be this person's fucking with me you know, like, I this, saw, this person does not believe what they're pretending to believe like i, saw I want a, a real flat earth guy and i can't fucking find a good one I saw a drawing recently or a, or a 3D representation and you have the earth is a disc, a flat disc with a hole in the middle, like a record player, like a record rather. And oh, uh, it's, it's, it's spinning in the center where that hole is, is the sun and it's bobbing up and down above oh the horizon gosh. and below. And I'm like, you think that that is simpler <laughs> than balls going around each other. I, like, like they got a whole yeah. fucking thing over there. I, I genuinely believe the same thing about them as I do. The fa the birds aren't real people. They're I think they're trolls. I think that when you talk about them, they think it's funny. 
They're like, see, they think that we think. Eddie that. Bravo? You think he's faking? I think that you also have a few people along the way who are hoodwinked by it and become like super believers. But those yeah. are the those are the um like 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 ex uh, um exceptions to They're the, the rule. exception, I think, not the rule. Yeah, I, I think the average like flat earther, the average birds aren't real guy, they don't believe in that shit. And I even believe the gang stalking thing. I think that this the worst part about the gang stalking thing is you've got mentally ill people who believe they're being stalked everywhere by red cars one day, blue cars the other. Mm -hmm. guys with blue tennis shoes are stalking me. See, there's one and there's one. So I wanted the laundromat, one at the post office. The problem with the people that I think are going along with that and making it seem more prevalent than it really is, is the people who are actually insane are getting reinforced. <laughs> you know, they're, 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 yeah. they're, there's a crazy yeah. guy who's like, I really did get stalked by three red cars today because he's insane. Yeah. So when he goes online yeah. and sees like, some jabroni being like, really? It was blue cars in San Diego. <laughs> and like seeing this guy be like, yeah, West Coast, I hear they're blue. You know, and then, and then the guy, they start going with their craziness. Like, that's a problem. Yeah. But I don't well, believe, I, I like to believe the best in, about people. And I like to believe that not as many people are stupid or as stupid as we're genuine, generally led to believe. I like to think that there's a lot of people out there. Who, when you if you stuck that microphone in their in their face and asked them these questions, they'd be like, "No, of course not. The world isn't fucking flat. Like I don't remember who figured mm -hmm. it out or how, but I know it's two balls circling each other or some shit, right? You can like see you'll all get the that ninety nine percent of the time. Okay, yeah, why I, would I the gotta, earth be the flat one? Uh, it's, okay, for example, does everyone here think that we went to the moon? Yeah, yes. seems okay. likely. But you should see the guys who think we have not been to the moon. They're so convinced that we've not been to the moon. Like I had this debate on Facebook the other day and you could not, I could not give any scenario or article or factual information that this guy would believe. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like, there's a lot of people like that though. Right. And it's like, I don't know. There's a lot of crazy out there and a lot of the Russians, the Russians would have called us out. And, and like, like just the other day, the Chinese, sent a craft up to the moon. I don't know if it landed or not, but it orbited. And they took fucking pictures of the goddamn landing site. The Chinese mm -hmm. took pictures of our landing site. And we're like, oh, look, America's landing site. But so, I could flag hard did they, did they yeah. wreck it? No, they just flew over and took some goddamn They just pictures. flew over it. They didn't land or anything. They wouldn't wreck it. That'd be a problem. They, they know better than to go fucking with our flag on the goddamn moon. I, I was moon. thinking how we'll hilarious that would be. Down. We don't if, they, if they just fucked it up. <laughs> They're just kicking what would happen? All around what would happen if China kicked our flag down on the moon? Oh, I wouldn't Nothing, care. I hope, but yeah. it depends on the president. What would happen if they put their flag next to ours and it just became like a... a little higher? Over, over it, over it. <laughs> like graffiti, like Woody was here. You know, everyone no, they put it on it top of it. You know how like the... Now the, you're doing a thing. I'm just like, what would happen if they were like, we were here too and that became They're going to do a thing. What do you think? They'd They're going to get the exact overlords. same size the flag rules. as ours and put them right next to each other so there's no forced perspective? No. They're going to put a big honking Chinese flag over ours. That's what they do. I'll tell you what we do. We go up there and we plant a bigger one. That's what, we do. That's what we do. We go up there. We plant one of those big honking. If you've ever been to Florida and seen one of those rebel flags, one of those. All right. One of those. One of those that's meant to be a slap in the face to anybody darker than tan. Like, like one of those big boys. That would be hilarious for an eccentric really racist billionaire buddy. to put a billionaire. Flag no, flag the United States does it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I genuinely believe that we would. Well, do that. I meant the South will rise again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think we genuinely would if, if the Chinese went up there and planted a like bigger flag next to ours. Uh, there, there's we're we're supposedly going to the moon. I know they say it all the time, but there's like a planned moon mission fairly soon. They're working on the rocket right now, right? That's that new bigger rocket. Three years. Were, if no that. one's walking around on the moon, don't care. I think it's the plan. Do not care if it's yeah. another rover. Send That's a guy fine. out if you want me to pay any attention at all. Well, considering uh, our technology is like a hundred times better than when they first did it, it mm -hmm. shouldn't be that much harder. It should be way easier. That's it should be I'm a saying. weekend like, trip. It should be, That's what I'm saying. It should be yeah. a lot easier to get it done. Like, look at the depths we've gone to in the ocean. Like, all the technology those guys have done. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's a, it's frankly it's pretty embarrassing to have gone to the moon and not done it again. Like not yeah. done it again in how many years? Because NASA lost all since the like the early 70s. Well, we, the public right? lost interest and uh, there wasn't a reason to go. The Russians quit, right? So there wasn't really a reason to go back because it's not like 
in, in that TV Just show that we enjoyed score. so much. And that TV ship we, we like so much that mm -hmm. they find a, a, a rare and valuable resource on the moon. So that really fuels this, oh, we got to get a base up there and a mining operation. And then we got to find a way to truck the shit back to Earth. And it's but we didn't find anything but dirt, you know, yeah. and and it's kind of it's real expensive to go. Very. The moon must just be made of worthless shit. It's, like, it's a rock. For no one to care to go up there, they must be like, "Yeah, this is just a rock all the way through. Who fucking cares? It's shit. We're not mining like this." Nazis at the center of it. Did you see that oh, weird movie? Those space Nazis. <laughs> That's a good movie. Nazis are movie. at the center of the moon. They're on the dark Nazis side of the moon. They're on the bad dark side of the moon. Movie. Yeah. I mean, if they no. successfully pulled off an escape like that, you gotta hand it to them. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's That's hilarious. Anyone who took control of the dark side of the moon, you're like, all right, fuck. I guess yeah. we movie, didn't get all the I best scientists for NASA. Called like, <laughs> it's called like uh, Iron Moon or some, something like, something like the, that. There's yeah. a couple of them. They're, they get more ridiculous. It's by like, the, by yeah. the second or third one, I know they're right that they're riding a Tyrannosaurus with machine guns. Like, like that happened. <laughs> Did they already and, have that? There's a Robo Hitler too, I think maybe. Like, like oh, it's it's, it's, like it's a wacky kind of it. fun movie. Yeah, yeah. I, Robo really Hitler. Worked. Robo Hitler. Yeah. Or maybe like a mega Hitler. I don't remember which. A but, mecha you know, Hitler. Watch. Yeah. A mech a Hitler mech. Yeah, that'd be if, cool. If they're getting the budget to make it, why not? You know, it's what it is. Yeah. Um, I, I would like us to go back to the movie. I've been saying it forever. Like, like, like we watched this show called um Help Me Woody for All Mankind. Me and and yeah. and the idea is that the Russians beat us to the moon and we were like, fuck that shit. And we we kept going. And now it's about first woman on the moon and first fucking like base on the moon. And we're going to Mars first in the nineties. And like the whole history of the U.S., the world Soviets, it's, it's all different. And as I watch it, I get sad because their world's better than ours. Their world's, <laughs> their world's not just a little bit better than ours. It's a, it's ten years ahead technologically, yeah. and, and and as far as like um, race relations, um, um, like 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 um, gays in the military, all that's advanced too. Like 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 we're socially more advanced, and yep. we're technologically more advanced. And uh, and it's it's a it, it's a world that I would have liked to have lived in, but 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 never got to happen. They're going to Mars in like the mid nineties. It's because the country it's a fun has show. come together to make it happen. I just I, it looked like technology pushed it a little farther. You know, like I want to say maybe it's the eighties and telecommunications is really good. They're doing like FaceTime on CRT screens. Uh, yeah, there's just a bunch of tech that's better than we have. The biggest thing is the discovery of that resource on the moon to make clean, free energy with fusion. They have fusion. I haven't got there yet. Yeah. Can we not do fusion? No, we can do fission, right? Yes. Yes. We Fus can't do fusion. Well, we can do fusion for a little while. Yeah, but we can't do it big in a, bombs in like a um, sustainable way. Right. A fusion reactor is something they've been working on. Wait, aren't for those a long even time. fizzle bombs? Like not they're, fusion bombs? Or they're a fusion bomb? The fizzle hydro bomb, yeah. So Sorry. the bombs that they dropped in World War II, those first two, the plutonium and the uranium, those were fission bombs. But I believe that the modern bombs, the uh, thermonuclear weapons, the hydrogen bombs are fusion bombs. Nasty Man, stuff. we should have stopped after know. like cannons. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, let's take a break. Let's take it down. Tomorrow. They should oh, have said, think... guys, everything after this, we're going into aesthetic. You can make them look cooler. You can't make them. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the honorable. Like, remember when the British, party hats on. Do you, did you know this with like uh, the, the Kingdom of England back in the day, Middle Ages, they invented the crossbow. Europe invented the crossbow mm -hmm. and the United Kingdom for so many years, they dominated through the use of their longbowmen tactically. They were brilliant at that. And they had the best trained archers in the history of the world and, or the best trained standing archers, you know, in the history of the world, not the mounted ones, but that's what they would do. It's you know fucking it so be? interesting. What they need to do is remake the movie the day after. Do you remember that? Ooh, I remember that. I haven't as a seen kid. that one. That See, was, we're older. That was yeah. scary. That like, the day after is a nuclear war movie that came out on TV in the eighties, I think, and uh, that like scared a lot of people back in it. Like people were committing suicide after that movie aired. Really? On TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a huge the, thing. The Cold and, War was a huge thing, and the the idea of nuclear war was very real it was 83 you know, they, they would do you know drills in school sometimes i didn't personally yeah. i don't know but uh it, nuclear war just dominated the national conversation 
but I think yeah. it needs to happen Clear. again because people are, you know, they're all ready for war and stuff and they don't realize what they think it's going to be a cold war and they don't realize what would happen in like a hot war. They just, you know, think, okay, I'll just go in my basement and nuke happen. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. those thermonuclears that whatever they did in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the stuff they have now would make that stuff look like, you know, fire. Oh, nothing. Lightweight. Yeah. You can oh, see yeah. the czar bomb. Like the didn't Russia make the czar bomb like so, sixty yeah. years ago, and even that was like it was bigger, three hundred times bigger than yeah. than uh, Fat Man or Little Boy. Yeah, and they need to make a they need to make a remake of a movie to scare people back in rally. Uh, there's an even worse one called Threads from the UK when it was like a nuclear attack, and it, it showed the after effect mm-hmm. of you know people like having mutant babies and they're like Ooh. and they're trying to dig down the soil like like i don't know i think people need to be scared back into reality again everyone's a little too comfy right now like oh we're gonna take on china i was like bro like seriously we, I oh yeah we'd be scared a little bit being like yeah we'll take on china and russia and, and north korea and the north korea and the philippines and it's like <laughs> stop adding countries it's like, these, are, <laughs> these are real places with hundreds of millions of people and real yeah. militaries like we're yeah one it's, anti it's, behind yeah. our back and it's like ugh. We may like, still be the most powerful, but I don't feel like the gap is as large as it was in the past century between us and China, Russia. And we weren't the most powerful. Well, like we won World War II by ourselves, but a big part of winning World War II was our production capability. And Russia. And and Russia. Russia helped. If yeah. we were to fight them again, do we still have that manufacturing capability? No. <laughs> we have no I'm manufacturing. At, yeah. That's what I'm, I'm getting I, at, right? I, I, yeah. What kind of war are you even talking about, though, right? Like, like are the kind we where you bomb- need goods and are, pieces are, are they gonna are we gonna bomb their cities are they going to be able to bomb ours well that's is that what thing. you're talking about is the pentagon gonna get struck will the will will, will uh well you know like, like what kind of war are you talking i mean about? if we bomb their cities war. they're gonna bomb ours if they bomb our cities we're gonna bomb theirs that's how it i don't go. think I'll no be honest, i'm that, not though. sure they i'm not outside of their like icbms i'm not sure they can do anything i i, I, like, I this ukrainian thing has has made them look like a third rate power, not like That's a true. near peer. This That's true. They, they don't strike me. That? They don't strike me as the people who could come over here and cause us any problems anymore. Like there's a yeah. very small group of people who can, right? Like I mean like they back have when nukes. Iraq was a problem, it was like all right. You don't think Iraq's they're missing the reaches, Kyle? They they have nukes and they're the only country with more nukes than us, right? Or no, well, you're about mutu- well if you're talking about mutually assured destruction right where everybody shoots their nukes off well right. that's a different yeah. story, right? Yeah. We're talking about like any other kind of war. If you're you talking war, about world's a conventional over. war. In yeah. the U.S. beats Russia. Yeah, nobody and, uh, wants the absolutely. world. I will say though that the U.S. will have a hard time beating Russia in Russia. Just the, the Why? logistics mm-hmm. is very difficult. It's we're already there. Fifty million people there. We're already there. What are you? Are you invading Russia? We're not do yeah, that. Yeah. We're gonna bomb them until they can't. That's do That's what I'm saying. That'd be really hard to do. I, I I believe that we would bomb Russia until they had no means of making war outside of uh, their nukes aside. Uh, we could bomb Russia until they had no means of making war anymore. We're already there. You're Don't talking, talk about getting talking, there. We're there now. Talk, we're you're we're right across strike, the board. So you're not talking nukes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah. 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 If we were just like like they wouldn't have an air force to, the, we would have their skies, and that's how that war would go if they fought a conventional war with us. They would never fight would. a conventional war with us. But I, I agree with Kyle 100. It's a good idea. The the war with the Ukraine. I thought they would have taken Ukraine in like a week, easy. But yeah. see what's how, what's the situation? What's how much of Ukraine do they have? The Ukraine, do they not have what, Ukraine is at currently. Ukraine is uh, doing a big offensive push in the south, and they've asked people not to post anything on social media. So there's been a little bit of a blackout. Oh, I'm sure people will respect that. They are. Like, this is, they this are. has been one of those few times when like everybody's like, yeah, we'll keep it on the down low internationally. And like there's no footage coming out. Anybody who would share the footage normally suppresses it. So there's no troop movements really getting out. Bro, I was seeing Ukraine footage on TikTok. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. These guys going there and filming on TikTok and putting on some Russian uh, Ukraine strikes on Russian tanks and everything. Like I was seeing everything. It was, it was, I was seeing everything. And now it's quiet. So he, he must be right. Yeah, I, Russia I don't know is happening. saying the counteroffensive was a huge failure in Reuters, <gasps> and so <laughs> what incentive do they have to lie? <laughs> you know they oh, refused. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle. I saw that Gorbachev was <laughs> Gorbachev was denied a state funeral. He he died in ninety one uh, a couple days ago. Really? Putin denied him a state funeral and refused to go. 
Wow. Wow. Yeah. Gorbachev. He was relevant a little before I was born. He ended he the Cold huge. War and and kid. prop and God knows how many we might not be here without Gorbachev. No, I was right. I'm I was born in ninety one. Yeah. Yeah, he was relevant a little before I was born. I remember yeah. that. Again, the, we might not be here problem. had it not been for the steady hand of Gorbachev being able to talk to his American peers. Oh, and I was saying like that's like he hasn't been relevant in a while. And of course, oh, Putin, no. Putin and of course, Putin would hate that. Like, well, so yeah, he's he not going to give him lately. any honors. Like, that's not surprising. Uh, is he he is he he's not the one head understand what you're he, saying too. yeah he's he not why, Weinstein. why would yeah he is the weinstein head guy oh, he is. um why is it that because he hasn't been relevant in a while putin would be less likely to give him a state funeral i don't see the oh i thing. i was making a joke about how like oh my god gorbachev dying how relevant and then the secondary thing was like yeah like we shouldn't be surprised putin wouldn't give him a good funeral like he tried to normalize relations with the west as much as he could oh. and so putin would see that as like fuck you dude like no you're not getting anything from me he I lost the Soviet now. Union. Yeah. Uh, the Soviet Union died under Gorbachev. Yeah, like, which, like, because they Putin were starving. Hate. That's why Gorbachev. Yeah, so did Putin it. would abhor that. <laughs> and yeah, him. yeah. Putin's pro-Soviet Union. Yes, absolutely, yeah. he is. Uh, I'm mean, a Russian that's, empire. That's what he's One doing right two. now. Like, like yeah, he's, he's fighting to pull a little bit of the gang back together. Yeah, it's not going so well. It's not going so well. No, we're in the beginning of the movie where Putin shows up to Belarus and Belarus is shooting hoops and he's like, I've got a job for you. And then he stops shooting and he goes, oh, I'm in. And then <laughs> like, that's the way it goes. Then he hits up Lithuania, Estonia. Well, I don't think Lithuania, Estonia, and Latvia are actually that that stoked on this going they're on. Not. But, but those are those teeny little place. countries up there and they kind of just do what their neighbors tell them to do, frankly. Like, they... Like what kind of military does Lithuania? Oh, I got uh, like like I, I want to get to this. So so Woody will be my uh, lib libtard fact checker. Um, Roger, so I, do, you know about, do you know about do you know about Biden's? Do you know anything about Biden's daughter's supposed diary being leaked no, and smuggled around? Not all right. At all. So so here is a terribly inaccurate layout of what has happened. <laughs> Here's the facts, folks. Apparently, a diary that belonged to Biden's daughter was stolen and then offered to the Trump campaign at one point. The Trump campaign said, we don't want to touch that. That is a crime. You should call the FBI or something like that. Or maybe even they called the FBI. Can I pause you? Yeah. His daughter's probably old, right? Is she like 60? If stolen he's 100. Property, yes. Stolen okay. property nonetheless. Someone stole her shit and is Roger selling that. it. All right. I just um, imagined a 13-year-old when you said diary. But he's a 61-year-old like, I have true, a crush at someone at work. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little bit more in there than that, supposedly. Um, she. Uh, so, so the diary, uh, what I've read is that the diary talks about um, how she and her father took showers together far after it was appropriate to do so. Um, and um, and then there was something else. That so she was, was like, like 21. Really um, yeah, you could 38. Chill, and, and, that, and that, <laughs> um, that was that's what I, I read. I was hoping that you were going to be the guy who was like, ah. but what's interesting and, and and man, I wish I had my facts straight. A but like I, I, I read this earlier, today. unheard of. No, the, it, it was something about how um, the fact that that like Biden or or, or they're, they're like actively going after this guy. And it's like by doing so, they're kind of doing that thing Trump did. And they're admitting that that is her diary. Like, like, like by making uh -huh. an issue of it, they're not saying that's not her diary. They're saying that is stolen. You know, they're, they're going with that uh, move. How old was the shower talk? Like what? She was like a fucking 13 the quote I read. The quote cause... I read was far after an appropriate age. So two people have pled guilty to a scheme to sell the diary. Ooh. Was um, I molested? I oh, think they're being so. caught. I, I she said, I think so. Specific. Yeah, I'm reading it. Was I molested? I think so. I can't remember specifics, but I do remember trauma. I remember not liking the, what's that word? Wheels axe house. I remember uh, somewhat being sexualized with Caroline. I remember someone's written around the thing. Friends and a young age showers with my dad. Probably not appropriate. Yeah, I don't know. There's some weird stuff in there. I remember not liking the Woolzacks house. That sounds like a last name. Yeah. Who were the Woolzacks? Bunch of creeps, know. seemingly. Uh, I remember being... Does, what does that say? Sex with friends at a young age? What? Can you read no, that word? Um, 
It's right. It's sort of covered by the circle, the bottom circle. Yeah, I, it, that does say sex with friends. But, but what's the word before it? I remember being, being is to me. But I, yeah, being sex with friends at, at a young, a young age, age. That says being showers sick? to you. I see. Um, it. Yeah, that's yeah. Sh- yeah, that's sh- showers with my dad. Probably not appropriate. Oh, being. are you guys having trouble reading this? I can read it for you. Like, yeah, go ahead. Do your best. Show me. Yeah, at the let me pull it up. Grade and showing the boys my underpants. Hypersexualized at a young age. What does this do to? Was I molested? I think so. I can't remember specifics, but I do remember trauma. I remember not liking the Woolzack's house. I remember somewhat being sexualized with Caroline. I remember being sex with friends. Or having, I'm sorry, that says having. I remember having, having okay. sex with friends at a young age, showers with my dad, probably not appropriate, being turned on when I wasn't supposed to be, I, and that's the end. Yeah. Oh, well done. That being turned on when I wasn't supposed to be, I didn't, I couldn't put that together at all. Yeah, so, that sounds uh, like a, someone who was people, sexually abused. You're not seeing the image, but there's a circle around relevant parts, and that yeah, it, circle it covers the it. words, so you really it struggle to read. But you got me, out. I can read it. Taylor Reed, he's 30, but he reads on like a 33-year-old level. (laughs) (laughs) The lady who posted this is a Trump person, right? Oh, certainly. So Probably, yeah. I would imagine Uh, so. I can't imagine someone from like the Biden camp being like, look how silly. (laughs) No, what I'm saying, I mean, as opposed to like a a third party, like just like a random reporter or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Which is actually worth. Oh, there's more pages. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. It, like I've always said that Biden the handwriting really jumps does... out at me as very consistent for a young person, though. Like, is but, that? Yeah, but I don't know. Biden, I don't so know. Fucking, I've always thought Biden was real creepy. Look, we saw him smell that little girl. We've all seen the president of the United States smell a little girl, and you cannot. There's no word. Full stop. You know, there's no. He there's, loves smelling girls. You don't. Uh, the, you. You don't need to take anything out or add anything to the sentence I just said. And we're all sitting here like it's fucking normal. We saw the president mm-hmm. of the United States sm- smell a young girl. <laughs> it was fucking weird. And we've seen him like pinch him and stuff and be weird with like little girls and other women in, in, in public in a weird, creepy old man way that none of us do. Like, I don't I, I would not put my hands on a woman. If, if I if I touched a woman and she recoiled, I'm not reaching for more. And he is. Right. Yeah. You could, you've seen him do it. It's so I mean, gross. these these people who are just so powerful for so long, they forget boundaries. Like you can see it with so fucking many of them. They don't expect normal relations to apply to them. They've been treated with kid gloves and treated so specially for so long and had so much power and been paid a salary from us to take bribes from companies and then enforce their will instead of the people's. That's how people who make 160 grand a year are worth 80 million dollars. It's not from prudent investment. It's from <laughs> pay to play. Do you see it's Pelosi's prudent investment recently? Yeah, uh, I bet. I bet she hit the nail on that again. Was it Tesla? Is that what it? Well, if you said yes, yeah. Um, I can't remember a specific name, but I know that she put a whole bunch of. Oh, I can't. Oh, or was it a later. chip company? Maybe it was, it, it was Nvidia. Nvidia. She got out of Nvidia. She got. She no, saved wait, herself oh, six hundred. She like bought Nvidia. The yeah. Chips Act passed. And then she got out of NVIDIA she got out of it. when they yeah. put some restriction on it or something. So she wrote it on the way up and got out before it sank. Yeah. She is a savvy investor. She shorted I do, spot, I do but... dislike the way Republicans are doing this towards Pelosi as though it's Pelosi. It's like every one of you fuckers is doing this. All of them. Every single one of you is a multimillionaire making $145,000 a year at most because you're not and the fucking president. Like, so fuck you. Like, fuck all of them. They're all lying. And then Tucker will get on there or Maddow will get on there and be like, oh, Trump's doing this. Oh, uh, uh, Pelosi's doing this. Yeah, they're all doing it. Remember when the Panama Papers came out and it came out that every wealthy celebrity, every wealthy, hyper wealthy athlete, every influential politician, all of them were hiding money overseas and not fucking paying taxes. How long was that story? Three days? It was pretty rare for Americans to be doing it because Mm -hmm. they had such beneficial tax structures in the first place. Like American corporations weren't in the Panama because we were already like a lot of American rich. individuals were though. Were well, they? I need to yeah. I need to brush up on my facts. I could be I'm wrong. Not, I'm not gonna find it. Um there's a uh there's a website of a guy who actually tracks all of Congress people's uh trading's actions. Mm. And I, I can't find it now because of course I'm under pressure, but he actually tracks all of Congress tra- because it's all public. 
Mm-hmm. That you can I want people like, in public and Congress uh, invest into. You know and how mutual like, funds do different yeah. things. They're All like, of hey, them are. This public. mutual fund mirrors the S and P. This yeah. mutual fund is for people who think that like we're going to get more globalized. It's more international based. This mutual fund is a sin fund. Those are fucking hilarious. Oh, we just do cigarettes and gambling mostly. This mutual fund <laughs> is the opposite. You know where we we invest in companies that are environmentally responsible. I want a mutual fund. That mirrors Nancy Pelosi. Just we track what she does, and you can do what she does. But she's not. What it should be? It should be the. It should be the congressperson average index. And you, you just invest in exactly what these fucking crooks invest in on average. Uh That would be great. That'd be wonderful. (laughs) Even better. We should put them all in jail. No, no, no. The first idea was better. I just want money. <laughs> I mean, y'all got mad. <laughs> Look, you got mad when they showed up with the guillotine. Everybody, oh, they're, they're, oh, it's the end of the world. And here you are, like, oh, we should just get them and kill them. They were trying, and you stayed at home like a coward. They needed you, Taylor, on those steps. <laughs> Your mass, your mass at the front of that crowd could have driven oh us. january 6th oh dude of course dude if I would, you were there i'm at the front won. of the crowd i'm doing you would have dude, been I immortalized can't. in paintings a hundred years from now uh-huh. just your just this just you oh you know what like, would be horrifying is like being at the front of that being pushed by the people behind you and be like i'm here for a bit <laughs> it's a bit. Don't push me in. No, no, I don't want to go to. I don't want to go to Guantanamo and be raped by CIA agents for the rest of my life. Like uh, Trump no, said. Trump said if he's elected, not only um that will will he look favorably that, that he's going. Trump said if he's elected, he's going to uh pardon those who who have been uh, convicted for January six. I'm going to pardon them. He could have pardoned them while he was president. Just saying. Well, yeah, and I didn't because no, I'm all talk, no action. Yes, I don't think. Have. You can't. Yeah, they're only being charged now. How is he going to pardon them for something in the That's future? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You can pardon people for things they're not charged with yet. Not when you're out of office. What? He was what? in office. He was in January 20th. You can pardon people office. for things they haven't done yet. You can definitely pardon people for things they haven't. You can preemptively pardon things for they're not charged that's, yet. That's such and, trash. You shouldn't be able to do that. But you, I am, <laughs> this is a, that's this a good is power. A, Look, we all know things. This is a thing I know, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, also he had been he was president for fourteen more days after January sixth. Yeah, um, that something like that, close sixteen days. They should not be able to do that. Well, I mean, yeah. All I know no. is uh, um, that whole thing's been such a fucking nightmare. I can't believe this whole thing happened. But we're in an alternate universe. We really are. This is th- there's another universe floating along where everybody's happy and Trump wasn't president. There wasn't a pandemic. <laughs> fucking Game of Thrones ended the right fucking way. Like, Dude, like, literally, it came. Harambe down is alive. 20, 2012. <laughs> that started other, in 2016. That, that other Harambe. universe. Justin Bieber. That other universe fixed one man army noob tubes. Yep. Yep. There you and go. this is warfare. this is the price of our arrogance. There you go. Of thinking That's that it. we can yeah. just run up Harriers. Nice. <laughs> <You just> got <laughs> got nice. the instructions in there and everything. I've got mine upstairs too. Other. I, Why I do you even bad. have it? You just said you didn't like it. I felt bad throwing it away. It just seemed it, it seems so shitty to throw I saw away. You make a video where you put it in a lawnmower and blew it up or something. Uh, I shot it with a shotgun in each hand. I had to explain that to them before they would let me in that Super Bowl commercial. They were pissed. They were going <laughs> to cut me out until we showed them how much uh, playtime I had in COD Four. <laughs> Until he showed story. Up hilarious. Yeah, I was. They, 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 I was I, they were like, "You got the commercial. Congrats!" I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Oh wait, we found a Call of Duty hate video. That's how. That's how. That's what they called it. They're like, "Did you do a Call of Duty hate video?" <laughs> like and I'm like, hate crime. And I'm like, I don't know, like a thousand of them. Really, you know, your games kind of <laughs> suck. And, and like, apparently you like shot. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. And I'm immediately like privating the video <laughs> like, <laughs> on your phone. But, yeah. but Kitty sent them like how many days played I had in COD Four, and and they were like, oh, all right, well he's cool, man. He must really like the games. We get it. And uh, and that's how what swung us back the other way. Nice four yeah, hours, an unbelievable huh? amount of play time. Yeah, that's you awesome. Guys the show? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, Wolf, anything well, to pin? Um, uh, hey, sorry, I'm late. Um, I wanted to get into You're a whole good. conversation of why the full uh, suplex is a sexual move now, but we'll get into another show. Um, oh, go to uh, Wolf Paintball on YouTube and subscribe. And uh, thanks for uh, having me. And uh, uh, good to see Harley again, by the way. Yeah. And all you guys. He's a great obviously. guy. 
Yeah, good to see you again. We'll get that story next time. Very soon. All right. PKO. <laughs> so 